Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? My bad for keeping y'all waiting. I just got off the phone with my mother. She just got home safely. And you, we have to have a little small recap about Easter. So I want to say happy Easter to everybody. Uh, happy Resurrection Day to everybody out there. Um, I was with my family. We had a whole little function at my sister's house. So, you know, I was turning up with them. I had to get back home safely. And I had to, like, make sure everything was still in order. So my bad for keeping y'all waiting. But, you know, family first. YouTube is a hobby. And my bad for keeping y'all waiting. So the people who are here, I want to say thank you to you guys for patiently waiting for me. And uh, we're going to get into this quick little commentary and see what the night brings us. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, salute to everybody. So let's start from the top. Damn my opinion. Lemon, Moz, and Chad. Salute to you, Damn my opinion. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support. Those eyes, CV. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support. Uh, Random Captain Gamer, one of my moderators. Salute to you. Thank you for being here. It says, hey, Lemon Squeezy. Uh, fresh and breezy. <laughs> hey, Chad Lemon. We at the condo at the beach, babe, so I can't stay, but I will hang out till someone in the mod fam come in. Much love. All right. Thank you, Random Captain Gamer, for being here. And she wrote another message and said, uh, be a doll. Hit the like. For lemons, <laughs> live sub and uh, share it out, you know, for the free 99. Yeah, random. Thank you for that. Make sure y'all hit the like button. I will appreciate that. Hit that like button if you're coming in right now. You know, it's for the free 99. That'll cost you a thing. I appreciate the support. Hopefully, y'all having a good night. We got Missy Woods in the building, says lemon. We also have another message from Wiss Missy Wood that says, Are you ever on time? I will unsubscribe. This is crazy. I can see one live, but every no. Misty Woods, I'm black. I'm not always on time. Sometimes I try to be on time. But if I'm not on time, it's not a big deal. There's other content creators that's live. You can go to their channel. You can watch their content and then check back and see if I'm live. But to say, hey, I'm going to unsubscribe, if that's what you're going to do, then just unsubscribe. You know, I can't force you to be here. Um, you're here for the free 99. I didn't tell you to come here. So if you wait and I'm not here, just go to another platform and watch their live until like you see that i'm live it's not a big deal but to threaten me because i'm late all the time it's no big deal it's youtube come on now uh i'm not always on time i don't get paid for this i do this for the free 99 i do this because i'm a new content creator and if i'm running a little bit late it is what it is it's no hard feelings but clearly you're in your fifis so hopefully you can get out of your fifis and Stay subscribed, but if not, I understand. Salute to you if you do leave. If you stay, salute to you again. No, 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 uh, love lost over here, you know what I'm saying? So, salute to you, uh, Lady S. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support. Salute to you. <laughs> we got uh, Daniel Berry Sports Highlights. Salute to you, bro. Davina, what's good? What's good? What's good? How many 30s we gonna have? <laughs> Davina, I don't got my intro ready, so we get we get a 90 second countdown. It's three little <laughs> thirty second commercials, but come on now, if y'all Ness <laughs> Ness, no hard feelings, but if y'all can sit through Ness fifteen minutes song <clears throat> before she go live, y'all can give me ninety seconds. Come on now, ninety seconds is not a big deal. Is ninety seconds, and then you know <laughs> the live will start, but just just ninety seconds, y'all. All right, salute to you though, Davina. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support. Uh, random, hit that like button. <laughs> respect the host thank you thank you i appreciate that she hit the like ben zone salute to you ben zone thank you for being here i appreciate your support big lemon not the little lemon big bands not the little bands fuckers you talking about hopefully ben zone you're making a speedy recovery um and i hope your challenge is successful and all the people that are going to be judges in your competition show up and hopefully the uh contestants show up as well and you have a successful show so salute to Benzo. Y'all make sure y'all support Benzo. She do have an up and coming show coming up soon. So I want you to make sure y'all support Benzo's challenge. I will post it on my community wall when she sets a date for her new schedule. Um, I think it's something about jeans. I don't want to say skinny jeans, but I think it's like in them jeans. Some, something with jeans. <laughs> you got to look your best in jeans. So um, we're going to make sure we support Benzo. And her challenge that's up and coming. So whenever she posts a date and she got something official, I will make sure that it's posted on my community wall for those who do want to um, look at her challenge. So we're going to support Benzo. Rodney, salute to Rodney. What up, Rodney? Rodney is a new CC in the building. You feel me? Rodney's out here, you know, moving in the YouTube streets. I know he wanted a community uh, 
the wall, but now Rodney has taken it a step further. Now he want to be a CC, and he's going to be delivering commentary and content for the beef sector. So y'all make sure y'all support and subscribe to Rodney's channel. Rodney, if you want to drop your channel for people who aren't subscribed to your channel, they can subscribe to your channel. Y'all make sure y'all support Rodney because he's going to be giving commentary and content. So yeah. What do you think? My bad. Is my TV too loud? My bad. All right, Lady S, Benzon, Mods. All right, we got PDP. PDP in the building. Salute to PDP. Uh, Sister T. Sister T, another one. Sister T coming in headstrong. Y'all make sure y'all support Sister T. You know, she she came over to the beef sector. The beef sector pretty much been loving on Sister T. They've been showing her love. She did great commentary on the sector from her perspective. So y'all make sure y'all check out Sister T when she goes live. She gives great commentary. Uh, she's very fair, but she's very stern too. You feel me? So she might ruffle some feathers, but I do appreciate Sister T commentary. It's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got Miss Magnificent. What's up, Miss Magnificent? Salute to you. Thank you for being here. Sophisticated Brat, thank you for being here. Philly T, salute to you. Thank you for being here. Frank White, what's good? Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support. We got Molly Maybach, <laughs> one of the <laughs> craziest trolls. And I won't, I won't call him a troll because I actually do know Molly. So let me not call him a troll because I do know Molly. Uh, Molly, salute to you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support. It says, let me tell the, <laughs> tell that troll to go to the bottom. Of <laughs> <laughs> Molly, I can't do that. I'm being very fair. I'm in a good mood tonight. I'm not, I'm not upset. I had a good time with my family. I ate great food, listened to great music. We had a good time with each other. So I'm in a good mood. I'm not, I'll cuss you out maybe later on, but right now I'm in a good mood. Uh, Let's see who else here. All right. I think that's everybody. I think exactly. Thank you, Sister T. Let me see. I'm just scrolling down. Just scrolling down. We got Miss Piggy in the building. Salute to you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support. Uh, we got Kibia Cantina. Cantana? Cantina. If I fucked up your name, I apologize. Salute to you. Thank you for being here. Uh, Davna, I got you already. Coach White, salute to you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support. We got a door in the building. Salute to you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. So I've been kicking it with my family. Hopefully you guys had a great day. I'm still in California. It's only 10, 13 here. So it's still Easter. <laughs> for me, but I had a good time with my family. Hopefully you guys got to chill with your families. You guys prepared a good meal for yourself. You guys, you know, pray to the Lord and you guys just had a good day today. I know the beef center has been rocking and popping off and shit like that. I tried my best to peep in in different lives to see what was going on. I watched a little bit of Duchess Kelly Love because I was more free earlier than later. So I watched a little bit of Duchess. Um, <clears throat> I did catch a smidget of Ness Live. Just a smidget. I didn't get that much. Um, but I watched a little bit of Ness Live. But I did make some time to call Ness. In between when Ness ended her live, I did call Ness. Me and Ness did have a conversation. Because one of Ness Lives, not this live, but the last live, people was in the chat saying that Lemon was condoning certain type of behavior in his Discord. That's not true. I, even, I have not even been in my Discord today. I have a Discord pretty much for the streets. Um, it's just an outlet for people on YouTube. Like, if you're bored, if no one's live, you want to chop it up with some different people. I made that Discord for that reason slash movie night. So we do do movie nights over there where we watch movies. We can interact with each other during movie night and have a good time. It turned into, like, people hanging out and, like, vibing with each other from different, like, content creator um, chats. Maybe, like, you come from Pizarro chat or Nest chat, my chat. Brianna chat, Lady Nika chat, whoever chat, you know, in the sector or different sectors. Um, you just come together and chop it up over there. So I made that. But what happened between <clears throat> Rico and the whole picture with the noose around Ness neck, I was not privy to that. And the moment I found out about it, I, I went to Ness, I called her and I said, drop your link because I wanted to talk to her directly and let her know, like, that's not something I condone. I support or I stand behind and I will take, you know, um, corrective 
actions against this person to make sure like you know i don't stand for that type of bullshit now i'm gonna get a little further into like what i actually did because people were trying to play on my top try to make it seem like oh lemon is doing this diabolical shit behind the scenes i don't move like that nigga if i got anything to say to you on youtube i'll say it to your fucking face I don't need to go to Discord and embarrass you there where you probably won't see it, where a spy will go back and tell you what the fuck I said. Because it don't hit the same. It hits when I tell you to your face. So all this bullshit, all these narratives being spent, like, I condone this, and um, I knew about this picture prior to Ness Live. No, I didn't. I was caught off guard. And when Ness... When live for her turn up party, I was a little surprised because I didn't know this even happened. So when Ness told me, I had to literally scroll up to the next day because it didn't happen uh, the day she was talking about. So I thought it happened recently, but it happened the day before. So I had to go all the way back up, saw the picture. I was dumbfounded and I felt bad for Ness because me and Ness, we go back and forth. But let me tell you something about me and Ness. Me and Ness been knowing each other for years, years, not one, not two. Not three, not four. I've been knowing this almost since I became a CC uh, over here as a co-host with Sir King in the beef sector. So I've been knowing this. So I would never disrespect Ness like that. Even though me and her beef, we go back and forth. We talk shit about each other. I would not do that to Ness. And even though I don't like Uppity, I wouldn't even want that for Uppity. And I don't fuck with Uppity no more. But I would not allow people to do such things to either or. So I felt bad and I apologized to Ness and I told her I will remove this individual from my discord because not just because of what they did. It's, it's a bad look on me. To me, that's a liability. And let me take it a step further. So after Ness little party thing, I was at another platform and he was there. Rico was there. <clears throat> so the dude dropped his link. I went up there to talk with him for a second. Rico popped up. We had a conversation. Then when Rico showed up, Rico pretty much was saying, like, he don't see the big deal about what he did. He said he said it, he felt like it was funny. And he won't apologize to Ness or Uppity, but he will apologize to me. I felt like I didn't need the apology because you didn't do that to me. You fucked up my Discord by people thinking this this is things we do on Discord, which we don't. But um you don't feel like you need to apologize to them. He said, no, fuck them. So I was trying my best to plead with him, like, bro, this is a bad look. What you're doing is not how to beef sector rock. We talk shit on each other, but that's what the fuck it is. We don't we don't do shit. I don't I don't do shit like that. And the people I rock with, we don't do shit like that. We talk our shit on YouTube and it is what the fuck it is. So all this cropping niggas' faces from pictures and putting them on nooses and all that bullshit, that's not nothing I stand for. So I did have a conversation with Rico. He didn't give a fuck. And to put icing on top of the cake, even when I was trying to get a breakthrough with him to realize what the fuck he did was fucked up, it's not a laughing matter. You know what I'm saying? He still did something very, I don't even want to say it on him. But he did, he did something fucked up on that live to where the host had to drop him from that live because of what he did. And it showed me like he don't give a fuck. You feel me? And if that's how you want to move and that's how you want to uh, continue to brand yourself in the beef sector, you can't fuck. I, you can't rock over here. And I made it clear to him. You off my discord and I don't want you in my chat. It was very clear. So for people to run around and make it seem like Lemon didn't remove Rico quick enough, nigga, I work on my motherfucking time. Who the fuck are y'all to sit, tell Ness? Like, Ness, he didn't instantly remove Rico when he said he was going to do so. No, I told Ness, I will take corrective actions towards this person and I will remove them. I did not put a time limit on when the fuck I will remove such and such from my Discord. The same night that I told Ness I will remove him, he was removed the same motherfucking night. Okay? I didn't wait the next day. I removed him. So I don't need little snitches trying to run a nest thinking you're going to corrupt Ness and Ness is going to feed into y'all because see what y'all don't know. People actually reached out to Ness to let them know Lemon did kick him out his discord. So try harder with trying to get Ness to beef with me because it's not going to work. As long as I call Ness and she picked up the phone 
and I talk to her one-on-one, there's nothing y'all can do about it. So keep trying to cause division between me and Ness because we're not going. And I'm glad Ness picked up my call earlier and we had a a one-on-one, a heart-to-heart during the party. And I was able to tell Ness what had happened and how I felt during the situation and she knew where I was coming from and everything is good. So to the haters, keep on hating, bro. Because as long as Ness pick up my call and we, we have a communication, there's nothing y'all can do about it. So y'all just got to sit around and wait for something else to spark up. Because right now, Ness and I, we're good. She heard me out. I told her what was going on. I even gave her the the person page where everything popped off on. So she can go watch that live for herself. So it's just weird that niggas be trying to cause division where there's no division. Like, me and Ness, we forgave each other for roasting each other. It is what it is. Ness got trust issues. I got trust issues. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But I just think it's weird for people to try to stick their nose in between other people's relationships just to cause division. It's not going to work, G. She fucking with it. (laughs) Until Ness don't answer my call and start listening to y'all, that's when I'll start worrying it and be panicked. But otherwise, just keep trying. Just sit on the sideline. I'm not even going to mention your name because I don't got beef with you, but you got beef with me. And I'm not going to even answer that call. I'm going to actually look at it and hang up, bro. Dead ass. Because that shit is weird. You want to beef with me, but I don't got no beef with you. So I'm going to leave you right there. Right there. Because I don't give a fuck, bro. Okay. So we got past the whole news gate. <laughs> Then let's go to Brianna's thing. So then Brianna had a live, and then someone was like, oh, if Lemon doesn't uh, kick such and such out of his Discord, we're going to blackball him. Let me tell you something. You don't have enough power in your body to blackball me. And I'm not upset with you. I'm just telling you, don't come back to the beef sector demanding me to do a motherfucking thing. I already told Ness what the fuck I was going to do, how the fuck I was going to move. So I don't need you coming up there saying, oh, if he doesn't kick such and such out of his discord, we're going to blackball him. You don't have enough power to blackball me. Let's be clear. And when I talk to Ness, the person that was affected by this fucking post, I don't need you to then become a victim of something you were not a victim of. Because it had nothing to do with you. You can give your opinion. You can say A, X, Y, and Z. But the fact that you say, hey, we going to blackball him if he don't move this certain way. I don't tell none of you motherfuckers how to move. Who the fuck to uh, associate yourself with? So don't do that weird shit. Move. Get in your bed. Get in your bed. Hold on, y'all. My dog wilding. Hold on one second, y'all. Get in your bed, bro. My bad, I had to go peep the scenery. When my dog started wilding, I think somebody's outside of my house, so I had to go make sure the coast was clear. But it was just weird for a person to come back to say they was going to blackball me if I didn't remove such and such, making it seem like I wouldn't do my big one and stand on business and remove a certain person. I just think it's weird for you to try to come back and make it seem like you are capable of having that type of power in the beef sector. You're cool. You People do like you in the beef sector. I'll give you that. But for you to try to, like, champion or rally people like oh we're going to blackball him if he don't if he don't do such and such and such like how fucking dare you i don't tell none of you motherfuckers who to associate with who to rock with because see i can't even bring up that situation because i'm cool with that person but don't tell uh, don't try to poison the water and try to get other people to join your campaign if i don't move a certain way you're gonna blackball me or y'all gonna stop fucking with me you don't even fuck with me anyways like that so for you to even say something like that is just weird. I didn't appreciate that shit. At least Brianna was open to see, like, did Lemon take this person out of his Discord? Like, let's see 
what's the current status with Lemon and his Discord and removing that person. This person was already trying to blackball me or try to start a campaign early. And it's like, calm down. You be taking the fun out of the sector. Because let's let's remove the new situation. You got a whole problem with the whole Umar boys being here. Nigga, I bring different shit and appreciate that shit. I understand the beef center is sacred. We all are like a, a dysfunctional family. We are. But, nigga, we need new players sometimes. We need different entities in our sector. And if you're going to come in and try to sweep everything away so we only deal with each other, our beefs are going to run dry. We only can fight with each other so many times so where the shit gets boring. How many times can the same niggas fight over and over about dumb shit that it don't hit the same? Just appreciate different people coming over here. Whether they last, they sink, swim, or drown, that's up to the sector. But you're trying to come and do your big one, trying to kick niggas out the sector. And I don't like this. And if you don't like something, don't fuck with it, nigga. I don't like mayonnaise. I don't like certain things. I don't like onions on my burger. But I, I ain't fucking with mayonnaise and onions on my burger. I leave that shit alone. <laughs> and if you don't like something, leave that shit alone. If it's not for you, then it's not for you. Give your commentary on it, but you don't got to try to poison everybody else and make it seem like bringing different people. It's like a big, big deal. I don't, I don't, I don't see the big, the big deal with that. I don't know. It's weird to me. But y'all can tell me what y'all hear. I don't really know. But uh, that's just my commentary on the whole situation. I thought it was weird for her to come back. But you know, people do like her. But it is what it is. And that's how I feel about the whole situation. It's just a little weird to me. Um, and some of y'all say y'all don't like the Umar boys, but if y'all don't like the Umar boys, then don't fuck with the Umar boys. Don't watch them. Don't support them. And when they hit panels, nigga, y'all can talk shit in the chat. That's that's what it's for. But you don't have to support it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is with that. There's no big deal. But I just didn't like her approach trying to um, sun me in a sense. It's like, nigga, you've been gone for 40 days and 40 nights. Chill out. <laughs> Get your shit in order. Don't come and attack my shit, bro. Like, it don't make sense. So I didn't like that whole perspective. I didn't like that whole angle. I thought it was weird. Um, so, yeah, that's how I feel about that. And now we got this whole Shaquem situation. Now, niggas is saying that somebody pulled up to Shaquem's house or, or maybe he has a part in it where he really wasn't. No one really pulled up to his house type situation. I was trying to watch Bree live to get the full totality of what was going on. But unfortunately, I was charging one of my phones. I only had a certain amount of time for when I scheduled my live, so I didn't get to watch it all. So I'm really not too abreast with what's going on with shot cam some people said because we're going into april 1st like this is like an april fool's show some people said nah he'd been pulled up before on his sector so this is some real shit so i'm not too um caught up with what's currently going on with him and somebody pulling up on him at his house so y'all got to kind of fill me in. I've got to read the chat and see what's going on. Or maybe somebody can click the link and fill in the blanks for me about what's going on. I know she had uh, Shaquem on the panel. She had Gooder Boots on the uh, panel. She had some nigga named Will on the panel. I think the Prince of Sheba was on the panel. So she, Brianna had a full panel up there about like who was there and shit like that. Um what would I say? Uh, so I'm not too sure what's currently going on with him, but I think it's funny that they wanted to cancel Donald Goins or DG because he was talking shit about our sector or he was bringing out certain things about our sector and when that nigga MHB was doxing us and shit like that. But so did Glitter Boots. Glitter Boots did the same thing. That nigga called our sector weak. He said our sector was dead. He said a bunch of shit about our sector during that whole MHB Doxin situation. But I find it funny that he was on Ness, I mean, uh, on Brianna's panel earlier. You know what I'm saying? So he did the same thing DG did. But if he can go sit on Brianna's panel, then I can have whoever the fuck I want on my panel. Like if DG come over here, I'm good with DG. I didn't watch his video. I don't know what he did. But if she can have grown folks glitter boots on her, her panel, Nigga, he can come over here as well because she knows that nigga don't fuck with our sector. That nigga been talking down on our sector. He can scroll. You can scroll through his timeline right now and see he been talking mad shit about our sector. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like it's hypocritical when it's me. But when they do it, it's cool. It's like an exclusive. It's like it's an interview. But when 
when I do it, it's like, oh, no, let me better make a decision. It better be beef sector or them like type situation. That shit is weird because I don't put nobody in no kind of umbrella to where they got to pick and choose who they have on their panel. That's why we have a stream yard. That's why we have this open panels and shit like that for people to come up and say, say whatever it is that's on a mind type situation. So I'm not trying to force people on, on y'all. But at the same time, if they can bring niggas over to their panel that's talk bad about the beef sector, that encourage this nigga to dox our sector and, and been biggest big supporter of this dude doxing our sector. He been big supporting it. Nigga, I just went to his community while he shared out uh the nigga new channel on his community wall like an hour or two ago. So it's not like he's not aware of what this dude was doing to our sector, but the fact that he was sitting on Brianna's panel, knowing that he is like a friend of this nigga, but he was on her panel. But y'all want to crucify me for any fucking little thing that's not in order. That shit is funny as fuck. It's weird as fuck. And I don't appreciate that shit, bro. Because I don't tell y'all how to move, how to control y'all channel, how to how to rock with it. But y'all trying to like hold me to the fire like I'm Jesus or something. And y'all know I'm a new content creator. These niggas are well established. They've been content creators for years. So they know how to move and maneuver through bullshit. So don't try to make it seem like I'm this seasoned content creator. I know what I'm doing, nigga. Nah, my shit is just open. I'm fair with it. And if I find bucks bullshit with it, nigga, I'll cut you loose. I'll cut you loose, bro. With no problem. Just like she didn't want to hear from DG. When grown folks click their wings, she should have kicked that nigga off her panel. Instantly, because she's more seasoned than I am. And she's been here for years. As a content creator. So I don't appreciate that bullshit. So y'all gonna stop trying to like control my panel. Tell me who the fuck to have around. If I see something's not a fit for my shit, I will do what I gotta do. Let me do what I gotta do, bro. I don't need y'all telling me what the fuck to do. Because I don't tell nobody what to do on YouTube. Nobody. Never. Because it's your shit. And this is my shit. And if you don't like it, you don't have to watch me. Go watch somebody else. That's it. Very fucking simple. That's what I got to say about all that bullshit. It's just weird. I don't appreciate it. And I don't give a fuck who get mad tomorrow and want to spark up a live and talk some shit. Because I'll be on demon time tomorrow, nigga. I'm going to match your motherfucking energy tomorrow. Because y'all not going to keep playing with me. Any little situation is Lemon's fault. Blame Lemon. Lemon, Lemon, like everything's my fucking fault. No, nigga. This is the internet. This is what the fuck is called. Nigga, it's networking. If you don't like the person that's coming into the sector, y'all know what to do. Y'all know how to get rid of a person. You stop supporting them, right? That's it. It's not math. It's not science. But if I see y'all over there in their shit, you support it. So don't complain. It's just really weird how y'all be trying to move or try to hold me to the fire. I, don't, I just don't appreciate that shit because I think grown folks was the last person with his bent up fucking white hat sitting on Brianna's panel in front of six, seven hundred people knowing he talked mad shit about the whole sector. Been sharing out this nigga's lie when he been doxing everybody in the beef sector. But he want to take his fucking broke glitter boot head ass on Brianna panel. Oh, somebody sent me a link and said Brianna was looking for me. Shut the fuck up. You know Brianna wasn't looking for you. You saw them numbers, and you wanted to be included, so you brought your goofy ass to her panel so you can get some numbers and some viewership. Like, people think, oh, he's cool with the beef sector, nigga. We don't fuck with you in the beef sector. You said our sector is weak. You said our sector is dead, and you was laughing that MHB was doxing our whole fucking sector. But the moment your shit started to dry up, and the BS interview already had passed, and nobody talked about it, you came back over here to get viewership. So let's stop playing these fucking clown ass games. I don't like that type shit. And y'all already know what's going on. So I don't even need to explain this shit to y'all. It's just weird. So don't hold me to the fire when they have certain people on their panel that disrespected the beef sector. And then when I have somebody over here that did some, some shit, it's like, oh, Lemmy better not have such and such on his panel. That's a bad look. We're going to have to do this. You ain't going to do shit. If people don't watch my shit, they don't watch my shit. Cool. I'm cool with it. But blackballing and telling me who to have on my platform or who could be on my platform is just bogus. Stop that weird shit.
Because if I don't do that to none of your faves, I'm not going to tolerate that shit over here for me at all. So if anybody in their feet feeds tomorrow, y'all want to spark up a live and talk y'all shit, bro. I promise y'all, I will match your energy. I'm not trying to, but if, it, if you push me there, I will go there with you as well. I don't give a fuck who you are. That's how I feel. So I went on a rant long enough, 31 minutes, you know. Normally, I don't even talk that much. <laughs> But this shit just been weighing on my heart. It's like it's 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 hypocrisy at its finest. It's bullshit. It's it's trying to um, censor the new content creators that's coming along. You know what I'm saying? At least I did bring some new people over here, and you guys have been pretty found too because you guys <laughs> support them. He they're on their panels, like some of the big hitters on, in in our sector panels. Uh, they support them as well. So I feel like all this this backlash, all this bullshit, all this. This, this dumb talk is just redundant because if Ness has them over there, she supported. If Bree has them over there, she supported. And I understand the only person I met that don't really like them is Pizarro <laughs> for her own reason. She doesn't like the Umar boys, but that's on Pizarro. She just don't fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? That's her opinion. That's her right. She has every way to not want them in her chat. X, Y, and Z. Cool. That is what it is. But for the rest of y'all to be complaining, y'all really like these people. Y'all just be friendly. Y'all like to go along to get along. Y'all want to go along with the people saying, I don't like these people. Y'all do. Y'all really do. Just start thinking for yourself. Be an independent thinker and stop trying to fit in so much because fitting in is boring, but standing out is harder to do, especially in the beef sector. Move solo. That's how I know you're an independent thinker. But trying to just go along to get along and fit in with your crew, most of y'all don't even got gripe with these niggas. Y'all just don't like them for some dumb shit. Some of the shit they've been accused of isn't even proven. Y'all just heard some shit like, oh, I knew I didn't like them. But get to the bottom of it. Make sure it's true before you actually make your decision on these people. Because they're not that bad. Come on now. They're not that bad. And I don't like that shit, bro. It's just weird. I didn't drop my link yet, but let me give me a second. Y'all finna go on mute real quick. I gotta grab my other phone. I gotta drop my link real quick. And I will bring some people if y'all got some questions for me. I just wanted to clear that up real quick. You know what I'm saying? This was like an open panel type shit. But I forgot to drop my link because I was trying to go live. I was already late. I got off the phone with my mom, so it was like back and forth. So I do apologize. Just give me one second and uh I'm gonna drop the link. So if there's anybody that wanna come up, have an open discussion. Uh feel free to click the link and uh come up and tell me what you what you think about what I pretty much talked about and make sure y'all hit the like button. We got 201 people in here. Can y'all make sure y'all hit the like button for me for the free 99? I genuinely appreciate that so much though. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back, y'all. The link is pinned. Anybody want to come up, make sure y'all come up. Make sure y'all cameras is covered. Uh, and if y'all have any kind of commentary, y'all want to chime in on anything that I said, you can do so. Uh, now is the time to do so. And my bad for not reading y'all comments. Lady Nika, salute to you. Finally, I can see Lady Nika, y'all. It's a miracle, y'all. I have to go, <laughs> I have to go uh, unhide Lady Nika from my channel. So, Lady Nika, I do apologize to you for, you know, you being blah, but hey, Big Lemon, I will catch your replay. I got work tomorrow at 6 a.m. Uh, comes fast. Uh, hey, Chatters, good night. My bad, Lady Nika. I went on a whole 30-minute rant. You're probably not here. Uh, but yeah, I finally got you unhitted and I can see you in my chat. So salute to you and good night and hopefully have a good day at work. I'm just scrolling through the chat. Anybody want to come up, come up, pull up, pull up and let's, let's get it popping. 
Uh, just scrolling through the chat, y'all. Just scrolling through the chat. Oh, we got baby mama Breen in the building. <laughs> what up, baby mama Breen? A salute to you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your support. <sighs> this shit is crazy, y'all. Man, I had a good day, though. Hopefully, y'all had a good day as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, my day been pretty good. I just had to come back and address this YouTube shit. I'm like, let me... uh. <laughs> address this shit, you know, while it's fresh on my mind. So when I move on to like my weekday, I'm not thinking about this bullshit and niggas that's feeling some type of way, they'll definitely say that shit tomorrow and I'll, I will address it tomorrow nonetheless. So yeah, we got Rodney in the building. Let me make sure this is Rodney, y'all. Give me a second. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Rodney? Yeah, it's me. All right, salute, salute. What up? Hey, what's going what's on? Popping? Yeah, what's you know, it, it's just a selective outrage for me, Lemon. You know, they always hold certain people feet to the fire, but let other people get away with murder. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of that going on up in here. And um, also, no, I, I agree. I, I agree with you. I agree with you with the selective outrage. I think it's more so to the newbies in a sense because what I notice is you don't normally see people in our sector that's kind of established, been here for a while, that's being put in these type of situations. More so of the newcomers because they feel like they're they've been here long enough that they got more authority over you. And I don't like that type of feeling, nigga. I've been here for five and a half years. Maybe not as a solo content creator, but I put my work in, but ain't nobody gonna tell me no bullshit like, oh, uh, if Lemmy don't get rid of Rico, we gonna blackball him. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I right. got rid of Rico, bro. I didn't appreciate what the fuck Rico did to Ness. I didn't. And I even had a discussion with that nigga the same fucking night. And I told him, bro, this shit is a bad look. I don't like what you did to Ness. I stood on business, my nigga. Kicked him out my stream yard. Man, kicked him out my Discord. And I told him I didn't want him in my chat. Yeah, that's... Uh, and and I, I like Rico, but it, that it, it's just some things, you know, you can go too far. It's okay to go back and forth and woo-bang and all that, but um, it's just sudden certain stuff is just off limits. Yeah, I agree with you. And um and because it, and, and I it just crazy they tell my you didn't move the man fast enough that's crazy. Hey Lemon, hey Rodney. Hey, how you doing? What up, room shaker? Finding you. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Came to chill out with y'all tonight. Oh, okay. That's what's cool, up. Cool. Thank you for being here, room shaker. How was your Easter? I was asleep all day. I slept eight hours on live. You fell asleep for eight hours on live? <laughs> yes. Oh, like a sleeping like you did it on purpose type shit? Yeah, or you just fell asleep? Much. Oh, because shit. You know, my shit be accidental, but I'll be asleep for a couple of hours on live. <laughs> now you can go to sleep. They're going to sit in there. They're going to come through. They're going to hit the like buttons and everything else. Hold on. But you know what? As far as the Umar bars, um, Lemon, in my opinion, uh, they... Okay, they found to be sick, but they really not doing anything that's outlandish or anything, so they, they don't bother me. And, you know, and that's all I got to say on that. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad Roddy. I, I, was, uh, I was grabbing something real quick, and I got to open Did you up hear my me? drink. I, I, <laughs> I had a but yeah, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Yeah, I can okay. hear you. Um... So with the Umar boys, listen, this is what happened with the Umar boys. I met Binary on Baby Mama Brina channel. We were discussing about what sector we're from. I told him about the beef sector. He told me about the, the Umar Johnson sector. Um, we told each other about different, you know, CCs in our sector. I was like, oh, well, check out this person's page, this person's page. And if you like their content, subscribe to their to their page and, you know, show support. That's all I did. Right. Then I met Shaquem, you know halfway through the process of me knowing binary. And then what happened was when binary started fucking with our sector, he started sharing people 
in our sector lives out on his community wall. So if you're from a different sector, your people are going to be like, oh, who the fuck is this? Let me go check them out. So that's how right. kind of like the Umar Johnson sector kind of merged with our sector. But I don't think merging is a bad deal because when we met the Mo3 sector, nigga, we got introduced to a whole bunch of different people from the Mo3 sector, like Big Baby, Queen 88, you know, Mahaya. Um, right, right, right. You know, and, and, uh, and, and, a host of other people, you know what I'm saying? Right, and when my head, and when I had my uh live uh yesterday, you know binary, you know he he dropped down in my chat, you know it's it's cool. So what's your take on what's your take on the Umar boy? You said they're not doing too much as far as like causing an issue or like right, not no, doing too not much. They're really causing issues or anything like that. You know they just hitting panels, you know expressing their opinions and things like that, just like everybody else. But other than that, they, I mean they they all right in my book. I mean. I really just don't see that that land is that they're doing. I think the sector is looking at it as like, you know, when new people come around, they're more so guarded. Right. Because the beef sector is, you know, it's beef sector, you know what I'm saying? But in order for the sector to grow or get different players, you have to be willing to allow new people to come around. Now, grown folks bought his fucking glitter boo head ass to oh, our sector. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> from a whole different sector. I don't know if he's from the black sector or the manosphere sector. I don't that know where the fuck he came from. the black sector, I think. That bastard is from the black sector. But why do he No, 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 over? no, no, no. He's from um that coat champ, them coat people. Oh, he, uh, oh, okay. I Rachel thought he was from the black sector. Or, or whatever their name is. Uh-uh, because the black sector get mad when people say that. He's trying to fit in ever since Nature Boy went down. Oh, okay. I thought he was from the black sector. Okay, but but anyway, who, wherever he's from, he needs to quit coming over here to the B sector because um, of, you know, because he really don't like anybody over And like I say, he was, um, Limma was saying, he he was all for that man was uh Dr. the B sector. You see what I'm saying? He was enjoying it. He was getting his rocks off on that shit. He really was. Hey, Roddy, to the point that the nigga just shared the nigga new uh channel on his uh community wall a couple hours ago type situation. So it's not like He's not fully abreast. Well, He's not fully abreast of what the dude been doing to our sector. But he, when when the nigga was terrorizing our sector, Glitter Boots was the head nigga in charge, making video after video after video, right. talking down about right. our sector and talking about our sector is weak and X, Y, and Z, and just just talking a whole bunch of fuck shit. Like his videos are still up, y'all. So if y'all think I'm lying, y'all can go watch right. it for yourself. So it's not like I'm making this shit up. Well, but I just find it hypocritical because it's like if dg did the same thing as glitter boots then y'all should have banned glitter boots from even hitting y'all panel as well because he did the same thing they're accusing dg of doing now they said dg kind of adopts the beef sector and i didn't watch that video but jay dunn did send me something to watch but I, I forgot to like you know watch it uh but but dg said and by DG, I mean Donald Goins. He he said that he didn't uh, dox the sector. He was pretty much giving commentary on the sector, and that's that. But I'm not too sure. Uh, Room Shaker, what what's your take on it? Did you see DG's live, or do you watch him? No, I do not. Oh, okay, okay. I was stern. <laughs> no, I do not. Okay. So the MHB nigga, you kind of know him from the Mo3 sector, right? Oh, me? Yes, I know him. I know who MHB is. And he's like more like Mo3, right? Uh, yeah. I don't really just branch out like that because I know the black sector and Mo3 sector now, they're not too cool on gays. You see what I'm saying? So I just stay in my lane over here. I go everywhere because that's how I feel like you grow. As far as me, like I've been in the right. beef sector for years, right? Mm -hmm. I only can fight with the same people for so long to where it becomes redundant. It becomes repetitive. It's like, okay. And I'm not saying me networking is going to, I'm looking to fight with new people. What I'm saying is I got to, I'm bringing new people over to make this, to respark the sector and have more, um, people from different spaces 
in one space, like the beef sector. And now y'all can pick them apart, analyze them, see where they came from, uh, what they do for like a living and shit like that, uh, like dissect them and all that bullshit. But if you cool, if you good people, I get good energy. I don't have a problem with like being cool with you. But I feel like sometimes in a beef sector, we're so shit, like shelled off, our clothes off to new people that when new people do come around, we give them a hard time. Now, the only people I didn't see them give a hard time to is like when Pizarro and Tracy, they was like, you know, fucking with the Mo3 set that it was like fucking with like Queen Idiot, Big Baby, and all these other people. It wasn't no big deal. You niggas didn't like pick them apart. You know what I'm saying? But when I did the same thing, it's like, oh, Lennon brought all these weirdos over here. Why did Lemon bring all these weird people over here? But it's like when they brought different people over here, it was no big deal. Well, yeah, because they're they female? I feel like because so, I'm going to be real with you. I don't like talk faking the funk shit. They know these these girls from the Mo3 sector, they, they be doing a big one. They can scratch. The only person I think that was not intimidated by women from the Mo3 sector was Pizarro. Because Pizarro will match your energy. Ness will match your energy. Brianna, she will match her energy, but she's more fair. She'll kind of fill you out a little bit more before she actually go there with you. But everybody else, nah, they knew they couldn't hold a candle to these girls. That's why they didn't like question Pizarro uh, or Tracy about like these new people they were bringing over to the beef sector. But when I did, it was a big deal. Now, Tracy likes Coles um, and, and Shakam. So, Tracy, I'm not talking to you directly. I'm just talking to the other people that's that more of the the subscribers uh, and some of the content creators that's like oh the Umar boys are just weirdos Lemon brought all these weird people over here I brought two people over here now they have a following and I like their people I met some cool people in the Umar sector you know what I'm saying so y'all need to stop being so close minded with meeting different people if y'all don't like them don't fuck with them it's simple okay let me respond right, well, to you I stand for what's right um, first of all, Room Shaker was all over here in the beef sector. Room Shaker was on this panel, she was on Pizarro's, and she was on Brianna's. And wherever I choose to roam, I'm gonna go because I'm Hell Sector. So, uh, thank you. Let me clear that up for you. Oh, yeah, Room Shaker be everywhere, you know. So, that's that. Hey, and I yeah, the beef sector took a good light. Oh, go ahead, Ronnie. My bad. Yeah, I think she did. She drop down off in my chat at one point in time. Uh, Room yeah, Shaker, I, I think she did. Too. Yeah, exactly. I thought, yeah, that's what I thought. So it's what whoever that person died in there, go to bed. <laughs> but I felt like the beef circuit embraced you, know, room shaker. I felt like they did not put you through the same kind of uh, interrogating like they're doing, like Shaq Cam and Binary. I don't want to make this a male versus women thing, but I feel like they didn't do the same thing that you. They weren't they weren't trying to like figure you out like that, nigga. You popped up, people fuck with you, you hit panels, you know, you you spoke your your mind on different situations and stuff like that. But I feel like it's very telling when women come around like you, big baby, queen eighty eight. No one gives a fuck about y'all coming over here from a different sector, but let it be two different dudes they're not familiar with. It's like let's figure out who these dudes are. Let's Let's dive into their background, what they do for a living. Who are you? Why are you here? Why are you interested in our, our, our content and shit like that? It's just weird that they didn't give y'all the same energy that they're giving these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Well, I like, see why they, now, let's be clear. I can understand okay. why they're giving them that energy because I told them the same thing about Hell Sector. Uh, I'm watching you. Because you came in, you wanted to make us content, you wanted to play games. Like, come over here and be yourself. Act normal. Cause you can hit the anybody can hit the panel and hold the conversation, the whole topic. But they came over there doing a whole lot extra. They wanted to be inquiring. They wanted to know y'all background, like they had ulterior motive. So I understand they being cautious. Right. It says Lemon. We was having fun with the Mo Three Sector ladies until you brought bring a girl over here. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Not the breeding girl. Breeding girl. <laughs> Who's breeding girl? They talking about they talking about baby mama. I know, but breeding girl. <laughs> okay, listen. Everybody's not for everybody, right? So maybe baby mama Brina was a. Actually, people said they liked her until the whole M word situation happened, right? So when that whole situation popped off, um. It went left. 
I'm not gonna hold you. It won't last. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it was something that I could not foresee. You know, when it happened, it happened. It was like out of my control. But it was like everybody was like, "Well, Lemon, what you gonna do with this situation now that she used this word? Like, what you gonna do?" Like, and I had a conversation with Brenda about the whole situation when she used the N word. I w- I was disappointed. I told her like, "Damn, like." The fact that you're saying shit like this in a predominantly black space is fucked up. You shouldn't even be saying that kind of word. I get it. You say people in Texas say the N word, whether they're black or non black. It's not a reason to say it. Like, I feel like it shouldn't be in nobody's vocabulary that's not black. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't black, <laughs> you shouldn't be saying it. And I told her that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, when it happened, when Jay Dunn called her a bunch of wetbacks, and then she went to her channel and Say, how would y'all feel if I called y'all niggas? I was like, fuck. Like, how the fuck this happened, bro? But it was out of my control. Why would she go there and call her wig back? Why would she do that? Well, they were arguing on my panel. And Brina called Jay Dunn and a couple of bitches. And the moment you disrespect Jay Dunn, Jay Dunn gonna drag you to hell. Jay Dunn don't give a fuck if you're the biggest OG in our sector or the smallest content creator. You disrespect Jay Dunn, she gonna hit below the belt. Jay Dunn don't give a fuck. She gonna go to something she feel like is a soft spot for you. So she called her a bunch of wetbacks, maybe like five, six, seven wetbacks. And um, Brina got pissed. She dropped off my panel. And uh, she went to her own panel and she sparked up a quick little live and said, so she can call me a bunch of wetbacks, but the second... If I was to call y'all some niggas, it'll be a problem. That's what happened, Ronnie. You know what I'm saying? It was like a tit for tat. But I just wish in that moment, she just would have just stayed on the panel and argued with Jay Dunn and not went to her panel and started calling people niggas. Then she had the whole situation on Pizarro's thing when Pizarro invited Queen 88 and Brina to her channel. This was before the nigga situation. But uh, someone in the chat said, hey, uh, Pizarro, she did a live earlier saying that black men prefer Hispanic women and white women over black women. Um, and so Pizarro asked her the question and she said, well, I did say that, but I didn't say that. My friend said it who happened to be black. And so I just repeated what she said on my platform and all hell broke loose. Pizarro went ape shit on Brina. That's what kind of sparked this whole right. Brina, you know, perspective of black women and black men type situation. It happened on Pizarro's panel when she invited them over. Someone in the chat saw her live earlier that day and she made that comment about her black friend said that, you know, black men prefer Hispanic and Latino women over black women. <laughs> but that is said with Pizarro. Pizarro went ape shit on her. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I, re- um, I remember that um yeah, it was it was a big thing. You it was yeah. They <laughs> they talked about that for a minute. Yeah. But, but what's uh, your take on it? What's your take on it? Like Well, it, I let, me, like, let me let me let me get your opinion. Then I want to get Room Shaker opinion because Room Shaker is a black woman, so I kinda wanna see how she feel about it. Go ahead, Ronnie. Oh, 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 I thought you were talking about room shit. Uh, well, your preference is your preference. I don't, I, things like that don't bother me, Lemon, about, um, you, when she said that, it, it really didn't bother me. Your preference is your preference. You know, some people is going to uh, like Hispanic uh, women. Some people are not. Some people is not going to like black women. You know, I, I, you know, and some people are. So, I mean, that shit like that don't really bother me. It, it really don't bother me. So, if a Hispanic person said the N word around you, how do you how, how how do you react to it? Like, what what's your move? What's your what's now, your now the N word? Now I would have a problem with it because I always tell black people that we shouldn't use the N word if we don't want anybody else to use it. You see, what I'm saying we we should we shouldn't use it upon ourselves, and that's including me uh, uh, as well. You know, I even use it, but uh, you know, I'm I'm just as guilty. But I feel like we shouldn't use that word if we should if we don't want any other race to use it, and that's my opinion. Okay, room shaker. I got another guest backstage. Let's see who it is. 
All right, damn, damn, damn. All right, let's bring him up. Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure it's him. Hold on, y'all. Who is that? Uh, you want another hint? Yeah. Uh, Hello? No. Uh, another hint would be, uh, fuck it, fuck it. I got it, but y'all probably still won't get it, so I don't want to do impersonations. Let me just bring him up, bro. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what up, Sun God? I am the Sun God, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shaquem. <laughs> no, 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 no. Shaquem. Oh, Shaquem. Yeah. Do we sound alike to you? Who? Me and Sir King. They, we sound alike to you? Ain't that his picture? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Lemon, you know they said we got the same voice now, but I don't hear it, bro. I feel you, like I, you and I, or Sir King and you, me and you, me and you. They were like, "Uh, is that no?" Y'all don't have the same you voices. Don't even have the same tone. I'm like, Lemon, nah. nah. You got a deep, you got a deeper voice than us. You got a deeper voice, but it's yeah. not even the deepness of the voice; it's the accents that are different. Oh, I'm from Cali. I'm from Cali, so you're from Detroit. <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know, but nah, nah, because they said, you know, uh, I don't know if y'all remember, uh, what's his name, uh, Big Riggs? Yeah, I remember Big Riggs. And they said, I sound like Big Riggs, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what happened to Big Riggs. I know him and I got into an argument, uh, but he oh, kind of disappeared. Him. I just subscribed to your channel, so yeah, I, did. I just subscribed to it. To me? Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, salute, Rodney. I just subscribed to you, too. Salute. All right, thank you, buddy. Hey, that's what's up. So, let me, one second, y'all. Room shaker. What's your opinion if a Hispanic woman says her her black friend said that black men prefer Hispanic and white women over black women? Like, how do you how do you receive that information being a black woman? I want to hear from a woman perspective. Uh, from a woman perspective, I can kind of agree, <laughs> and it's it, it's just that we have watched our black men. <laughs> sit here and entertain the likes of other entities and y'all put them on pedestals and y'all don't take them through half of the stuff that y'all take us through. Damn. Room shaker. I love black women. I don't know where it came from because I met her. They were like, let me don't like black women. Of course he will fuck with her. She's Hispanic. Thank you, Davina. Most <laughs> of the women I fuck with on YouTube that I was interested in were black women. Fully black, chocolate women, dark skin to be exact. So stop trying to paint this narrative like because the women I was talking to are no longer here and well, I no, met her. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. not Go ahead. off you, but in reality, we have seen this. We have seen black men dog women out, and we don't seen women dog men out and choose opposite races to put on pedestals too. So it's vice versa. But we we see it more coming from the men. Than the women, y'all, y'all go through hell and ice water. Y'all don't want to give it y'all all of y'all best, and it ain't all black men. And then when y'all get with that woman, y'all want to do everything and cater to them and pamper to them. And then you leave the black woman to be bitter about the situation. It was like, why did you? And then I, I just look at it like, well, maybe it was because you allowed it, you settled, you know that wasn't what you was looking for, but you accepted it, so he did what you allowed him to do. Because I feel like most real black men, if they come into the situation, they're going to keep a woman where they met her at, or they're going to try to build her for the better. They ain't going to come in and take away. But all men are real are not real men. Uh, Lemon, do me a favor if you can. Uh, can't, I, can't do it from, uh, I can't do it from the panel. Can you drop my uh, channel link in the chat? Are you able I can't, but, but, but oh, okay. I do got moderators here. Moderators, uh, can y'all please do me a quick favor? Can y'all make sure y'all go get Rodney's channel link and can y'all drop it in the chat for people who's not subscribed to Rodney? We're trying to get Rodney to 1K. Um, can y'all copy his uh, channel link and drop it in the chat for people to subscribe to his channel? Rodney been putting in that work. Rodney's ready to be a CC. So I want y'all to please, if I have any mods that's still here right now, can y'all get Rodney's link and drop it in the chat? So people can subscribe to the channel, please. And thank you. I appreciate that. 
Thank you, Lemon. Yeah, no problem. But but I gotta I gotta, gotta I gotta pick with you though, Ronnie. Okay, what's up? Don't let that one incident with the you know that big incident you had. Don't bring that up no more because don't let that define who you are. That was a beef. You're in a beef sector, right? So you're in multiple beefs, right? right? This is a beef. That's a beef. This is a beef. One beef might be bigger than the other, right? Don't right. don't mention that all the time. Just right. try to focus on new shit or different commentary. But that that happened. That was your past, right? That whole incident right. with that person. Uh, right. So I'm right. not trying to say no names, but we we know right. now. We know. Just 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 move forward. Don't don't let that define who you are because they'll be like, oh, this is the person for the you know. You don't want that to be who you are. You want to be just Rodney and a content right. creator in the beef sector. You know, putting out different commentary and, and content for the sector. Like we get it. We heard it, but don't don't keep mentioning that moment because that's not who you are. And you you do you do good. You're doing good. I feel like you did better than me on my first shot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. I but that. yeah, you got it though, Rodney. You just gotta just and, and oh, and you be like, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear? <laughs> yeah, Rodney, we can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I be want to make sure. <laughs> no, I don't want to be talking for nothing. <laughs> hey, can you clear up one more thing? One more thing. Why do niggas keep saying you're like 49? Would you want to clear that up real quick, bro? Uh, I'm gonna it's not a, if you are, if you I'm are. Let, hey, I'm cool. going to let them keep thinking I'm 49. I mean, I'm well in my 40s, yeah, but I'm going to let them keep thinking I'm 49, and that's all I got to say. Oh, 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 so you are, you're in your 40s. Oh, yeah, I'm in my 40s, oh. but I'm going to let them keep thinking I'm 49, and I'm just going to keep it like that. <laughs> Okay, fuck the, you know, fuck them, fuck them. They, you know, who, who are them that I got to prove some shit to? Fuck y'all. I, I, I honestly thought you were in my age demographic. I thought you was in your mid thirties. So that's well, a, good a lot thing. of people say I wear my age well. So I don't have. So hey, it is what it is. So I, uh, it, hey, I wear now, my clear, age well. Clear up one more rumor before we have an open dialogue. You did cam up somewhere else. I heard it, but I don't know if that's yeah, true. Yeah, I did cam up. Yeah, I cam up one time. On... It was on Treese's, like, early one morning. So you did cam... So you are this person in the picture. Yeah, I sure am. Very much Because <laughs> <laughs> someone was trying to spread some rumor on that stage. That's why she kept bringing you up on the panel, because they were trying to say, like, you're using... Yeah, very much yeah, so. That. Okay. Yeah, very All right. much so. Cool. Like I say, fuck them. Now, Shaquem, I caught wind of Brianna's live. Now, someone said that two things I heard. I didn't watch the full thing, but one, one thing was you were running a play. The play was you were trying to pretend that someone pulled up to your house. Okay, that was part one. Part two was another person combated that and said, no, someone did actually pull up to your house and you were on lives. So you didn't respond or react to someone pulling up at your house and you were hitting panels that it didn't, it didn't come off believable. So like what's going on with this whole pull up to your house type situation? Like what's going on with that? I, I didn't watch the whole thing. I didn't have enough time because I scheduled my live, but I didn't know you were on Brianna's panel until like I got a clip note to go look at this real quick. I appreciate the question. So let me just say this. I've gained like 800 subs in two weeks, so I don't need to do plays. I'm not Rob Rax, no coon ass nigga that got to set up a fight with Empress Janet. I'm not desperate. So for motherfuckers to say that I set up a play is hilarious because the nigga Cellulite been threatening me ever since his bitch, Rob B, a.k.a. Rob Big Back, stepped out of line. <laughs> so, a nigga over there talking about my booty hole and dick for three hours with oh. his bitch. So who really who really running plays? I don't, I'm not going live talking about that, that dusty ass, non able to pay a credit card on time ass bitch. I don't give a fuck about Raw Big Back and her 30,000 faces, her botched face, her botched body, her bad breath, bad titties, and bad shape. I don't give a fuck about none of that. She the one that tagged Brianna being messy as fuck and doxing me. That's what she did for attention. So I find well, I mean, it. You still I find like it she's a big girl, but go ahead. 
Not ain't raw big it. bag. He it said raw big bag. Big. It ain't about being big because you could be big and put together. I'm talking okay. about the bitch that's over there with more back than ass. I'm talking about the bitch that got that need to get a facelift, a tummy tuck, a Dr. Miami visit, an insurance visit, a checkup, whatever the fuck she needs. She the one that's out here using We Unlocks money to drop niggas from panels. So I thought abroad that got sued, you know what I'm saying, got her wages garnished and currently still got to pay that balance is calling me broke and talking about where the fuck I stay. Well, last time I checked, bitch, I pay my own rent. I don't got to send out pictures of my, well, I don't got a pussy, but you're the one that sent your pussy around for a couple of dollars, bitch. And then they pass that shit around. And now everybody know your shit look like a number five from Arby's, bitch. So with all oh, of that being oh. said, you know, who really needs money? Like, just just do your research. That's all. I'm going to leave it there. Mm-mm-mm. I used to be subscribed to her, you know, quite a while back, but I... But I, but I eventually subscribed to her. Forgot so, so the the dude that was on Brianna panel is Raw B's boyfriend. Is that the correlation? He's her uh, internet boyfriend, not her real life boyfriend, because you know he stays in my city. That broad stay in Arkansas or Arkansas or whatever the fuck saw somewhere in the middle of the hillbilly islands of America. That's where she is. So that nigga ain't even touched her pussy yet. And he trying to pull up on me. The nigga ain't even fucked this bitch. And he want to fight me for a bitch. He ain't even fucked yet. So, so, she, is, this nigga. so she is a big girl, huh? She not big. She just bad and, and sloppy. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I apologize. I got somebody backstage. <laughs> hold on, y'all. This shit is this shit is crazy. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. They probably should have just left a comment. Hold on, hold on one second, y'all. Hold on. Hold the fuck. All right, hold on. This shit is crazy. Let me see. Okay. Let me put my hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right, let me bring them up. Let me bring them up. Hold on, let's do this one. Let's cover the whole thing. All right, and then let's do this. All right, the Joker. All right. Hello. What's up, bro? Hello, what's up, man? What up? Hi, so how is, how's everybody doing tonight? Pretty good. I saw you on camera before you, you turned your camera off. Yeah, that's, that's me with my face feet, you know. You know that that's why I had the Joker name. Good enough. <laughs> okay. A voice changer, some shit. Voice no, he was he, he was regular. He was sitting in front of the camera. He was just he was painting uh, up as the Joker. He he looked like the Joker. <laughs> he had the face yeah, mask. Yeah. I mean the face paint. Yeah. No, what's up, bro? I'm not using the voice changer, guys. Don't worry. No, I know, I know. So what's up? I don't know, man. Just here to hang out, you know, chat. Nothing else. Okay. Gotta go, bitch. Where you from, Mike? Well, okay, give me some insight on what we've been talking about right now. Give me some insight. Um, I'm from like New Jersey, and my name is Casey. Call me Casey. Bye, okay. Man. What up, Casey? What's up? You tell me. You 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 was on camera. I saw you sitting somewhere painting up as a Joker. Uh, what's that about? That's character, pretty much. What sector are you from? Like, where are you from? Like, what what were on YouTube? Like, who are the people you interact with? Like, that's what I mean by sector. Like, what y'all do? Uh, I just join random stream yards and stuff because you know, like stuff like that. You're using a voice changer, and we can hear it. So I know you think you're smarter than everybody else. But the then, voice changer. I don't have. I don't have no real changer. voice. Get the fuck out of here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, one second. Hold on, hold on, second. Hold on. So, due to the fact you was just on camera, I got my banner up still. And can you can you turn your camera on real quick? I only I can see you right now. Uh, if you turn your camera on, I just want to make sure what he's saying is not true. Okay. Okay. You gotta talk, but talk, but you gotta talk. I want you to. I wanted you to talk. Only I can see you. He left. Talk, bitch. 
Like I uh, said, that's what I thought. Like that's I what said, I thought. You know, you're using a motherfucking voice changer. You must that's exactly what I thought. That's bitch. Fuck out of here. Fucking weirdos, honey. Well, here's what I saw. He is not black. <laughs> he was painted up as a Joker. When I mean the Joker, like the full Joker experience. Uh, he had like fluffy hair, a little bit like curly hair. You know what I'm saying? Like he was like a white boy, like a, a, a skateboarder or something. But he was painting himself as like the Joker. But he was he was on camera. I ain't gonna hold y'all. When I told him to came up right now, he was on camera. Now this whole voice thing, he didn't do it. He kind of dropped at that moment. So maybe he'll come back. But if not, uh, whatever. Uh, people come and go. But yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> How did they find this? Like that shit is crazy. I told you New Mexico been following me everywhere I go, right? I told you that. Yeah. So, so you feel like New Mexico sent him? No, I, I've seen him use a voice changer. Like, literally, he has a voice changer by his microphone. And he can deepen his voice. He can make it lighter. He can change. Oh, that wasn't New Mexico. That wasn't. I know what New Mexico looked. That wasn't him, for sure. Like, he was on camera. That wasn't him, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like this dude is this dude is young. The dude that was on camera, he was a young dude. I know New Mexico. That's that's not New Mexico for sure. A hundred percent sure. We know him. We know we know that when Jesus Christ. But okay. Uh let me ask him about I don't I see I'm I wasn't looking at the comments y'all keep putting what is what does that even mean? Bottom of YouTube? <laughs> Okay, uh, he left, y'all. Can't ask him. If he come back, I'll ask him. So, Shaquem, you pretty much wasn't trolling the sector when a nigga pulled up to your house. You were saying a nigga named Cellulite pulled up. What? what? So, there's a nigga named Cellulite on YouTube? Yeah, and he a fat nigga, too. So, I think it's a pretty motherfucking fitting name, if you ask me. What sector he from, y'all sector? He's not from our sector. That, that nigga don't even got a thousand subscribers. That nigga over there talking about um, how women need to submit and shit. But that nigga got more titties than Raw Bitch got. So last time I checked, nigga, don't not Raw to, Bitch. Don't try to threaten <laughs> me when your bitch got more balls than you. And she not even your bitch at that. You ain't even fucked a bitch yet. Like I said, she's sending you money, nigga. You supposed to be putting money in her pocket. Sugar baby ass bitch. He be, boy, he really for be fucking up that woman's name. <laughs> That's funny. That raw big back cave woman shaped ass bitch. That Amazon wearing <laughs> ass definitely can't ever try to talk to me about money. She really tried to flex and send Ness two hundred dollars because I sent Ness two hundred dollars or something to that degree. But the whole time, I'm about to call the courts on your ass tomorrow, bitch, and tell them that your ass ain't been paying your payments, bitch. You are on a payment plan and you can't you paying ten dollars a month, bitch. But you got all of this money on youtube that you didn't fleece out of these niggas because you telling everybody don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it i need food for my kids you broke focus hope food stamp collector food stamp trailblazing ass bitch you how the fuck you begging for canned goods bitch can't you go down to your local welfare office bitch to the food drive and get some canned goods and some cookies and some doritos hope you out here telling the world that you need to feed your kids and that your kids is hungry, bitch. So I'm going to feed your kids too, bitch. But before I feed your kids, I'm going to call the courts on that ass and let them know that you flexing on YouTube and you not paying them judgments, bitch. Hold on, hold on, wow. hold on, hold on, hold on. Wow. Hold on. Just about a week ago, I seen her in your chat and she sent you a $100 uh, super chat and you thanked her. And she was in your chat. She was telling you not to fuck with glitter boots and shit like that. Know the history and stuff like that before you align yourself with different people. What the fuck happened from her sending you a hundred dollar super chat to you calling her these names? Because it's like in the blink of an eye, y'all mortal enemies. Like, but y'all wasn't mortal enemies because I literally, I tell you where I was. I was on my way to Popeyes. I was getting some chicken real quick, and <laughs> you shouted her out, and he was all like, "Thank you, Raw B, for the." for the support and it was a hundred dollar super chat so it's like how did y'all go from a super chat interaction to you calling her these names like it doesn't did i miss something like what happened 
nothing happened. What happened is the bitch tried to get in the middle of a men's business. And this is why women, you know, when women tell us to stay out of women's business, I respect that. But you can't tell me to stay out of women's business when you want to hang with the niggas and you want to walk around like you got a 12 inch cock and shit, bitch, your pussy don't even look good. So don't try to act like you more of a man than me. And basically that's what it was. She started, she'd been in my sector acting like she's queen B of the Umar sector now. Bitch, you've been here for six months. Okay. So until you literally have gone through the fire of the Umar sector for years, like I have, you can't come to my sector and try to emasculate me. So that's really what it was. She started posting my emails. She started doxing me. She started uh, going on my Facebook and shit, screenshotting shit from 2021. Bitch, I'm not even on my Facebook as much as you are, ho. You more on Ain't my that some shit. You more concerned about my Facebook than your kids, bitch. So, you know, at the end of the day, you don't get to come online. You don't get to come online and call Binary's job, right? And go to Binary's page. And call page. So I'm gonna get binary hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. We got Hoodie in the building. Salute to Hoodie. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 69 likes with 200 and, uh, 263 people ahead. Uh, I, I ain't gonna continue the conversation until y'all get these likes. Of that. Come on now, y'all. It's free. I ain't even ask y'all for a cash app. Come on now. Just hit the like button. And to my moderators, can y'all update me with the thing? Because if they don't want to hit the like button, we can just sit in silence. Like We can all just kumbaya in silence and uh, just... <coughs> I'm cool with I'm smoking. You good, Room Shaker? You smoking, Room Shaker? I need yeah. to smoke, too. After that nigga that just hit my panel painted himself as the Joker. Room that shit was scary. Huh? I'm gonna definitely have to get a better man because of shit like that. I'm gonna definitely have to get one. I told you how to do it. Just go to Google, just download an image, and then go to your stream yard. You can post a picture in your stream yard. You can this is what you do, right? So go to your um you know why you already done enter the studio, right? And then go to your uh -huh. setting part where it says like, you know, brand. No, where it says banners, hold on. Where it says banners, uh, right, right. No brand, my bad brand. And then you go brand? to overlay. Okay, brand. Yeah. Yeah. You go to overlay and you download the picture right there. Overlay. Okay. Okay. All right. So download it. Uh, so download it. Load that damn. Ugh, my tongue. Little, little. So download it from Google, right? Hello. Yes. I think Lemon, I, I guess it's Sam must have went out. He'll be back. Give him time. Mm -mm. Um, I'm going to check on his likes. If y'all get his likes up, I'll cam up and sit on cam with y'all. <laughs> okay. Get the likes up, people. Finish talking, Sir Kim. I thought Lemon wanted to wait till we got the likes up, so... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. See? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pull me another drink then. They be doing the same thing to me. Like, I have to beg for likes too. And I just got like, down. Come on now. If you ain't going to take the free option, hit this cash up. Oh, how nice of you, Room Shaker. Miss my nymphosis. <laughs> subscribe to my page people subscribe to my page But damn, all this quiet is so loud. Mm. <laughs> Hello, motherfuckers. <laughs> Hello, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm playing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my bad, though, Ronnie. Uh, yeah. 
I don't know if they explain it to you. Yeah, you just go to brand and you go to your uh, overlay and you just download whatever picture you want for your overlay and you'll it'll download there and you could test it out on your uh, previous live stream to see if it covers up your whole, uh, you know, platform like like such like this. You okay. can test yeah, it out before you actually use it so you can see if it fits your whole you just download whatever image you want for your overlay. You can whatever you want. You know, just go to Google. You can find a cartoon picture. You can find whatever you want for your overlay. Uh just download the picture, download it up to your overlay and uh test it out. Just test it out and see if it covers your whole screen. If okay. it do, you got an overlay. Simple, it's free. Okay, yeah. yeah. So you say download it download it from Google first, right? Yeah, you download it, whatever, okay. whatever picture. You can look at the font. I mean, you can look at how big the picture is, okay. such as its measurements and stuff like that. Okay. And then you could download a couple. You should download a few. Don't just download one. Download a few different pictures, and then download them to your. Uh, uh, you just click the add add overlay. You'll see the plus sign. It'll say add overlay. You click that. It'll it'll bring you to your uh, your gallery setting from your phone, and you you just. Um, import the picture that you downloaded from Google to your overlay. It'll download and you can test it out yourself and see if it covers your whole screen. That's it. It's free. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to try this sometime tomorrow. Well, sometime today. <laughs> Shaw Cam and Room Shaker, y'all could have told them about it. Did y'all tell them about it? <laughs> about what you told us to hold on till they get the locks up so we was just sitting in oh no i was talking about rod oh i didn't move on to the commentary because the commentary was going to be different i was just trying to help ronnie with an overlay he was talking about the nigga that painted himself as a joker hitting my panel y'all got to be careful because they could either one porn bomb you to be sent on a mission to derail right. your live you never know when niggas hit your link is it's for different reasons so they could have just found you like when niggas found that when a passport bro do hit my panel niggas didn't like the passport, bro, dude, just because of what they stand for. You know what I'm saying? They niggas that move across the country and marry and have families with different women outside of America. They didn't like him, but he was uh -oh, a cool dude, she though. <laughs> she in the tent, y'all. She in the tent. <laughs> cool. Cool. Raw B. Raw B's in the chair? Yep. She follows me everywhere. I Hold on. Listen, I, hey, Robbie. I just posted you wanted to smack Carrie. Wait, I just posted you wanted to smack Carrie to sleep. Well, shot Kimmy. Who gives a fuck? You the one that what does that mean? You wanted to smack you wanted to smack someone to sleep? What does that mean? Hold on. I well, posted you wanted to smack Carrie to sleep. She she the one that stabbed her husband up. So I can say I want to smack this bitch all day, but I have to this day I haven't been charged with domestic violence like that bitch ass. So I don't give a fuck what she tries to post or whoever the fuck she needs to post. Post away, bitch, because Trish already sent me all your shit, bitch. You know how many people have sent me videos, lawsuits, emails of you, bitch. You are one of the most messiest, most sloppiest, built, ugly in the face ass hoes I've seen. I showed your picture to my brother-in-law, and he thought you was a tranny, bitch. He rated you a zero, a negative one, bitch. You didn't even make the one to ten scale, bitch. You ain't even attractive to, to regular, re regular niggas like me or even married older niggas like my brother-in-law, bitch. That's why you got to pay for the dick. Like, you over there paying hoodie to be your bitch. You over there paying cellulite to be your bitch. You got to pay to get these niggas to be around you as a woman why are you spending all the motherfucking money that you don't got bitch you don't got it like that so stop the cap or hit the link don't type to me bitch come up here and talk that big wolf wolf i'm from brooklyn don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it shit bitch Hit that motherfucking link, bitch. I'm not about to argue with you from the chat. Hold on, hold on, y'all. We got another person, y'all. I don't know who this person is. Let me put up my banner, y'all. Just just bear with me. I apologize. Hold on. And then Y'all are really at war. This is no, nah, I don't know who this is. Uh Maryland. All right, we got Terry Williams, which name is something different. Had to say. What's good? What's good? What's good, Maryland? What's up, dude? How we doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. Happy Easter. What's up? Happy Easter. <coughs> Just chilling, man. Um, got bored, so wanted to see what was going on on YouTube. 
So here I am. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep my banner up. You want to go on mute? Because I got another guest backstage that's going to come up real quick. You want to sit on mute? I won't yeah, drop I my banner. So if you want some funny shit, you know, it ain't going to work. <laughs> All right, dude. No, I'm not on some funny shit. I don't care if you keep a banner up. All right, for sure. All right, go on mute. Hold on. Let me bring this other person to the stage. One second. Mm. Hello? Raw? Hi, Lemon. What's good? What's good? <laughs> Lemon drop shit can be down because I ain't gonna be yelling back and forth with that bitch. Beat. To come up here I ain't gonna be yelling back and forth with that beat. Like how the fuck I say. Like how the fuck hold I on, say. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 H
You miss up a guy, nigga. That's all you got. That's why you anybody talking up about it, but we see your little two inches of dick. But we see your two inches of dick, nigga. But we see your two inches of dick, nigga. But we see your two inches of dick, nigga. We see your two inches of dick and how you upset. We see your two inches of dick and how you upset. We see your two inches of dick and how you upset. How you upset? How you mad? How you upset? How you mad? How you upset? How you mad? How you mad? Mess around and talk about the else and try to run a fucking play, nigga. How you mess around and talk about the else and try to take a play, nigga. Drop off the motherfucking episode. All I have to do is click a button, nigga. All I have to do is click a button, nigga. Got you. Or a motherfucking back, nigga. Looking like a bitch. You ain't fresh. Looking like a bitch and you ain't fresh. Looking dusty and fucking musty in that dirty ass motherfucking house you got. That's only worth $9,900 motherfucking dollars, nigga. Why you out here trying to tell people that you got motherfucking sexual air ass, nigga. But meanwhile, you got a whole fucking landlord, nigga. You got a whole fucking landlord, nigga. And your landlord got you living like you living in fucking squalor, nigga. We know you got roaches and rats, nigga. We know you got roaches and rats, nigga. And you don't got no fucking clout, nigga. You don't got no clout, nigga. And nobody likes you. Strippers don't dance like that. You lie. Stop fucking lying. Strippers got motherfucking real moves. Magic might do not dance like that. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Dot com, nigga. You mad because you live You mad because you live in. You mad because you fucking losing, nigga. You've been taking L's all motherfucking week, nigga. You can't get no sleep, nigga. You stay here all night. You motherfucking crackhead, nigga. Like a motherfucking crackhead. And a boy like a crackhead trying to get $283 for quarter on April 3rd. You said you was driving today. You said you was driving today. You got a suspended license. Please know I'm sending that clip to Judge Parker. Please know I'm sending that clip to Judge Parker. You gonna have to explain to Judge Parker how you was driving in the street for the suspended license and you ain't even taking my money already. You got to get paid for nothing. You got to get paid for nothing. Y'all hit the like button. So I wouldn't even touch that pussy. But again, I've already seen your pussy. And unfortunately for you, I'm not impressed by that pussy. Just like MT wasn't impressed by that pussy. Just like George Do you got come to get your ass right now? Do you still got all the lights on? Do you still got all the lights on? Is you scared? Is you scared, nigga? It sound like you scared, nigga. Yeah, you better no, go no, on no, you. Let me turn my mic on. Don't go on you and come off you. Don't come on you. Don't go on you and come off you, nigga. Nobody is remotely impressed. Blah, 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 blah. This old, this old, this old, this old, the weak will want to be as Amazon wearing ass bitch. This old, give me some five dollar big ass bitch. This old, trying to sue everybody, but you ain't got no money for a lawyer. Ass bitch. This old, public defender getting ass bitch. This old, been divorced twice ass bitch. This old, this old, multiple body count in one sector ass bitch. Can't come up here and try to shame me for a motherfucker. Thing, I don't got a bag for food for my kids, bitch. You up there doing food drives and shit, 
for your I motherfucking said, kids, bitch. Go I feed them kids. I just said, you see, like you said, you see, like you said, you can feed them child in Africa. Let's go and feed your motherfucking malnourished ass kids, bitch. I'll come over here and upset your motherfucking health for you. Go feed them kids. Go feed them motherfucking kids. Why are you eating up all the motherfucking food? Why can't you share some of that motherfucking food? And you Let me interject. Let me interject. Let me interject. So 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 I was on my way to Popeye's like a week ago. And you were cool with Shaquem. Okay. And Shaquem was cool with you. Uh, I would say like a week, almost a week and a half ago. I don't want to, I don't want to allow the, the time, but it was about a week and a half ago. What, what went wrong? Like, did I miss something? Like, where did this come from? I thought you liked Shaquem. I thought Shaquem, I thought you liked Raw. Because uh, prior to me, and, and I remember being in the chat because Raw was like, you should listen about the history of the beef sector because Lemon's telling you the truth about glitter boots. And I remember on my way to Popeye's and uh, she super chatted you, you know? So I thought y'all were cool. So like something went left. What happened? What happened is he sent me motherfucking emails at one o'clock in the morning about hoodies. Yeah, bitch. It don't matter what time I sent you the email, bitch. Hold on, 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 hold on. Let her respond. Let her respond so I can get a clear understanding like what's going on with your Go ahead, Rob Big Back. Go ahead. He's jealous of hoodie. He is very jealous of hoodie. Jealous of what? What is there to be jealous of? Come on now. Very much jealous of her conservative. Who the fuck sends somebody that they don't sloppy grimace of the North ass nigga? Fuck out of here, bitch. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shakim, you're gonna get the floor. A letter tell us what happened, and then you you were do you do a rebuttal? You know, like let her tell us a story so we can follow. Because when people are watching this, they don't understand. They just hear two people arguing. They don't know what's going on. So for the audience sake, let her tell her side. Then you rebuttal, please. So like I said, he sent me an email one o'clock in the morning talking shit about hoodie. I do business with Hoodie. I like Hoodie and I fuck with Hoodie. I didn't think that shit was okay. I didn't think that shit was cute. But, you know, I let it go because I like to peep out the whole fucking landscape. Then once I didn't take his side, he started running around talking about some, oh, well, she's just biased to wear Hoodie. Whatever. If I am or if I'm not, I don't have to take your fucking side. Don't send me no fucking emails about nobody, period. I don't fuck with you and I don't know you, nigga. So since he couldn't have me on his team, he decided he wanted to wage a fucking war. And here we are. Then the nigga started talking about my kids. Then he wanted to talk about my looks. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Really, I don't. Say whatever the fuck you want to say. Because at the end of the day, I still fuck with Hoodie over you. Always. Forever, nigga. Okay. Now he can say whatever the fuck he got to say. Fuck. Again. Okay, go ahead, Sharkin. And so she's trying to make this about Hoodie when it was really about Triggs. I told her Triggs is working with the racist and that hoodie is also getting paid by the racist. So instead of being a woman about it and emailing me how she felt, what she did was she posted the email so she could get clout. She docks me first. So I don't give a fuck how many motherfuckers I call your kids, your family, your grandma, bitch. You came from my family. You came from me. So you're going to get that energy a hundred times over. But here's the difference, bitch. You got all the cases, ho. You got 30,000 collection accounts and you can't pay one. Do I? So who gives a fuck if you fucking with Hoodie? Hoodie can't put no money in your pocket. You sure? I could, but you, you, sure you want to it? fuck Hoodie so bad. You, you want sure about it? So I do? So you bad. sure? You are so in love you with sure? that nigga. And he's a whole coon. You sure? And a whole sloppy mm -hmm. milk ass bitch. So I you want sure? you to go fuck Hoodie, suck his dick, go fuck okay. Hoodie Light, and go fuck all the niggas That's you want to fuck. Because I personally don't yeah. give a fuck who you like, bitch. Who the okay. fuck are awesome. you? Awesome. Awesome. 
I mean, at the end of the day, I want to say this to you, to your face. Thank you so much for bringing that lawsuit to my attention. I bet you didn't know Portfolio Recovery Services is got already charged by the government, $24 million lawsuit for illegal debt collection practices. See, I didn't even know that existed, but I appreciate you for bringing it to my attention. But now when we're going to sit here and talk about what you didn't say about hoodie? See, I showed one email. Now we'll show them all just to show how much of a fucking liar you, you are. Lemon, can, so Lemon, can you share the screen? Lemon, can you share the screen? Lemon, can you share the screen? I'll let him talk. And now he don't want the truth to come out. Can you share the screen, Lemon? Oh my God, y'all. Come on, y'all. Okay. Um, mm. Can you share the screen? I don't want to, I don't want to dox his email. It's no. not doxing his email. His email is not even showing. Yes, it is. No, and it's I not. Your yeah, email address is it. not Why even showing. Rose. Why she always got to share her screen? Why she can't do What you mean? I'm coming with the facts. You can't handle the facts. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask, let me ask, let me ask something. Let me ask something. Let me ask something. Let me ask something. Your email address if, is hold on. <clears throat> if that's not showing, uh, Shakim, do you have a, like a rebuttal? Could you like then? Can I share your screen and you could provide evidence type situation? Oh, yeah. I, only, only. I will be fair. I will be fair to both parties, but only if you if you come. If not, I we can y'all can just argue with words. But I want to be fair to both sides. I don't want to. If she want to play the receipt game, let's go. Share your okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, one second. So Robbie, when I when I hold on, Robbie, when I put you up here. It's not going to be nothing for the public that they can pick up on, right? Everything is kind nah, of covered. Not at, not at all. Not at all. You sure? It's only his business information inside the email. His email address is not showing at all. I promise you that. No emails. Okay. It's just messages between you two. Yes, absolutely. His business information like. I guess his Amon Ra University and the number he has attached, which is on his public Facebook page. Yeah, she she got all my information. See, she reached okay. out first. So, yeah, so Sharkin, what do you feel about that? I don't want to do nothing. That, I want to be fair to both parties. I don't want to put out nothing that will... I put it all on my community tab, too. We could yeah. talk about no, it. No, I understand. Right but I want to be fair. If, if he said, if he gave me the green light, I will share the screen. But if not, I want to be fair. I don't want to violate... I'll pass, I'll pass on that because I didn't already... I didn't already debug. Okay, that. so then I'm gonna just put it on the community tab well, and everybody can go to the community already. tab and see. I don't give a fuck, Shaquem, because you it. stand here lying, post yo. I talk to you about post getting that strike from Trigger. You started talking about hoodie. Don't play with it. And you started talking about hoodie. And you started talking about hoodie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hoodie, 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 hit the link. Hoodie in the chat right now. He just put some eyeballs in the in the chat. Hoodie. I know you're here, bro. I know your time is crunched because you're on the East Coast, bro. So I know it's probably like 12, 1, 2, something in the morning for you. Almost 3 o'clock in the morning for you. Come up here real quick, bro. Don't play with it. Come up here real quick, bro. Don't play with it. Because you over here, you so worried about Don't fucking hoodie. It. You, you so it. worried about hoodie. I'm you didn't even respond about the motherfucking... The strike itself. You responded about hoodie. What that shit showed that you about that hoodie. That How much that you got that about that hoodie, that honey? That you can't that sit that there. That and deny that, that. that. and you how much you don't fuck with binaries in the fucking bit. email too. You, you, you got the game. Don't well, some nigga, I keep bitch. telling don't you, you want to keep running on me, and I'm gonna keep telling the truth on you. And I never stabbed my fucking husband's stupid ass bitch. He believes in what the fuck the ex bitch told you. I really don't give a fuck, nigga. Don't stab your ex husband. Stop fucking lying. Stop fucking lying, nigga. Stop fucking lying, nigga. Stop fucking lying, nigga. Stop fucking lying, nigga. Don't worry, the truth is gonna come out. You a fucking snake, nigga. At the end of the day, that's what it is. You a fucking snake. You're a snake. You and her are the same. Class, You're a bitch. snake. You're in the same way. You a class, snake, class, 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 yo. You a snake. Fuck you a snake, and then you want to sit there and say Trick was talking about me. Trick didn't even know who the fuck I was, yo. You a fucking liar. Yo, yo, yo. You're a liar. That's what you do. You fucking lie. You lying ass pussy ass. What's good, hoodie? Like the fuck you lie to me. You fucking lie on everybody, bitch. You lie on binary. You really lie on everybody, bitch. You lie on everybody, bitch. Stop being a fucking liar, nigga. Stop being a fucking liar, nigga. Come with the fucking truth, nigga. Nigga, come with the truth. Nigga, come with the truth. Nigga, come with the fucking truth, bitch. Come with the truth, bitch. Come with the truth, bitch. Come with the truth, pussy, bitch. Come with the truth, pussy, bitch. I mean, whatever. You gon' die, bro. You gon' die, bro. 
You come with that born, truth, bro. nigga. You been come with broke, that truth, nigga. You gon' die, bro. Oh, you you that been truth, broke nigga. your whole motherfucker. Don't worry about it. Everybody go and read the emails between me and Jack and him. What's up, hoodie? Salute, 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 man. Salute, bro. Damn. Salute, bro. <laughs> Damn, man. Shaquille. <laughs> Don't address Listen. me. Address your bitch, nigga. Don't talk to me. Damn, Shaquille. <laughs> he down bad today, boy. <laughs> nigga, that boy down bad. Funeral. You just had a funeral three hours ago, but you telling me I'm down bad, nigga? You still in the ground. Right? A funeral? <laughs> a few. Who, who, had a, who, who had a funeral? Who had a funeral? Mahogany roots. I, I I shared that, nigga. The ground, <laughs> hey, let me. He tried to say she was part of the beef sector. You are fresh. He said the beef sector was burying me. Mahogany buried your dumb ass, nigga. So shut the fuck up. We don't, we don't know. We don't know mahogany. We, a mahogany. That's why I know that. Look, that's that's why I said the nigga. The nigga corny, man. It's you corny. You doing exactly. a funeral? He corny. Hey, let me. But see, let me. This is this is what I tried to tell you though. Like this is the energy you getting from these niggas, man. Don't these niggas them. look they these well, niggas well, on the lineup Sha this, this this is this is the best shot kim got right now and y'all watching him melt the fuck down man shot kim is afraid and he melting the fuck down right now lord have mercy hold on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on hold one second one second one second y'all it says lemon having her uh, it says lemon her having this man likeness it on your channel is isn't safe him having i know they have each other, but but I I I talk to both parties. Both parties said no, they don't want X, Y, and Z. So nothing was shared on my platform. Um, she said she'll take it to her community. Well, that's between them two. I like Raw B. I like, and I've been doing Raw B for years since I hit the beef set. I didn't just meet Raw B from the Umar set. I've been new Raw B. She's been here. Um, and then I, I met Shaq Cam. I like Shaq Cam, so I, I don't have a dog in this fight. I just want to be fair to both parties. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to disrespect either party and then leave here thinking like I set them up or put them in a bad light. So I'm just oh, trying no. to be fair. If they say no, then I gotta respect both parties. So I won't allow yeah, nothing yeah, to happen over here. So my bad, y'all. Like when this nigga been running from panel to panel to panel to panel, hopping around, panel to panel, looking looking for somebody to take his sob story. I don't know what the fuck the nigga afraid of, man. He's supposed to be a nigga with some type of shotgun in his room. In a ten thousand dollar motherfucking oh, house, like come on, dude. Hey, none of these niggas bought that motherfucking life. Hey, none of these niggas, you know, whoever showed up at your door with. I'm gonna put some emails on my community tab, and you can see the first thing that the nigga sent to me. Wesley, Wesley, live. I like Shark I like, I like, I like Raw B too. I, I don't got a dog in this fight, so you can put like he likes Shark No. I respect I respect Raw B like I respect Shaq Kim. I respect both of them. That's all. It, I'm just being fair. I don't want to be showing favoritism towards nobody. And it's a weird position when you're a content creator when you're trying to like be fair. It'll come off like, oh, he he likes this person. No, I like them both, and they're in beef. So I'm trying to be fair. That's all I'm trying to do. And you can take it how you want, bro. But I'm just telling you, like, I like them both. That's all. Listen. He could he, he could like whoever he wants to like. Y'all, right. a lot of people, hey Jess Andre, a lot of people be super fucking sensitive on this internet, yo. Everybody is not gonna like you, and that is the fuck okay. But at the end of the day, what we're not gonna deflect on is the first email Shakima ever sent to me was talking shit on hoodie. And I do that business for hoodie. Is that your man or something? Like I'm confused. Is that it doesn't man? even matter what he is. Don't even worry about it. Why but why is you communicating in the background about me though? Like, see that that's the whole thing. Let me see, let me that's what you need to ask this nigga. See, that's what they do. They'll be cool with you, and then they be in the background talking about you. See, that's what you need to ask them, man. You fucking shit on this man for no fucking reason, nigga. That means you a disloyal bitch made ass nigga, nigga. And I don't fuck with niggas like that. Period. 
it, nigga. Don't Fuck you think this is, nigga. I'm from New York. York. We don't play those don't type of games, bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga. I asked you how a strike could be removed. How a strike could be removed. Had you been smart, had you been smart, you would have came at me. Fall in love with niggas online. You desperate. You were talking to me about hoodie. You were talking to me about hoodie. Them emails are time stamped, nigga. Time me. day stamp, nigga. You was fucking shit on this man, man, but you was calling in his face. That let me know he was a fucking snake. You was on this nigga's panel, sending him super chats and sucking on his fucking dick, nigga. That let me know he was a fucking snake. Niggas, I was never going to fuck with you, nigga. Ever. Me money, Ever. You are a sugar mama. Ever. Ever. Never, nigga. Never. Never, nigga. You a snake ass bitch like a pussy ass nigga. That's what you are, because you ain't have nothing to say with hoodie to his fucking face, you bitch ass nigga. You bitch ass nigga. You bitch ass nigga. You bitch ass nigga. You bitch ass fake ass, fraud ass, pushy ass, suck ass, off ass nigga. Somebody come to your fucking house and you hiding on fucking line all night. You hiding on line all night. What the fuck is police pussy? You ain't go outside pussy. Come out and call the fucking police. Oh, that was a crazy thing. You don't know what it's like. You been taking nothing but L's, nigga. Pussy. 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 Pussy, 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 you a 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 pussy, and you a pussy, you a pussy, and you was running around with ass and you was running around with ass out here being an A.W., out here dying for people, out here falling for people's jobs and everything the fuck else, you just can't fucking say things when the shit is pussy, you fucking pussy, you running around here messing like a bitch, you're running around here like you got the fucking period. You're running around here like you fucking seen every fucking day, bitch. You're running around here like you need a fucking cranberry and a fucking mile on you bitch ass nigga. You're running around here acting like you got fucking pussy and you need fucking dick at the end of the day. I can't even believe your bitch ass got fucking head on hit and you can see the meat. I, don't want I can't you, believe bitch. you was moving like that, nigga. You thought that we was gonna be chilling, okay? I don't know who the fuck you are. I don't know where the fuck you was raised at, nigga. But nigga, 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 please. Yes, Chachi, Chachi, just Chachi, me, just did that, and he got a woman sending him money. Fuck out of here. You got Kip sending you money, nigga. You got Kip paying your bills, nigga. You got your dad paying your bills, nigga. You got men paying your bills, nigga. Cause you gay, for pay. Cause you gay, for pay. Hey, you don't got nobody you taking care of you. You don't got nobody Bet loving you on you, nigga. Disgusting. Nigga, you mad as you fuck, nigga. Nigga, please make sure you get that two hundred and eighty-three dollars to Judge Parker while I get don't that credit card. Pay your credit card. Pay your credit card. Pay your credit card. You call it hoodie job, and I'm calling you judge. You call it hoodie job, and I'm calling you judge. You call it hoodie job, and I'm calling you judge. You call it hoodie job, and I'm calling you judge. You know, let me. You see how it is, let me. Is yeah, I was going man. down with Shaq Kim. This is what happened when you yeah, deal with this type of nigga. This is what it happens. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right. So, 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 hoodie, hoodie, hoodie. What's y'all? Because Shaq Kim was in your shit. Y'all was just cool about a week ago. I keep saying that. I promise y'all. I remember that day. Maybe a week and a half ago. What's, what happened between you and Shaq Kim? Because I, I get Rob being him. Yeah. Rob being him is like, you know, what's what's going on between y'all? Like, how y'all get here? Well, you know, Lemon, you know, your your boy reports on Shaq the News, as, as you know, you know what I mean? And this is what happens when you don't give favorable coverage to a person. So as they were coming over, you know, him and Binary coming over to the beef sector, the nigga got mad that... I was doing a narrative of, oh, he got canceled in the beef sector. I, 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 you know, we just doing, you know, we just, I'm just reporting on the fucking news and having fun. And he take this shit personal. Instead of just doing what the fuck he got to do, he more concerned about what my titles and narratives are as if they have any bearing at all on what numbers or what he's doing in the beef sector. And this is what it all comes from. So then he reaches out to Rob B., Raw B's not with that back chat and channel shit, you know what I mean? Especially when you're going to talk about other niggas and they they smiling in your fucking face and she let it be known. And now you got this nigga now to this point where, you know, he, he's not a nigga that can just apologize when he's wrong. He just keeps doubling down and look at where we at. Now you got niggas at your fucking doorstep all for what? You know what I mean? He threatening to call my job as, as if as if he can take my fucking job away. All for what? 
All for what, man? All, all, all because you don't like that I said the beef sector canceled you and they didn't cancel you? Like, think about what we talking about here. The, the, the nigga has to grow up. This is the internet, bro. Calm the fuck down and relax. It's a, fu it's a fucking story, but he can't handle a, f a story. Binary can't handle a fucking story. They get butt hurt just because I said the beef sector is going to cancel them. That's it. Okay. Look. I didn't dox nobody. I didn't yeah. pull up his information. I didn't talk about his parents. I didn't talk about his personal situations. None of that. I talked about only the things that are happening here on YouTube, given a perspective. He didn't like it. And this is what you have. And then the nigga try to say that I want to fuck Cody. Oh, I have a whole man that I've been with for Before over a fucking in. year. But niggas don't in. know that because it's not niggas. Man, this is nigga. I'm not your fuck fucking friend. You don't know if I met man, my man, man in real life. No, nothing. You just talking shit just to be talking. So Let since you want to tell lies on me, I'm going to tell the truth on you every fucking time. You want to tell a lie on me, I'm going to tell the truth on you. You want to tell a lie on me, I'm going to tell the truth on you. And I'm going to come with fucking receipts. 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 Just like you, Carrie, didn't do shit to you today. And you talk about something that she's a bitch. Stop trying to the Come out the closet. 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 Just come out the closet. Just come out the closet. Just come out the closet. Stop fucking trying to talk shit about other people. Nobody don't give a fuck. And when you do that shit, it's just like, oh, fuck. Stop fucking with you. Whatever you say, nobody can hear. Hey, bro, let them hop in real quick, bro. Let them hop in real quick. Nobody can hear, nigga. Again. Go ahead, honey. What are you just trying to make it seem like? We care what Shut the fuck up, Shaq Kimmy. Whatever you saying, nobody can't fucking hear. And every time you fucking talk, I'm gonna keep on talking to make sure nobody fucking hear you, pussy ass nigga. You pussy ass nigga. You pussy ass nigga. You pussy ass nigga. Everybody mic up here is better than yours, nigga. You a six figure nigga. Where the fuck is your six figure microphone, nigga? Is that coming to fucking Amazon Prime? Is it coming tomorrow, bitch ass nigga? Get a new microphone tomorrow, nigga. And then pay your court fees. Shut the fuck up, pussy imaginary nigga. Shut the fuck up, pussy ass nigga. Shut the fuck up, pussy ass nigga. Shut the fuck up. If he is promoting women slapping men, chat see on the TikTok video, my latest upload, I just put it up in Sunday 4K. You can hear it out of his own fucking mouth. Unedited. Unfucking edited. You can hear it out of his own fucking mouth. He said he wanted to smack Carrie Ann the fuck around. That's what he said. She need that smoke, and he wanted to sit there and smack Carrie Ann all around. That's what the fuck he said. That's what he said. Verbatim. Verbatim. Like a pussy bitch. Of Arkansas like a pussy versus bitch, Jesus. always trying to argue with women. Arkansas like a pussy Jesus. bitch, always trying to argue with women. But, but you never got that smoke from man. 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 Like a fucking bitch. 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 Oh, this bitch. Like a fucking bitch. Just like how I said. Like a fucking bitch. Like a fucking bitch, nigga. Like a fucking bitch, nigga. Nobody give a fuck what you talk about, nigga. You should have never fucking emailed me, nigga. You should have never fucking emailed me, nigga. You should have never sent no stupid shit to me and my motherfucking email, nigga. You should have never sent no stupid shit to me and my motherfucking email, nigga. You should have never sent no stupid shit to me and my motherfucking email, nigga. You should have never did it. You should have never fucking did it. And you should have never fucking did it. What the fuck you thought was going to happen? What's good, Jackie? What's good? I was not going to choose What's good? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. We got to guess. We got to guess. Jackie, what's good? Good Good evening or good morning to everybody on the panel. I just right, have, a, have a quick question for Shakim. Shakim, Hoodie just came up and he addressed something with you directly. You didn't have any response for him, but you do have a lot of smoke and a lot of energy for Raw B. Can you, would you mind addressing? what hoodie had to say to you or about you and about this situation yes let me address it so hoodie tries to frame it like he's just an unbiased new news reporter but he's not that at all 
In fact, I was never canceled by the beef sector. He wanted me to be canceled so bad that he came up on my panel when the racist was up there and tried to bait the motherfucker into saying the N-word multiple times. So once we caught the nigga working with Triggs and the racist, then the nigga amped up and said, oh, Shaquem got a Jack profile coming. Now he's gay. So he's running all of these stories from a white supremacist, right? And then also smiling in my face. I was a you, model. You shared that, Shaquem. I nigga. got that from your community wall. I'm sorry. Interrupt me, nigga. Are you going to get your turn? So again, right. let me explain this. I, I've tried to work with Hoodie. I've tried to bury the hatchet with Hoodie. But Hoodie is a snake. The nigga want to smile in your face and then talk shit about you and then say, oh, it's all love. It's just it's just love. No, nigga. You were going beyond reporting the news, nigga. You're running stories from the racist motherfucker. So tell that part. And then lastly, this is what I'm going to say. I got a strike off of Hoodie's channel from Duke Farrow. Not even two days later, the nigga trying to have a funeral for me and cancel me. The nigga has no gratitude. He has no loyalty. He has no respect. That's how I know. The Lemon, I told you it's about it's stories, up. Lemon. Fuck up. This is I'm a grown up. man. This is what I'm he's talking about. Up. Listen to him. Shut the fuck up. I so told you. You are literally the most disloyal, non- you have no commitment as far as you know you loyal to this bitch that you over here getting money. Man, but this man is yelling about stories. A 30-year-old man. This nigga interrupted me three times. I never I'm sorry, you're right, Shaquille. I'm sorry. Did you don't want me to tell the truth? You Go ahead, Shaquille. You know you're a snake, you know you're fake as fuck. And Raw B actually told me to stop fucking with you if you're such no, a snake. No, I did not. So that's why I said, you know what, no, you're I right. Let me stop fucking with the nigga because. Everybody's looking at you sideways, nigga. You done turned on everybody. Binary, me, anybody you could throw under the bus to get 130 in your chat, you will do it. But if you're going to be a cloud chaser, nigga, just say that's what you are. But don't come up here and act like you really a real nigga, because if you was a real street nigga, you would have loyalty. So with that being said, I'm done. Go ahead. I mean, like, like, like I told you and to, you know, to Jackie, I, I, I told y'all, this is just about a fucking story. Me telling a story on a YouTube channel is what has shocked him here today. So upset is a fucking story from a nigga who doesn't matter, from a nigga who, who is just some nigga in New York. This nigga is ready to call my fucking job about a fucking story. And I mean, it's look, it's, it's sad. It, it, it truly is sad. This is what the beef sector is getting uh, from our sector. You know, you do get some of the weaker people, unfortunately, with uh, Shaq Kim and Binary. But the nigga is mad about a story. He's not mad. I, I haven't doxed him. I didn't say anything about his personal life. I didn't say anything about his family. As far as working with the races, I'm not working with no fucking races. Shaq Kim has been sharing the man's shit. We wouldn't know nothing about what that man is saying about Shaquem unless he's sharing it. So that's how we're coming to find out these situations with Shaquem and what's going on with this man. Is he still keep going back over there, fucking around with this man? He's still sharing. He He's sharing the man's shit to his fucking community wall. So, I mean, like, I I, I don't know what, what, what does he want me to do? You know, I'm just reporting on the things that I see. And he's upset that it's not favorable to him. I'll mute. And so, then I'm going to say this, and then yeah. I'm going to go. This nigga said he finna call a hoodie job because somebody was going by a new job. It was a Zoom meeting that is scheduled for April 2nd. Today is just now April 1st. That people were alerted to if they want to join the Zoom meeting and say whatever they have to say. Nobody, in fact, has called Binary's job. So he's just using anything he can to just go after Hoodie. And at the end of the day, he's the one that's been working with the racists. No matter what Hoodie did, he has control over his panel. That white man sat up there and said the N word twice on his panel. He didn't have no problem with it until the beef sector called him out. Because he was mm -hmm. like, no, just say, nigga, don't say the hard er that's what he mm -hmm. said out of his own mouth let's be mm -hmm. very fucking clear and at the end of the day like i said the email threat is uh, posted in succession no emails are missing this nigga is a whole lot i never told this nigga stop fucking with hoodie i told this nigga to get off the internet to go fucking meditate and get his fucking mind together he is the one 
first email out the door, well, don't fuck with Hoodie because I don't trust Hoodie. And then even with the whole em email that he sent about Triggs, well, don't fuck with Triggs because he's Hoodie's God. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? This nigga be talking out the side of his neck because he stays on the internet day and fucking night. The nigga is not sleeping. He's paranoid, clearly, and doing too fucking much. But at the point that you want to sit there and keep talking about me, talking about who I'm fucking, talking about who I'm loving, because you mad, because you are the fucking news nigga, didn't you say you the fucking clown, a whole bunch of people gonna talk shit, toughen up, pussy. But at the end of the day, you want to put my name in your fucking mouth. You wanted to talk on my kid. I don't give a fuck. Now I'm gonna talk on your mother. Now I'm gonna talk on your father. Now I'm gonna talk on your sister. Now I'm gonna talk on your health status. Now I'm gonna talk on the fact that you don't own your property. Now I'm gonna drag you for fucking life. And everywhere you at that you say some stupid shit, I'm gonna clip that shit and I'm gonna post that shit up just like that shit you said to fucking carry tonight that you wanted to fucking smack her up. Bitch, it's a motherfucking up and it's stuck. You got the game fucked up. And I'm gonna be real quiet. All right. Well, all right. It's been real, y'all. I'm gonna drop down. Good all right. night. All right. She got all good night. Hey, all right, back. Ronnie. All right, Ronnie. Uh, Let me say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. To that person that just dropped down in my chat, I just banned you from my chat. Don't you ever think shit is sweet that you can drop down in my chat with that kind of name, when knowing the history that you have in our sector, bro? Nigga, don't ever. Dropping my chat. I don't fuck with you. You know who the fuck you are. I highlighted your comment for a reason because I had to ban you myself personally. But if you thought you was going to bring your ass over here and cause any division amongst black people, they can fight amongst each other. But what we're not going to do is have you come over here thinking shit is sweet and you can add insult to injury, nigga. Don't come to my shit, bro. The fuck wrong with you? I don't fuck with you. We don't fuck with you as a whole sector. So don't drop down in my shit like shit is sweet, bro. You're banned. Now do your fucking big one. But don't ever come to my fucking platform, bro. I don't fuck with you. I don't care what the beef sector put you through. You're not welcomed on my platform. You're not welcome to drop down in my chat. Ever. Because what you did to people over here in my sector, nigga. I don't fuck with you. I'll never fuck with you. You don't stand for shit. You gonna call yourself the white devil. And you think you can prance around in my fucking chat like shit is sweet. Nigga, you done bumped your fucking head on a cracker. But don't you come in my chat trying to type anything, nigga. You're blocked. You're banned. You watch from the skybox. Okay? This is black people issues. You stay the fuck in your lane, bro. Fuck wrong with you, stupid ass nigga. Go ahead, y'all. Fuck wrong with him. Trying to drop down in my Kim, chat man. like shit. He, he come with Shaq Kim, let me. No, okay. He no, come with Shaq Kim no. and that bull. Yeah. Listen, Shaq yeah. Kim instead of leaving this motherfucker fine. alone, he been going and back and forth fine. with this man. And, and look, he yeah. dropping yeah. in your chat. They gonna keep talking yeah, over exactly. me. It's you ain't had this yeah. problem with this man and before. He is fucking Shaq Kim, man. You respond to your bullshit. Exactly, it's, it's fucking Shaq Kim. And every time you say my name, you say my name. I'm like the king. You did a whole interview with the racist. On that ass, I'm on my channel right now. You did a whole interview with Paul Derek. Three times I will pull up like the kid. You did a whole interview. You did a whole interview. You didn't talk about nothing that you said. You not say nothing. You did a whole interview with the white supremacist. Like remotely as well, bitch. But he ain't let the man say nigga on his platform and say, oh, oh, don't say, don't say the hard ER, please. Don't say the hard ER. Unbelievable. That's the nigga you get here, nigga that don't stand on nothing. They, they want nigga. to turn it around. They nigga. 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 You Listen, mahogany is not a part of the beef sector. She's paid by Darrell. Stop playing. She's paid by Darrell. Stop playing. You know, you know she's paid by Darrell. Stop playing. And I shared it. Shout out to Mahogany for a corny funeral. You at your funeral, you broke-ass bitch. It was pretty funny. It was very funny. It was. Very funny. <laughs> it, was. <laughs> it was. Shout out to Mahogany for that, man. But Darrell said you got to be the content anyway, man. Shut you look Fuck it. Let him, let him do it. You got to be the fucking content, nigga. It is what it is. Lemon, I'm going to drop down. I may come back a little bit later on. I'm going to let them bang it out, and I'll, I'm going to come back later. I'm about to go to sleep anyway. I got to be up at 7, so... Yeah. Oh, you finally got to go to work, nigga? 
<laughs> you don't got no job, Tommy. Don't you got to go to Target? You don't got no job, Tommy. Don't you got I do. No I got to go to work. Don't worry about where I'm working. Don't you don't got no job. I do. How you only make I do. I got to go manage niggas and tell them what to do. I gotta go make decisions and be important. I gotta go have. I gotta go have responsibilities. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm sorry that I gotta go have responsibilities. You said on on your level. Did you have you seen your home? Have you seen your home? I paid way. This nigga said I'm not. Listen, my food truck is bigger than your house. That's a four room house. House, nigga. I know, listen, listen my food truck is bigger than that big house, man. You ain't paying shit over there, you fuck bitch. Get the fuck out of here. sends you more money than you send her, you fuck bitch. So shut the fuck up. I guess that mean I'm not we on lock then, nigga. Y'all can't have it both ways. Fuck a fucking cool ass nigga. Shut the fuck up. They can't have it both ways, man. Besides women, fuck me about money. Both of y'all motherfuckers is broke. B got 30,000 credit cards she owed. Oh, and oh man. You a oh, broke ass man. Man. The one nigga up here broke is talking about <laughs> niggas being broke. You ain't got no that's money. always I mean, funny. You got bankruptcy, so I guess that's why you gotta live in a rat trap, bitch. You gotta live in a fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't gotta live in a fucking house. Hey, hey, Ron, listen, listen, this nigga was so nervous on breach on the breach panel, man. You should have seen him, man. You ain't that nigga was nervous as fuck, man. He was. He just made me pull up on him. He was bitching up. He was bitching up when a real nigga pulled up in his face. Shut the fuck up talking to me about money. Get the fuck out of here, you broke bitch. You and your bitch broke. Both of y'all broke as fuck. Lord have mercy. Continue supporting this broke ass nigga. Please keep doing that thing. We ain't still seeing that footage. You put up everything else. Where's the footage? I know, right? Where the footage? This nigga ain't got no cameras. Hey, hey, Ron, look, how you ain't got cameras on the side of your house? How the fuck you say that? How you ain't got cameras? Ain't no cameras on the side of your house. Come on, man. He running a play, man. See, let me listen, man. The, if, 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 if the nigga dumb enough to go outside and take pictures and all that and run a play, like, come on, let me look. You know, look at the kind of shenanigans you're talking about. Fall for bankruptcy, your damn self, and start off. Look at the kind of shenanigans. Why you ain't got no good credit, man? But you're 43 years old, you broke bitch. The nigga been Lord, like this for so many Bitch, days, days and nights, sleepless Tell days and sleepless nights, and nigga don't even have a voice. Like this nigga is really yelling at the top of his fucking lungs, nigga, and nobody can fucking hear him, nigga. I wish nobody would be sitting here yelling at the top of my fucking lungs and nobody can hear me, nigga. Nashville. Lemon, this your man's lemon. This young man's lemon. It's not listen. my man's. This young man's. Listen, 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 listen. listen. I'm trading them over to you. Listen to it, good. Lemon, this young man's. This young man's lemon. He played the beef You better go get a microphone. You better go get a microphone, nigga. Sweet tea, we both was yelling, but I bet you could only hear me. I bet you could only hear me. Bad fuck away, yeah. nigga. Bad way. No, 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 Right, but what we really want, I mean, you gotta be careful with these cardi ass niggas around, man. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? He likes pipes in his mouth, you understand what I'm saying? But what we really want to see more than anything else is the footage of somebody pulling up on you. You want to see the footage, don't wait for three days, don't wait till tomorrow night when the sun goes down so you can have somebody drive over in the SLA so that you can take your film. No, we don't want to see none of that. We want to see you upload the photo for any motherfucking thing you can right motherfucking now, nigga. We want to see the footage. Where is the footage? Where is the footage, nigga? Where is the footage, nigga? Nigga, where's the footage? Nigga, where's the footage? Thank you, Shaquille, for putting this on tape, though, so I can show HR, though. I appreciate it. Thank you for putting it on tape. You know, I'll, I'll just show HR in the morning. Bitch got my whole family. Nobody give a fuck, nigga. Nobody give a fuck, nigga. 
You think, you think people don't got shit in portfolio okay. recovery, nigga? You sound like a bitch, nigga. Everybody got that shit. Nobody give, nobody, give nobody give a fuck. And don't nobody give a fuck. And don't nobody give a fuck. And don't nobody give a fuck but you, nigga. Don't nobody give a fuck but you, nigga. Don't nobody give a fuck but you, nigga. But you about to give me a bag, so thank you. Thank you for the money that you about to get me. Thank you for the money that you about to get me. I appreciate you. 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 I appreciate you, and I appreciate you, and I appreciate you, and I appreciate you. You got to give me a whole bunch of money, $24 million, $24 million, they got five million from the government. You a six nigga, nigga, don't you follow finance? You a six nigga, nigga, don't you follow financial news, nigga? Don't you follow financial news, nigga? How you didn't know that, nigga? You stupid, Did you follow a plan, nigga? You delayed? What's in that crack type you smoking, nigga? Is you smoking weed? Is you smoking weed or is you smoking psilocybin? What we doing here? What we doing here? Like we doing here? Give it up, what type of drugs you smoking? Give it up, pumpkin. What type of drugs you smoking? Give it up, pumpkin. You smoking crack? Like man, bitch. You smoking crack, nigga? Like man, bitch. You smoking crack? You look like a man. I saw you smoking crack. All I want to know is, did you smoke crack? Did you smoke crack? Nobody wanted to it's fuck you in my family. All I want to know is if you smoke crack. Family, all you smoke crack, nigga. But guess what? Crack, nobody in my family. Because at the end of the day, nigga, you started to say you passed the lick. Or one or two. It's all right. 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 You wanted to pass the lick. You got one back and now you're fucking crying. You're not even a nigga. You're crying because you thought I was an easy mother. You're not a penny, bitch. You are a penny, bitch. All forms of currency, bitch. And your voice is fucking dying. I thought you had to be at 7 o'clock in the morning, but you're still here fucking arguing. You got to job so you're gonna risk being tired in the morning for your job to stay up all night arguing with me that shit is fucking hilarious like that, i wish the fuck i would let somebody come in between me and my motherfucking money standing up on the internet all motherfucking night yelling with strangers because i need to fill a type of way nigga I don't oh, give a fuck. Yeah. I will wear your ass out. Nigga. I will have you stay up here yelling and screaming at the top of your fucking lungs as long as Lemon allows me to and this to the fucking live ends. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You just gonna go to work. I forgot you don't got no money. So you just gonna be up here talking and being upset and that you nobody gives a fuck. And nobody gives a fuck. And nobody gives a whole fuck. You just mad as fuck. You're mad as fuck. You're mad as fuck. Whatever you trying to do, nigga, I don't care. This is a part of a Broken game, you have to say something that the other person gives a fuck about. You have to say something that's gonna make the other person upset or emotional. Everything that you have said thus far has not impressed me, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. And I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't care about your opinion because I'm not trying to fuck you or fuck with you. I do not give a fuck what you say about my money because I have more money than you, nigga. I do not give a fuck about the fact that you live in motherfuckers while I live better than you, nigga. I don't give a fuck about your opinion. I, title, I, bitch. Bitch. I don't talk about you. I don't give a fuck you what you say about my kid, nigga, because you, you can't have them because you don't have a bank account, that. nigga. Take Nobody give a fuck that, about your opinion, you nigga, and you live like you forever take it out. Then you take it else from who you consider to be a B-section reject. That's the shit that makes the shit you didn't funny earn, nigga. You think I'm a B-section reject, but you taking all the else. You think I'm a B-section reject, but you taking all the else. But you're the one taking all the else everywhere you go. I'm a snap I'm going to take that motherfucking Adam's apple out your throat. I'm going to treat you like a man you want to be. Because I'm not George, bitch. And you did it for the I'm not George, though. I'm not George, though. You is a liar. You don't got no food. You is a liar. Begging for a month. Nigga, you got a motherfucker. A nigga to my house tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm hard to talk I can't hear you. Nigga, you a joke. Nigga, you a joke. And I clipped you. So Kara crazy. And he was in here. And she got to clip you. You got the game. All the way fucked up with them stiff ass dancers because you want to play. What are those that you care Looks like a bro, nigga. Shopping at every dollar. Nigga, you is wack. Go fuck a quack. You know I'm trash. Here in the beauty section. I'm harder. Nigga, I'm harder. I'm singing songs, nigga. I'm laughing at you. But you is moving and moving your voice. This Why are you buying this? This is real question. I don't have to buy this. Keep on yelling. 
until you die. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I played it bad. I'm trying not to be mad. But Shaquem was mad. And he's so hilarious. I don't give a I don't give a fuck. Make sure y'all go check out all the emails. Make sure y'all go check out. I'm a happy nigga making content all day, talking about me because he's fucking pressed and he can't talk about nothing else. Donate to Lambe, get the fucking cash out. Dollar sign, bitch, you miss one. Get the fucking life. Tear out the video. Make this shit a cop. We don't give a fuck. La 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 la. La la la. It's what I don't Yes, bitch. You don't even take care of your own goddamn kids. You're online right now. We're online all day. We're talking about kids. You ain't talking about kids. You ain't talking about kids. Nigga, you is losing. You already lost it. Fuck you, nigga. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. Talk about your sister and her five baby daddy. Your sister is a hoe. Her pussy for the streets. All them niggas eat it. Ain't nobody marry her. Your mama is on crack and she's got mental issues. And you suck your daddy. Dick all in your mouth. You got your brothers and sisters in your belly. We know you nasty. We know you nasty. How your daddy's dick. That's what we want to know. How your daddy's dick That's what we want to know. Fuck your mama. Fuck your daddy. Yes, his sister is a hoe. Yes, she is. Go to a Facebook. You're going to see all them kids. All over the program. Acting like a donkey. Such a That's where it comes from. Because your mama's on track. And it's a frenetic. Nigga, you wouldn't want to do I don't give a fuck. You're in the And warrants for avoiding the courts, man. I don't give a fuck. Why are you avoiding the courts, man? Why are you avoiding the courts, man? It's 30. And I'm about to play with your emotions and make you fucking mad. Are you still talking? Because nobody can hear you. Are you still talking? Oh, all right. Oh, there you go. You still talking again? I do community. Oh, my gosh. you doing no so, neck, have um, an ass bitch. Uh, How Benzino uh, got more uh, neck than you, ho? How do Benzino uh, got a better neck uh, than you, bitch? Uh, Benzino look uh, better uh, than you, bitch. You look like Benzino. Uh, bitch, you look like a male uh, Benzino. You look like a female uh, 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 Benzino, bitch. Look at you, you yelling. Your phone is distorted because your equipment is trash. But you say, hey, you nigga, I don't believe you. you Every day, you ain't not even. Where is your money? Where is your money? So, what's the equipment? Your green screen is trash because your house is fucking nasty. You have to stay in your fucking house for years and years and years. Hold on your event because you got. A motherfucking AC in your window because you don't got central air. Are, Are you done? Okay. Are you done? Are you done? Or we can start this shit all up again, nigga. We can start this shit all up again, nigga. You're not a good singer, so you're not you got a motherfucking wall AC, nigga. Nobody give a fuck, nigga. Okay, here we go. You got mold around your wall. So you got a fucking AC. That's the kind of time you have. Nigga, you were broke. Your baseboard is dirty. Your house is dirty. Your mother you owe anyone's money. You owe Rob money. Mine is really broke. You owe the court money. This is what you share all over social media. I'm glad you think you share it, but it ain't really big. Let's take some more silver and drink some more sea moss. 
Nigga, we not worried. Nigga, we not worried. Nigga, you is boring. Nigga, you is boring. Ooh, not shocking. So obviously, you're bitch of press. This is the vagina pushing out all them bastards. Here we go. Everything is pressed on this bitch except her skin. Uh, Algie, you welcome. Let's take all the fat off this bitch. This nigga is Y'all, y'all, y'all petty as hell. I just let this shit ride out to see if y'all could try to have a a, a conversation. Clearly, on both ends, we can't have a conversation between. Okay, it's, it's 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 past that. Okay. And... Your beef with Shakim and Shakim, your beef with Raw. It's at a point where nobody can be a mediator. I was trying to be a mediator, letting y'all talk. Hopefully, y'all could have found common ground. Clearly, I was wrong. That's my bad. Uh, Lemon, this is the common ground. He just needs to shut the fuck up. Because you know, he don't know yet. But you know. I'm not going to stop. And as long as he want to keep it up, then we're going to keep it up. And I don't think he can really handle the pressure. So let let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. So so what Raw allegedly, and I say allegedly because I don't know if this is true. This is what I heard, right? She's going to, hold on, she's going to do something with, with binary, right? To his job. Screen, I'm not doing shit with binary. Right. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But this nigga's so emotional, he's busting his nut early. Just like pussy bitches do. Busting nuts early. Take my brother off your avatar, you Busting nuts bro. early. Take my picture off your avatar. Who the I, fuck I, you think you talking to, bitch? Who the fuck you think you talking to, bitch? Take my picture off your fucking avatar. Or I'll leave your boyfriend up here all fucking day. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I do not give a fuck. You got the game fucked up, nigga. You got the game fucked up, nigga. I post your whole fucking everybody in your whole fucking friend list. Everybody in your fucking list. I don't give a fuck, nigga. For everybody, job, I nigga. I'll fucking ruin your whole fucking life and everybody will catch you, nigga. You got the game fucked up. This is the way you want to play. You want to play B set the rules, right? B set the bitch. I'll fucking go to your motherfucking your dead relatives, motherfucking bedroom fight, nigga, and I'll post their fucking pictures with their fucking headstones, nigga. I'll have somebody go piss on your fucking auntie's grave, nigga. You got me fucked up, nigga. You really don't know who you fucking with, nigga. You really don't know who you fucking with, nigga. You really don't know who you fucking with, nigga. Back. You really don't know who I'm you fucking cool. with, nigga. He's gone. You really don't know who you fucking with, nigga. Your mom is <laughs> you don't know who you fucking with, nigga. I'll piss on your fucking Our auntie's grave. Dead, I'll don't piss on your grandmother's grave, too. Relative. Don't fucking play with me, bitch. No I'll relative. piss on your shit and then show a fucking picture with the piss on the fucking headstone, nigga. You got the you game fucked up. Right, you ain't arguing with my man like that, huh? You ain't arguing with my man like that, huh? Because he told you about your bitch ass self. Oh, you mad, nigga. You real mad, nigga. You real mad, nigga. You ain't had that smoke. You ain't had that smoke at all. You had that smoke at all, nigga. Bye nigga, pumpkin. nigga, Bye nigga, keep Bye talking pumpkin. on my son and your Bye fucking pumpkin, nieces and nephews is going up next, nigga. Fuck around and find out. 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 Just fuck around and find out. Fuck around and find out, nigga. 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 I thought you said you didn't need to talk about me, right? You crack. said you ain't need to talk about me, um, but you need to talk about me. You ain't talking about me. You're not relevant, nigga. You're not relevant, nigga, if you ain't talking about me, nigga. You ain't relevant if you ain't talking about me. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong and stop talking about me. Let's see how relevant you can be. Prove Don't me wrong and stop talking about me and let's see how relevant she can be. Prove me wrong and stop talking about me and let's see how relevant she can be. Because I'm relevant without talking about you, nigga. Body, but that's shape, okay. Don't bit, worry about it. Keep face, talking about me and I'm going to keep talking about you. Because you think you're flat, you're going to see who really got the flat. And I'm going to keep making sure I fucking drag you. Like I said, say something else. Call her your job. And your motherfucking nieces and nephews is going up there next. Just like you called me the real son. Just like you called you the real son, you fucking predator. I'm going to put your fucking nieces and nephews out there, nigga. Don't ever get it fucked up with me. Don't get it fucked up with me, bitch. Don't get it fucked up with me, bitch. I'll pull everybody off your motherfucking shit. LG? Blast. Blast, nigga. LG? 
black, nigga. You put them in fucking blast, nigga. You put them on fucking blast. What's good? What's good, LG? And put them on fucking blast, nigga. Yeah, email it to me. You don't work email me the live that you did on his mom. You don't want binary to work. Email the live that you did on his mom. You're so pathetic, bitch. Yeah, your mama's pathetic. Your mama's pathetic because she lets you suck your father's dick and she ain't protect you. Your mother's pathetic because she lets your father fuck you in the ass and she ain't protect you. Your mother lets your father fuck you in the ass, nigga. Your mother lets your father come in your mouth, nigga. Your mother lets your father come in your mouth, nigga. Your mother lets your father come in your mouth, nigga. Your mother lets your father come in your asshole. He ain't protect you. Your mother's protected. His fuck is pathetic. But I guess it was the drug too, huh? Which one? 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 That's why you live where you live, nigga. You don't even got a co-signer. You can't even live well, nigga. You don't even live in a good house, nigga. You live in a fucking hovel, nigga. You live in a fucking hovel, nigga. Your dirty ass house because you a dirty ass nigga. You show pictures inside your house, nigga, showing off that fucking heart. You didn't even clean the fucking floor, nigga. You didn't even clean the fucking baseboards, nigga. Your house is fucking filthy. Your couch is fucking filthy. Your walls are fucking filthy. You got mold in your fucking walls, nigga. You got mold around your motherfucking air conditioner, nigga. Your fucking blinds are fucking broken, nigga. Because you a broke ass nigga. LG. LG. You can't even afford to buy that. You should worry about that. You have enough cash to do that. You have enough cash to do that. You don't have enough cash to do that. We got hurt in that place over here, nigga. All our motherfucking blinds work. They're not motherfucking broken. Looking like you be peeking out the window like somebody fucking ran on the back of the dick. You ass motherfucking neighbor looking out the window trying to see whatever everybody else is. Why you claiming to be a six figure nigga? Nigga, please. Nigga, please run the footage. That's what we want to see. We want to see you run the footage so we can know you wasn't just trying to run a play tonight. And we don't want to have to wait 24 to 48 hours to see the motherfucking footage, nigga. We want to see the footage right motherfucking now, nigga. Is you ready to show the footage, nigga? Is you ready to show the footage, nigga? Is you ready to show the footage, nigga? Nigga, is you ready to show the footage, nigga? Show the footage that you wasn't trying to run a play for clout. Show the footage that you she wasn't trying to run a play for clout. Show the footage that she wasn't trying to run a play for clout. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. We want to see you show the fucking footage because you was trying to run a play for fucking clout and you fucking failed. You was trying to run a play for clout and you fucking failed, nigga. And you fucking failed, nigga. And you said you had to go because you was going to see Meanwhile, you play because you easily manipulated, nigga. I can sit up here and say a little bit of anything. And your ass will stay up here just because you Shock him, shock him. And motherfucking trigger. Yeah. Easily press and trigger. Okay, clearly you and Rob B, y'all not gonna y'all not gonna find common grounds, right? And let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Because I, I have a question to ask him. Me? Uh, oh, oh, oh shock him. You got a LG, you got a question for Shock him or you got a question for Raw B? Wow, wow. Okay, go ahead. Raw's on the panel. Go ahead. I'm gonna down. Peace out. Wait, wait, Shaq him, Shaq him, Shaq him. Okay, go ahead. Hey, LG. Let let them answer, then I got you. A uh, Rob been knowing me for years. A hey, Rob. Mm-hmm. You you, you help that you help that whole song, Taliban. Say it again, mm-hmm. my mind. You helped that. That that was real. And you signed the whole word from word, girl. I only came up here to shout your ass out because you already know. To the bad. You you helped that song. Nobody know nothing about that, though. You know? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Me? You have been knowing me for years. I know, Miss LG. Well, it's unless I have to be mean. You did that one, and, and nobody know nothing about the meanings or nothing, but you did it on point. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop that. I just come up here and give you some love. 
Pennywise, you, suck my dick, Pennywise. I already sent your broke ass four dollars, and you still talking me, bitch. I don't know how much more clout I gotta give you, bitch. But maybe you can get to a thousand yeah, views tomorrow. Jesus Christ, you giving everybody clout. You was just a clout queen. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I am, bitch. I know I am. I got way you more subscribers in two weeks than you got in three years. So yeah, absolutely, I am the clout. Bitch. I know I'm the clout. Everybody, clap your hands because that being said, all of these motherfucking so. So, so Sharkam, two things, two things before you drop. One, I put the banner up because I didn't want your family. I don't, I don't, I'm not in this fight, you know, but I don't want you to think I'm in this fight against you. This is y'all fight and it happened on my platform. So I put the banner up to protect your family. I didn't realize what was going on because I don't know what's going on between the mm. pictures. And, that's not his right? family. That's his boo. But he started it, Lemon, as you know. I was up here chilling with my avatar. He was with my picture. So, you know, you want to start some shit. You don't know where the fuck I'm going to take some shit. I'm going to take this shit to the grave. Do it. Do it. I'm not scared. Okay, I will. Don't worry I'm about it. But you don't want crying. You see how that works? But you don't want crying. You see how that works? But you're the one that's crying. But you're the one that's crying. You're that's the part that makes it funny. Because you're the one that's crying. You're a professional victim. You're a professional victim. You start some shit up. And then you cannot handle what the fuck comes, comes back to you. You can't handle what comes back to you because you're a professional victim. You started this shit up, and then you got what the fuck you got, and then when it went too far for you that you couldn't handle. So, so, so the beef, the beef between you two is it's non you reconcile. Y'all cannot. There's no. It's it's up between both of y'all. Y'all can't. Y'all can't you should be like nigga, I don't fuck with you, you don't fuck with me type situation. Like it is up in the stuck or because what what's what's going on is he's saying that because you said that you was gonna contact binary shit, then he in, in return, cause he fuck with binary and he don't appreciate like how y'all had on binary, then he gonna then tap into hoodie lifestyle in his job. So like is this beef really work? Y'all contacting people real jobs from okay, YouTube? I, something. I shared something that was shared by somebody else, alerting everybody to Roosevelt School District having a session on April 2nd. Whatever anybody chooses to do from there, that's their business. I'm not calling them by every job. If you call her these jobs, I'm definitely calling by every job. school. If you call her these jobs today, I'm gonna go to that. I'm gonna go to that meeting and I'm gonna get by it every time. Flat the fuck out. Call her the job if you want to. Call her the job if you want to, and I'm gonna get by it every time. It is what it is. It is what it is. We this is how we play. Name. If you call her the job, then I'm going to call by your name. No, you already put out the information about it's by your name. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Yeah. It's say less. Say less. Do what you got to do. Say less. Do what you got to do and say less. You're See, the problem is you talk too much. No, the problem is you talk too much. The problem is you talk too much, nigga. Dummy. The problem is you talk too much. See, I do things in reaction to the shit that people do. But if you do whatever you do, go ahead and take the baby. Take the baby. Take the baby. Be emotional like a bitch. And call her the job and see what happens. 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 Make sure you do a lot. Make sure you do a lot. 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 And when you're doing that, also make sure you show that footage. When you're doing that, also make sure you show that footage. When you're doing that, also make sure you show that footage, nigga. We are tired of your lies, nigga. We want to see the truth. We want transparency. We want justice. And we want it now. We want to see the motherfucking truth, bitch. Damn, damn, damn. Yikes. 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 Call them live. Call live, nigga. 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 Do it. Call live, nigga. Call live, nigga. Do it. Call live, nigga. Call live, nigga. Do it. Call live, nigga. Do it. Call live, nigga. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Call live, nigga. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm gonna give you an update tomorrow, okay? So do, it. To do it live, nigga. <laughs> do it live. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Between both of y'all, right? This is YouTube, and we do we we do pop off, right? We do do our big one. But come on now, like let's let let's let's take hoodie out. Let's take binary out the situation, right? And let's keep the beef on YouTube. 
like, could we do that without inserting them to? Because I feel like they're like, you know, collateral damage based on their affiliation with binary fucking with Shock Him and Hoodie fucking with you. Is it worth their job being contacted over YouTube shit? Like, I'm being realistic because no one job should be tampered with from YouTube. He's the one who said he's going to call Hoodie Job in the morning. So if he call Hoodie Job in the morning, then I'm going to call Binary Job. At the motherfucking Zoom. So okay. this is all dependent on him. He's a man. Okay. Is he able to leave? Okay. Is he able to do the right thing or the wrong thing? This nigga yeah, keep my name in his mouth. Anytime anybody's talking to this nigga about Talk anything, here. he bring up Talk. me, he bring up my man, he bring up hoodie. Stop Talk fucking though. deflecting and handle your own shit. Be a man Talk. and stand in your Talk. shit. Every time you want to deflect to me, I'm a fucking tell the truth first. about you. I you promise you that on God on me. Right They've been calling it's you out about that shit too. You think so I ain't even calling you out on Brianna's motherfucking plan channel, nigga? Every time somebody talking to you about you, you start talking about me. Anytime by somebody talking to binary about binary, you start talking about me. Stop talking about me and talking about you. Otherwise, that means that I am the clout. Because you can't have a conversation without mentioning my fucking news. I have several conversations without mentioning you, bitch. Without mentioning you. Whatever I'm doing is not your fucking business. If I am or if I'm not, it is what the fuck it is. But meanwhile, you real focused on me. You real focused on me. I'm not focused on you. Whenever somebody sends me a link that you're talking about me, then you got a fucking problem. When I click all the motherfucking screenshots, and if I share all the screenshots of all the community posts that you did, of all the videos that you did, nigga, you obsessed. You obsessed and you're fucking manic. You're manic and you're paranoid. You're giving paranoid against the friend of Always, I got always, you covered. Remember, you don't even have no idea the shit that you are unlocking for your motherfucking self, nigga. The shit that you unlocking for your motherfucking self, nigga. You could do all of that humming and shit that you want to. The reality is, we know that you hear me. You know, we know nobody hears you, but we know that you hear me, nigga. We know that you hear me, nigga. And the more you talk about me, nigga, the more you're going to have a fucking problem, nigga. Stop saying my fucking name and rest in your fucking truth. Focus on your goddamn self because you got the biggest fucking problems in the world fucking with a bitch like me. Please believe that shit. Did he run Lemon? Binary is not a doctor. Binary works in the Board of Education. Please stop believing everything people tell you. He was really contacting the son. Ooh, really? There's screenshots of that shit too. He said it in his own head. He was talking about the age of consent being 17 in Texas and 16 in Michigan. Those screenshots have been shown too. This nigga's a whole fucking weirdo. If I take this banner down, like Sharkem shit's all right. Like you don't got him dancing or his family. Nah, I don't got like him that. dancing. I only put okay, his shit up. Well, put my shit up. So if the nigga want to play, then we can play. What up, bro? And he owes, and he owes Prince of Sheba money. He owe a lot of people money. He out here what doing up, a lot of. I just came here to talk some shit. Fuck everybody. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> okay, this passport bro right here. Hold on, y'all. This 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 nigga. He no no no. His name ain't passport bro. He from the passport bro sector. His oh. name is uh Chance Holiday. Hi uh, Chance, how you doing? Let me give him the solo. What you eating? <laughs> it's really Chance. Hold on, let me my, take my, my, my pants. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Take some. Here, here's one or two, here's one or two things I want to confirm. One, I did can I did show you out, bro. Uh, because there was people that wanted to know your page when you did come to uh, my live. It was like you didn't share out uh the nigga from the passport brother sector. I was like, I did, so I did a whole community post um sharing your live out. I can't confirm this nigga is not in jail, y'all. He was driving in the car talking shit. This nigga is not in jail. Oh no, I think uh, <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> yo, I look at hey, yo limit. I look back at the um video, right? I was like, yo, that nigga really do look like he locked the fuck up. I look at that shit, the tattoo.
So raw. Mm -hmm. He from he from the passport brother sector. He he's not he's not in America. He the passport brother sector is kind of like niggas that they travel outside of the United States. They okay okay so you're already familiar with him but he he was a guest the niggas thought he was in jail uh he's not in jail i shared him out i'm gonna share him out again because uh, he had like white he had a white t-shirt on all his background was white it just looked like it but 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 i seen this i seen this nigga driving like this nigga was driving talking shit like a uh, couple of hours. He 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 ain't in jail, y'all. He definitely <laughs> he ain't in jail. I'm not gonna ask you what island you are because I don't want you to dox yourself. But like <laughs> island, like a lot of things are really white washed. You know what, hey, yo, lemon. You wanna know what's echoing through my head? What homegirl told me, like after 15 years of being in my relationship, that the girl I was with didn't get nothing out of it. <clears throat> yo, lemon. That's a whole show. That's a whole yeah. show. I still ain't like I, I still ain't got off the, off that. But 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 raw. That's fire. But raw. Let me tell you something, raw. He had a good conversation with Seven Stars because you know Seven Stars. She's about business, you know. So yeah. Seven Stars will come up here and challenge anything, you know. She's very intelligent. So it was Seven Stars to him. Unfortunately, I did get kidnapped by the sleep guys. I did fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you but they were they <laughs> they were having a good discussion on my life. Was, I was yo, live to stay up for like five hours after <laughs> after I left. I'm just sitting there live. <laughs> get paid. Let me get paid for doing nothing. Seven hundred. Let me get paid sleeping and farting. <laughs> hey, I'm not, I'm not monetized. What up, Stefan? <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up, Lemon? What's up? Bro? Oh, not yet. You get there, bro. What's up? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can monetize tomorrow. I just choose. I'm for the streets, right? And I tell people, like, I do YouTube for a hobby. I'm not really trying to make money. Maybe in the future, I might monetize. I can monetize tomorrow. I got the watch hours. I got all that. Who's, this, not, who's not into making um, you money? Like a real name going on here? Excuse okay, me, Mr. Passport. Two Mr. Passport. Uh oh. Jane? Oh, uh oh. Yo, what's up? I'm Jane? sorry. It's hard to hear it. Your I'm sorry. I'm your, gonna, real name, my Go ahead. your real name is showing. Your real name is showing. Change that. Do. Oh, I don't care. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, he 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 don't he I'm don't care. Dude. I don't I don't. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I'm not. I'm I'm not doing nothing. Nor will I do anything for me to have to worry about people knowing my name. I put my whole my. You go to my page. I'll talk about me. It's me. I'm not, so you I'm don't not, got I'm not no dumb dude. I'm in, I'm in Thailand here. right now. What about nothing? I'm never going back to the States. Well, I might have to. Wedding. So you don't have any enemies out here that's you know. looking to dox you or anything? Okay. That's good. I don't know why it's so hard I mean, to hear you. Know, people act like with that doxing thing that like it's a major thing. Like you live your life, like nobody's life is perfect. People can dox so, you. Like that shit is corny. I don't know. I'm gonna call him Chase Holiday. That's what I got in in hey, you know, Holiday. let me look. Yeah, that's, that's cool. You know, that's a dope name though. Chase I might change it. Nah, <laughs> keep keep Chase Holiday. Keep Chase, listen, listen. listen. I literally it. had people hitting me up looking for your uh, your profile, bro. They was like, "Why didn't Lemon share yeah. the passport, bro? Dude from his panel on his community wall." I was like, "Damn, I didn't know y'all wanted it." Like, so I shared you all. I did share you all, but it was so much going on in the beef sector. I don't think people paid attention to it, but I did share you all. But I was like, he's cool. Like, I, I felt like when you came up, bro, you 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 like the fuck shit because I was dragging like grown folks TV. I was dragging Big Damone. Um, but then uh, you had a conversation with Seven Stars and somebody else. But the conversation between you two were pretty good. I like that conversation. I did fall asleep because it had nothing to do with me. Uh, but yeah, he he ain't in jail, y'all. Uh, let's be clear. Hold on, hold on one second. Oh, don't don't leave, Princess. You hold on. Solo layout. Look at this nigga. He ain't yeah, in jail. Like, he ain't in jail. Look at this nigga. <laughs> he roaming the streets. <laughs> He outside, y'all. He outside. I'm outside. <laughs> what country is that? <laughs> he in Thailand. Yo, I'm I'm the I'm the prison dude that did good. I did some good deeds. I watched the clothes right, so I get to go outside in the court. <laughs> yeah, you're working. You're working. 
<laughs> oh, hilarious. But he a cool dude, y'all. Um, moderators, if I have yeah. any moderators so, in the chat, can y'all please drop his channel real quick so people can subscribe to his channel? Because he do be uh, talking uh, good uh, shit. He do go live randomly. Uh, I did catch one of your lies. Uh, he talk about like racism. Uh, like he 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 do stand on business. I know he is a. a you said Jet, you're not manosphere, but you're like a umbrella. Of the manosphere, but you're kind of against the manosphere. Adjacent, yeah. Like, but he don't he don't fuck with what they believe in. He yeah, adjacent, but he don't believe in what they believe in. He's kind of against what they believe in, but that's kind of where he came from in a sense. But he's so like kind of against. Oh, well, well, he's here. He can he can answer it. What's up, bro? Go ahead. Is that the one? So if it's the opposite of manosphere, is that the woman's sphere then? Oh no 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 no! Ooh, St ooh Steven! Ooh no! What's uh, no? I was saying you froze. You froze, Chase. Is. Chase, you're a little froze. Let me take what you off that, the main screen, is that, bro. Is that shade wrong? Is that shade? I didn't mean it. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. It's a little shady. But he a cool person. Hold on, hold on. I gotta add him back. Let me add him back to the stage. Let me add the, and then let me take this nigga off. So, I really didn't mean that. Right. There was a um. <laughs> One of the conversations I was having on another show today got deep. And um, they was talking about how the message of what the passport bills was about was getting mad confused. And the reason why is because the loudest dudes was just doing pay for play, acting a fool, up in Colombia throwing money in the air, out in Thailand throwing money in the air. Being ignorant, not building, you know, stick in the camera and the girl's face tomorrow, look at his booty and all that. The mm -hmm. ignorant ones are the loudest ones. And that's what everybody hears. That's what everybody sees. And I'm like, you got tens of thousands of brothers that are going over, that are going to these countries and finding love. You know what I'm saying? And as far as the race thing, they're going to... All these places that you know about, there's black women and dark women there. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing. But, you know, I'm in Thailand, which, which is not a place that I really want to call home because um, mm. this place is a little, this place is sketchy. And it's not really, uh, not really something I, it's not, it's not, I can't call it home. But a lot of dudes, there's a lot of brothers out here, man. And there's some dudes doing dumb, some dudes doing right. Dudes that you want to, Wanna wanna bring to the cookout? And there's a lot of dudes who don't who you don't want to bring to the cookout out here. And the loudest ones are the ones you don't want to bring to the cookout. So that's why every time you go on YouTube and you see passport bros, you see some negative. But if you're not going overseas and building, I mean at the end of the day, the most basic part of it is you just done with the West. You don't want to you don't want nothing to do with the United States no more. And you're gonna do what you do overseas. But then people are like, okay, well, I want to talk about what they're doing. I understand um, that. I'm not doing that. So, damn sure not doing paper. Play this comment that. says, I heard that pretty women in Thailand want white men, white kin are considered to be tired. Black men usually have to settle to uh, settle for lady boy, lady boy or disabled women. No judgment. So you've been hooking up with a lady. You've yeah. been hooking up with lady boys. Um. Yo, so I talked about that, and I said, "Can you get them?" I get choosing signals from very uh, attractive women, but every time I see the really, really, really good ones <coughs> giving me choosing signals, they got the, one girl was in the gym. She looked so good. She looked CGI. I told you about her, lemon. And, but she was married, and she was giving me strong twos and signals. The really, 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 really fly ones are hard to come by because they're not out and about. They don't go to the clubs. They don't go to the walking street. They don't be out and about where spots that we're used to. We used to go, and we like the nightlife and bars and stuff. And those kind of girls don't go there. And that's why you don't see brothers with them, I think. Um, but they do tend to be with white dudes a lot. 
I've said that on two, three different lives. I, I talked about that on my own live. So I backed that up. I keep saying like, I don't see it. I'm seeing a lot of negative stuff. I've said that on my own and I'm seeing it in Thailand. Towards However, black the man. places I'm interested in going, which is the Nordic countries, you know what I'm saying? You see brothers with supermodels like Germany and, and France, um, you know, mm. places like that in Brazil. So my, my, my response was about Thailand. So she's right about that. That's, that's actually accurate. Yeah. You know, every time I go out, I'm hoping I'll cross something to prove me wrong. I, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can I, can I be real with you, bro? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. I hate that hat. It's hard to hear. I got to put it to my ear, so my bad. I I hate that hat. Mm -hmm. I hate the hat? that hat. Because it reminds me of Grown Folks TV, and he wear those those hats with the long bills, and they bend them up kind of funny style. Like, I'm younger. I'm only 31. But... Uh, mm -hmm. It, it's like it's like it's like with older dudes, they're older, but they they still wear hats to try to feel like they're hip. You don't need a hat, bro. Take the hat off, bro. The hat, the hat. Yeah, I, I, you take don't the want hat because I got a messed up hairline, man. Look at my hairline. That's a good no, question. That bad. Bad. <laughs> okay, that better, better backwards, Everybody better backwards. That's better, way better. Yeah, so Come on, that that long right bill, now. that long bill, bro. That long bill, bro. I'm from the, like we don't we don't do those long bills. The long bills is like it's like an older nigga still wanting to be young, and I get it, I get it. You know, I'm not there yet, but uh oh 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 oh, oh she she right here right here look, 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 look at the screen look at the screen look at the screen bro look at the screen. She she was one of the main people right here. Look at the what screen happened? look at the screen. Her right here. You see this person? This bar where I'm at right here. Tomorrow. No, 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 no. Fuck I, that I, I bar. Really like the food, man. The steak thing. No, no, no. Look at the look at the person on the like screen. It. Look at the person on the screen. Can you see it, <clears throat> bro? Look at the I can't screen. See All I see is myself. Oh, okay. Well, her name is Brooke. Her name is Brooke. She on the screen. She. I got her highlighted right now. You, I don't know if you can see her. She was like, nah. well, Lemon didn't drop his link. Where is his link? This is one of the people that wanted to, you know, know your page. So, Brooks, my bad, Brooke, for putting you out there like that. But, yeah, Brooke wanted to know your name and who you were in your channel. So, yeah, this is one. But keep your hat backwards. When you wear your hat forward, it's like a, it's like an old nigga thing. Like, it's like, don't do that. It make you, it make you look older. Like, you want to look younger. So, like, in this spot where I'm at, yeah, at least ten different dudes are wearing a hat just like mine. Yeah, it's a, it's for a reason. I'm only black dude here, so keep it backwards. Well, it, at least I'm separate eat the street food. I gotta go to high end restaurant. Let me ask him to comment. So I, hey, can you drop a comment in my chat so they can drop your channel link? Can you like? Can you write in my chat real quick and say like, "What up"? You know, I do that. Yeah. You know how to write in my chat? Like write like as if you're in a in a chat, like a, a regular person, not on the panel. So they can drop your link because people do want to subscribe to your channel. He does go live, y'all. He be going live from the car. He be giving out commentary and shit like that. So uh yeah. Okay, look, Brooke, Brooke, Brooke like what she said. Brooke, hit the panel. Brooke, hit the panel. Nah, bro. Hit the panel, bro. I uh, nah, bro. <laughs> I got this nigga on the panel. You gotta hit the link. <laughs> Hold on, let me take him off solo screen. My bad, bro. I'm sorry for putting you out there like that. My bad. Apologize. Oh, we lost Princess Sheba too. Princess Sheba, what happened, bro? Where what happened to her? No, Prince of Sheba, he he dropped down, but Brooke, Brooke said, oh, yeah, I just wanted to know who he was. I asked publicly, blah, blah, blah. Nah, no problem. And Robbie, thank you for coming up, Robbie. Uh, bro, you got to step it up, bro. We, they, 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 want, they, want, they want, bro, they want the mess and drama and shit, bro. So it's like, when you come up, like, 
They don't want they, this. They want what? Chase Holiday. Oh, there you go. Right here. This is profile, y'all. You got to change that avatar, bro. You can't have this cartoon as your avatar, bro. This you? Hello? This your profile right here? Yeah. The cartoon? Who is that? It's like a cartoon nigga, like a. The fuck? Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Who? Why you got this cartoon nigga? Oh, the cartoon for my um avatar. That's just Gladiator, man. That's some Marvel stuff. Okay, I got this lady. No, 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 Brooke, come up here real quick, Brooke. I'm not finna tell him. I'm not finna tell him that. You gotta come up here. Hey, my panel open. Anybody in the chat that wanna hit the link, hit the link real quick. He's a cool dude. He ain't he he don't be roasted and dragging. He 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 cool. I think when he hit my panel the first time, he had more smoke. Well, people had more smoke for him uh on round. I was one messing tonight. with Lemon, man. That's all. Lemon know that. That's why we cool. Cause when I first yeah, came, yeah, yeah, nah, nah, you cool, you cool, bro. Lemon was going off. I was going some motherfuckers, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon yeah. was lighting people up. <laughs> so I was like, y'all like okay. this dude, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna pick a fight. <laughs> I got somebody coming up. Somebody coming like, up. Lemon, what up? I got somebody. Uh, uh Chan. Yeah, Beasley, Beasley. His name is Chance Holiday. That's not his real name, but that's his YouTube name. He he picked that name to say his channel. Um, yeah, it's a character from the book that I'm writing. Don't Brooke, help character. that man. Yeah, I got somebody. But but can you hear me? I got somebody coming up right now. She 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 like you. I don't mean like you. Like she want to date you. She's a married woman, but she like you. She like when you hit the panel yeah, I know. I don't, the first time. I don't be getting a big yeah. head like some dudes. Yeah. So she finna come up right now. Some some she some, says. Um, what happened? So it, 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 is your hat? Is your hat like a? Uh, 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 life lifesaver thing. Like, why do you wear a hat? I don't feel like you need a hat. Like when you were talking from your car, I didn't feel like you needed a hat. Did you? Do you line yourself up, or do you go to a? Because you're in Thailand. Oh, they don't know how to. Damn, they don't know how to cut black nigga hair. I don't really be cutting my hair. Um, lately, I haven't been cutting it that much. Um, okay. But y'all dissing the shit out of my head. Nah, nah, the hat, that the hat's cool. Okay, you drinking water? Okay, he drinking water, y'all. I couldn't. Okay, Beasley said he couldn't find the page, but he liked that. Okay, moderators, moderators. Uh, he dropped down in our chat. Can y'all drop his page one more time, please? If I have any moderators here that can drop his uh channel. In my uh chat, can y'all drop his in the chat? Cause he's a cool dude, y'all. We give him a hard time, but 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 he's a cool dude, y'all. He got good commentary. He's not in jail. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm show um, him some love, bro. The, one of the one of the future chats that I want to do, Lemon. I'd be like for you to come on. Is um what we need to do to raise our kids better. I don't you have kids. I do. I do plan I on having either, kids within like the next. Oh, you don't got kids either? Nah, I don't. Because, like, the the girl I was with, who most likely would have gave me kids, she couldn't even have kids. You know what I'm saying? So, and after that, I just, so, it just kind of um, left me a little bit because I was tr I was relocating a lot, working my way up with the federal government, traveling and everything. And um, it's like my, it's, it's almost as if my, my, it's just didn't build nothing to start a family, but now this is something I really want right now. I definitely want to start a family and have some kids, man. I love kids. How old are, how old are you? I don't have any. How old are you? What's that? How I'm old are you? So I'm old. You're 48. Okay. Huh? <laughs> You're not old, bro. You're not old, bro. You're 48. I'm 48, You're 48 right now. Yeah. I'm 31. 
Oh, you 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 still in that? You still in that age, man? You good? You know what I'm saying thirty one is a good age, man. You know that's that's uh that's seventeen years. You know, so yeah, you you know you find a good one and you could still like start a family and still be young enough to, you know, to, um, you know, bring your son up with good energy. Me, I, I'm I'm you know who knows when I'm gonna start losing my energy and everything. Who knows? But right now, yeah. I feel like I'm 25, man. I'm in that gym hard. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, can you do me a favor? One more favor. Can you drop in my chat one more time so they can uh, drop your link one more time? Because when you drop in my link, my moderators are able to click your profile and drop your link okay. you know, directly. And they're looking so they for your drop. page right now. Just, just say what up or hi or just something simple, uh, and it'll it'll uh, allow them to drop uh, whoever that was. Come back. I got somebody. Let me see private chat. No, 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 no. You wrote that in the private chat. You got to write it in the main chat. It was coming uh, in last time I was on your show. It was it was coming for me. I know, I know, I know, bro. I know, bro. You you wrote you wrote your comment in the private chat. You got to write it in the main chat. So, uh, I'm not sure how to do it. Dimples, I said that. I told him I can't speak. I don't have kids, but I will have a child within like the next two years, uh, for sure. Yeah. And don't say who by who. Just just watch. Right in the main chat. Remember how you wrote your cartoon little picture? There you go, right here. Here, this dude right here. Moderators, moderators, drop his link right here. That's his page. <laughs> That's fucked up. They they put it on the inside. Like, come get it. You pay for it. <laughs> 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 hey, but you said you wanted me to come she to one of your shows. She waved at my ass. She was like, <laughs> she was like, <laughs> hey, you in Thailand though, bro? It's hot as hell out here too. Huh? No, I said you Thailand in Thailand is, too. Um, you know, why are you yeah, in Thailand, so you bro? Know what we said yesterday, was, huh? Why are you in Thailand? What's up? What's up? Why are you in Thailand? It's it's dope out here, but you know, yeah, I'm in Thailand. Where is he writing? So give you a right. He right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Right here, his name is right. Let me do this shit. Hold on. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, one second, bro. Just 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 start talking. Just talk right now. Somebody come up real quick so I can drop his channel link right. in the chat. They're not seeing. I'm subscribed to your channel, bro. So I got I got you highlighted. We're talking so go ahead, about just a, talk. A, a thing out here in Thailand, and um, it was like uh, whoever you are when you come out to Thailand, that's who you're gonna be. You can't change nobody's brain, man. If you got a bunch of ignorance that come out to a certain area, that's what's gonna happen. Remember the turkey leg restaurant? Look what happened to that. This is what we do. We mess everything. We, we, we just be messing everything up. Because we don't gatekeep a good thing. And we need to. Some things we gatekeep. We gatekeep the hood. We gatekeep the hood like... <clears throat> You come out, you come out to somebody's hood and be like, yo, I'm a real one. How long is it gonna take for them to check you? We do the same thing, whatever we got. Check anybody. We could if we could check people for that, we could check people for anything. Tell dude, stop being ignorant in certain sectors, man. Won't need other people to see you see you being being ignorant like that. Take care of your kids, man. You know, start checking people who um who do dirt too close to home around our around our kids that we trying to raise right. All kinds of stuff. I mean, I could do this all day. You know, but as far as like going overseas, man, a lot of us, you know, it's not like we're tapping out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not tapping out. Who? Okay, see, I'm finna. Okay, let me be clear. Somebody hid 
his channel for my page. I just went to his shit and I went to like the option feature to show me like it, if they're hidden from my channel. And somebody put him, they hid him from my channel. Someone blocked you, bro. He did not got everybody blocked. Someone blocked him. So I finna drop his shit real quick in the chat. I don't know who the fuck did that. This is why I gotta like unmod a lot of people and I finna like remod people because that's crazy that y'all would do that. I, I don't I don't wanna put blame on nobody because I don't know who did it. Um I know who I know who I'm not gonna unmod, but I know who I'm gonna unmod if that makes sense. Cause why would y'all do that? That's weird. The nigga ain't did shit to you. And y'all hit the nigga from my channel. That's yeah, weird, bro. That's what, I just that's so what happened. I said like he that. no, because when they said he got the whole chat blocked, I went to your shit and it said unhide from your channel. And I'm like, I never I never hid you from my channel. Never. <laughs> so I didn't even know how I didn't even know you could do stuff like that. Yeah. Someone blocked you from my channel. So when you typed in my chat, like when you drop down right now, now they can see you. But uh Someone hid you from my channel. Someone blocked you, bro. So I had to unhide you from my channel because he was like, he got everybody blocked. He don't got everybody blocked, nigga. He was having a conversation with Seven Stars, bro. Seven Stars is not my moderator. Someone blocked you. They didn't like what you were saying. And someone blocked you. And that shit is weird. So I'm going to unmod certain people. And uh, it is what it is because that shit is weird, bro. Damn, there you go again. No. Can y'all see him now? Can y'all see him now? Just now, you can see it. His name is right here. This is his page right here. You see him now? That's what I'm talking about. That's why y'all couldn't see him because someone blocked him. I didn't block this nigga. I subscribed to his channel. No wonder when I shared you out, your your shit probably didn't pop because like. You were blocked, so they probably didn't see it on my community wall when I shared you out because you were blocked. That shit is weird. So now I got to go to my computer. I got to unmod people because it's weird that people would do something like that. It's weird. Thank, thank you, Jamila. Thank crazy. you so much for... Yeah, yeah, it's weird. So I got to unmod people. I'm going to go to my computer when I get off here. I'm going to go with who I trust. And then the rest, if y'all feel some type of way, I, I apologize. But I'm going to go with what my heart tell me when I unmod people. So that's that. I'll wake up tomorrow with people being upset with me. I can do that. But it's weird because I didn't block him. And the fact that y'all blocked him, that's weird. He from a different hey, Lemon, sector. A, hey, Lemon, you get a chance to check out Razor Ray's um, um Page one I did it. I did it. Nah, I didn't. I was waiting. Nah, because when I hit you up, I no wonder when I let I left you a did you get my comment? Nah, I did I didn't I, no, yeah, I did see it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I left a comment, yeah, under that if you're racist, beta period. That I was I was waiting like a response type situation, but you were probably blocked. So it's yeah, like I, even, I, even if you wouldn't respond, I, I wouldn't have seen. Lemon. I'm new. I'm new to the. I'm new to the whole process. I got to get on it. So what I'm what I'm also doing is I'm learning about um different tools and stuff like that. You know, with all the animation and everything. Um, yeah. Because I'm building Bruh. a a real big video. Because on my YouTube, I got a a mad excuse me accumulation of scholars who talk about all the atrocities that have happened to black people, what's happening now, okay. historical facts, things that are correct, and I'm going to take them all, and I'm going to create, and I'm going to do a huge um, show, and every everything I learned from all these documentaries and books and everything, and I'm going to go all out with animation, pictures, and the whole nine yards. It's going to be a lot of work. A lot of work. So I want to well, like, You got a person on the screen the, right here. Journalism type stuff. You got a person on the screen right here. It says he got like 60 subscribers, but no personality. What do you say to that? I uh, see, uh, but no personality. I don't even know what that means. 
He's saying you only got sixty subscribers, but you don't. He's saying you don't have no personality. No personality means like you got sixty people that subscribe to your channel, but you got no substance. Like you're like a dud. How do you how do you respond? Like what's your response? Well, my I respond to it like my my um first I'm new to it, so as far as the personality, I don't know if you want to give me a fake character um. This is my personality. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is who I, the way I'm like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're good, you're good. So he said that's not what I said exactly. So did I misread this comment right here, y'all? It says he got 60 subs, no personality, laughing emoji. Did I misread that? Is there something I was supposed to, you, you don't got to respond right here. You, you chill. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Beasley, you just said that. The avatar does him no justice, bro. Then you said, that's not what I said exactly. That's not what I'm saying. How is that not what you're saying, but that's what you're typing? That's not... Hit the link! Hit the link! How, how are you going to say, that's not what you're saying, but that's what you're typing? What? Misinterpret it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on now. Okay. Then he said I misinterpreted this. So y'all read this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. My bad. My bad. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Let's see. I ain't a crackhead. You only can play these games with crackheads. He's got 60 subs, no personality. Where did I go wrong with this message? Hold on, hold on. You're good. You're good, bro. Don't don't say nothing. Hold on. I want him to come up and say something because he do hit links. Uh, what That's are you well, saying, like bro? Limit. This this can't be misinterpreted. This is very evident. This is very clear as daylight. He got sixty subs, no personality, laughing emoji. That's not misinterpreted. What did I miss? Okay, let's see. Let's see. All right. We nope, that's not him, but we got Prince of Sheba, but he cool. This ain't the person that said that. Prince of Sheba. That said what? Oh, he cammed up. Prince of Sheba done cammed up on this. Hold on, y'all. Let's I give him the solo off. layout. Oh, no. Hold no, on. No, 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 I'm off. Oh my bad! No, you can stay on camera. I didn't. I didn't know. Yeah, if, yeah. I respect. You can stay on camera, bro. I didn't know that. I just. I no, thought you wanted to. That was an accident. Cam that was an accidental cam up. My bad. <laughs> no, you're good. I. I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't. I don't put. No, if you don't want it, tell your friend fine. he's homeless. He wait. Tell your friend he's in a homeless shelter too. Lemon, who's in a homeless shelter? This nigga. This nigga. Hold on. Not you. Oh, hopefully I clicked the right button. He's not in a homeless shelter. <laughs> He's not in a homeless shelter, bro. <laughs> First, they put you in prison. I hope they're not talking about you. Yo. Yeah, go ahead. Let me, Let me tell see. me what you think of this movie. I want to tell me if you can see it. She, she, she middle of the mall. Yeah, she middle of the mall. Hold on, we, but we got somebody else here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, how do I exist? I got to call a taxi. And then we got Prince of Sheba. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up? What's up? How are you doing, Lemon? Um, what's the guy's name on the... Uh, Chase Holiday. Chase Holiday. Okay, what's up, Chase? Um, yeah, what's going to be going on, Lemon? You been on for, for a minute? I've been live for a minute. You know, I had the whole Raw B. I had hoodie. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of drama going on with that. That's more your sector. Um, yeah. Whose side are you on with all this? I know you, you, you're you pretty much caught up. Whose side are you on? Um, uh, what would I say? Uh, well, is there okay. a side yeah. to be on? You mean like the Raw B and the between Raw B or Shaq Kim? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm cool with Shaq Kim. I mean, I'm cool with Robbie too, but um, I'm not really on either side. I wish they would like uh, 
fix it, fix it, you know, work it out. So they become cordial, but, um, I'm not on like any particular side. I just wish that they would, you know, kind of just mend things and reconcile, but I, there's not a side for me to be on. But how can they, how can they mend fences and reconcile where, okay, Shaquem said, Hey, you fuck with binary job. I'm going to fuck with hoodie job. And starting tomorrow, starting tomorrow. So mm -hmm. this is your shit. Like nigga, I, we don't, well, I, I can't say we don't do shit like that in our sector, but we're not, y'all more like, uh, passionate with <laughs> contacting people jobs. And I think we are. So no, no, we're not. There's only, um, like one person that does that. Or no, uh, like hold on, hold on, hold on. Like Benzo, 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 uh, uh, Stefan or Princess Sheba, he, he's a Umar boy. He's a Umar boy. He's just not, he didn't come up in a shock cam and binary kind of group. He's, but he's from their sector. So he's like an Umar boy too. So if you want to put him in that category, he's like an Umar, Umar boy too. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm a little bit different than them. I'm not looking to like do any plays over here, and I'm not looking to like you know I'm 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 not yeah I'm not marketing myself over here. I'm just over here just trying to just uh, get to know and see what y'all are up to, really. You know. But yeah, I'm yeah. Not, no, no. I'm not no trying problem to do at all. Shows or doing reviews or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm no, not saying you turn nothing, your volume nothing up? against the sector. Am I low? No, I can hear you yeah. perfectly. You no, no, no. That's you. That's you, bro. I got headphones on. Like Prince of Sheba, you're good. Who are you talking but to? He's talking to you. Um. Yeah, I got. I probably should have had headphones. What? Um, Prince of Sheba, I can hear you. You perfectly. Like I can hear you like perfectly. Right. Hold on. Yeah, you got to have headphones on, uh, can you like, in public like that. Uh, uh moderators, can y'all drop a person? Right, it's your show, man. I, I, I wait, I'm waiting <clears> on a, per, I'm waiting on a specific person to drop down in my, uh, I mean, hit my link, uh, that was looking for you. She's still in my chat typing, but I want her to hit my link. She knows who she is. Me? I don't got to put a name on it. But nonetheless, moderators, can you, no, 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 not you, not you. Can y'all drop Prince of Sheba's channel in my uh, uh, chat that. Uh, so people can subscribe to his yeah, channel? He's, he's cool. He gave out good commentary. He's very yeah. fair. Uh, but Prince of Sheba, they can't find you. Huh? Uh, can can you can you drop can you drop a comment in my chat so they can just yeah, like sure. click your yeah, uh, channel? And, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. They already got you. Never mind. Never mind. They already got you. They got you, bro. Okay. All right. All right. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Yeah. They just dropped okay. you right here. Look, look. There you go. Hold on. Okay. Okay. But dimples, dimples. Don't don't do that to Prince of Sheba. Oh, I no, know. No. Uh, I I seen I seen her her um her response or, or her comment. Um, I responded to it. So, um, so uh, a lot of times, like I don't respond back immediately to the comments on my page because of the sector I'm in. I get a lot of. You know, I don't get the the most uh, kind comments, so like I kind of uh, am not good at keeping up on them. So it's not like I ignore people intentionally. It's just like it takes me a minute to get around to it. No, no, no. They just wrote a comment in my chat, and that's why I oh. responded the way I did. Yeah, uh, she was saying something like, uh, "They," she said, uh, "Benzone." He said. She is delivered. He is cute. But they're pretty much saying because of your lifestyle, the way you choose to live your life now, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, hold on real quick. Uh, am I on unmute? Oh, yeah, that's all. No, you're channel. not. That, that's all on my Hold on, hold on. She's here. Hold on, she's here. Hold on, hold on. 
They're both. Uh uh-uh, uh, Lemon, you're not going to do that to me. Um, he, she, Le, Ben's, you misinterpreted what Ben said. She asked, is he family, meaning is he LGBTQIA plus community? So I okay. said, he, he says he's delivered. I cannot talk about nobody's walk or how they claim or anything okay. like that. Now, I'm interested. I didn't know, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You know my background. You know my grandparents are pastors, and you know I grew up in a Pentecostal apostolic church. So I know all I'm of apostolic. I'm at with you. That, and all that type of stuff. So that's why I would interest in his journey. I can't tell if he says he's delivered, he's delivered. I don't care. I think he's cute. What the fuck? God. No, no, okay, okay, okay. I misinterpret I misinterpreted the no, I did it. You always do that to me. You always fucking do that. You misinterpret every fucking thing I do, Lemon, and I don't fucking appreciate it. Okay, Dimples, can I apologize to you? Yeah, but anyway, I apologize. Nice to meet you. I ain't talking about your walk. I was just interested in your story. That's it. Coming from my background. That's it. That's all. But wait, wait, wait. Before you leave, before you leave, because you always leave abruptly. You yeah. just dip out. You just like I'm out of here. Fuck you, niggas. Like I said, <laughs> I apologize to you, dimples. I miss. I misinterpreted what you were saying, and I was just saying no. I, I thought. I thought you were saying. Well, he said this, but you know, I, I misinterpreted. I, mean, I, I read it wrong. He says deliver. Deliver. If someone says they're straight, they're fucking straight. What the fuck is yeah. me? And I, that's why I apologize to you. I, I play apologize. Trans. People call me a fucking man. What well, does that change anything? No. No, no, it doesn't. And I, I apologize. I don't want you to be upset because I, I, I know you say I keep. Lemon, I'm not upset, but you, but you always do this to me. But it is what it is. You but why do you think that? Why do you, do you think that? Ain't no why do you think that? that? Why? Why do you do? Why do you do what you do towards me? Why did you unmind me, thinking I'm gonna ruin your, sabotage your chat? Why did you kick me out your Discord? You always think negative of me. You need to ask yourself that. But I'm fine, Lemon. It is what it is. I'm not. I move on. I'd have been been in here long enough. I live to see another goddamn day. Praise the Lord and kiss my ass. Have a okay. good night. All right. <sighs> damn, Jesus Christ. Kiss the whole I I can't. I can't win. Like, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh, Chase. I, I I care towards everybody's emotions, feelings, uh, things maybe I don't even understand. And breaking up a little bit. I think we all broke up. I'm back. Can you hear me, Stefan? Yeah, I can hear you fine. You, you sound good. It's you. It's you. You in Thailand, bro. You in Thailand. So, hmm. uh, nonetheless, I try my best to accommodate everybody with dimples me and dimples have a whole different history dimples is not just this person that popped up as a supporter of mine dimples come from a different realm where i met dimples at and we're good we're good but dimples yeah i'll just say we're good right but dimples is dimples i try to respect dimples as she presents herself right but we do bump heads and we have roast each other we talk shit about each other so when i unmodded her from my moderator it was because like i just don't know where i stand with dimples dimples is very hard to read i don't like people like that if i don't really know your energy it's like what's best for my channel me thinking i know a person or just unmodded them right so i unmodded her then when Dimples added herself to my Discord, she didn't type in my Discord for over a week. So I kicked her out of my Discord. She got mad. But listen, she got mad the moment I kicked her out of my Discord. So I'm like, how did you notice I kicked you out of my Discord, but you wasn't typing in my Discord? It's like, bro, like you were there, but the second I kicked you out, you knew you were gone, you know? So it's like, it's weird. It's a weird energy with her. So that's that's that with Dimples. But uh, yeah. Awesome. Um, uh, but just to elaborate a little bit, um, but go, ahead, go, go about your, go about your, uh, who you are. Cause they don't know. Um, well, I'm, my channel's name is Prince Sheba, but most people call me Stefan, which is my, like my real name. Um, people can call me either one, but, um, but 
Yeah, I'm a content creator from the Umar sector, and um, I pretty much do all kinds of content. Um, a lot of it has to is like ed I don't know. It's all over the place. So um, I can't really say it's one thing. I haven't really picked like one particular type of uh, of a uh, thing to go with. But hold on one second. I gotta drag a person real quick, real quick. Hold on one second, uh, Stephen Warns. LG, I don't give two flying fooks about you saying we will not be talking about my dinners. Nigga, I will talk about whoever the fuck I want to talk about. Nigga, I will talk about you. Okay? You, let's let's take dimples out of the equation. Let's put you into the equation. Oh. I will talk about you. Don't drop in my chat telling me who I will and won't talk about. Because if I will take her out the equation and put you uh -oh. into the equation, uh -oh. I will talk about you. So don't tell me who we will and will not talk about. I didn't say nothing bad about dimples when I did discuss dimples right now. So don't drop in my chat telling me we will not be talking about my dimps. What weight do you hold in our sector? You're not, not even from the beef sector. So don't tell me who I will and won't talk to. And Link Punk, nigga, my link is pinned. Fuck is you talking about, you drunk motherfucker? My link is pinned, but you're too fucking drunk. You probably can't see it. So moderators, drop the link for this drunk motherfucker so I can cook her. And send her to bed. The fuck wrong with you? I, I was having a conversation with Dimples. You're not Dimples. Who the fuck are you? You must have bumped your head on a fucking bottle before you typed in my chat. The fuck? Are you okay? Where's your husband? Because you're not okay. And if you want this smoke, I'm, I'm highly equipped. To cook you. And you gonna call me a punk? Let's dance, my nigga. Let's dance, Ooh. bro. Fuck awesome. is you talking about? I'm gonna dance. Mm -hmm. let's, let's bring this drunk bitty up here. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Let me put a ban let me put a let me put a banner up because you're a drunk bitch. I am. I sure am. I sure am. And you a fucking crazy bitch. You gay bitch. And I'll be bitch. and I'll be I'll be all that you drunk motherfucker. You I can't even complete a motherfucking sentence. You bad motherfucker. I wanna cry and show my booty cheeks and pussy on YouTube ass motherfucker. Nigga, you can't dance with me, bro. Nigga, I'm 31. Nigga, you're 61. You don't got the oxygen to keep up with a motherfucker like me. The fuck is you talking about, my nigga? Don't you ever disrespect me in my motherfucking chat telling me who the fuck I can and can't discuss on my motherfucking platform, nigga. I will drown you out, nigga. You will sound like Charlie Brown's teacher, my nigga. You will sound like womp, 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 womp. The public has not heard one word from you, my nigga, because you don't got the oxygen to keep up with me. Don't you ever disrespect me like you know what the fuck is going on. Are you fucking okay? Did you bump your head on a bottle, my nigga? Did you eat dinner? Is your stomach empty? Don't you ever think you can play on my top, bro? You and my motherfucking chat, you talking to me. I ain't talking to you, nigga. You sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. Womp, 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 nigga. You can't fuck with me, so don't play with me like you know you can dance with me, my nigga. You can't fuck with me. You can't dance with me, nigga. This is my mother motherfucking specialty, nigga. I drown motherfuckers like you. Don't you ever think you can play with me. The fuck wrong with you, stupid ass nigga? I don't give a fuck what the fuck you talking about. You so reckless, I gotta put a banner up for you, my nigga, because you show your ass and your pussy, nigga, like this is the free 99, you fucking cheap, fucking drunk motherfucker. That's why you gotta have under new management get you all panels, because you're a fucking wreck. You're a wreck, my nigga. You're a wreck. You're a wreck to her. You're a wreck to your husband. You're a wreck to your sister. You're a wreck to the fucking sector. Nigga, you're not beef sector, my nigga. But don't you ever think you can come to my motherfucking sector and think you regulating the motherfucking thing. Are you fucking okay? 
Go back to Kanika yeah. Jenkins or R. Kelly sector, wherever the fuck you came from, nigga. Don't you ever think you can dance on my top. Don't you ever think you can fuck with me. Are you fucking okay, stupid ass motherfucker? Don't you ever play on my top. Don't you ever do that. Bump your motherfucking hand. Think twice before you speak to a nigga like me. Because you can't dance with me, nigga. I'm drowning you. I'm drowning you just with my microphone, stupid motherfucker. That's how fucking drunk and stupid you are. Don't play with me. Don't play with me, bro. Don't you fucking play with me, you drunk motherfucker. You dizzy, dancing, bat, death, devil motherfucker. You don't even go to sleep. You drink, you wake up. And you come on different platforms showing your ass, showing your titties, showing your pussy. Nigga, you don't stand for nothing. You got no substance. You got no substance. You are a fucking liability. And I'm drowning you right now. I'm drowning you. And I'm going to keep drowning you. I'm going to keep drowning you. The fuck wrong with you? Don't you play on my top, nigga. Fuck wrong with you, stupid. Nigga, are you okay? You're not okay. Clearly, you're not okay, and I'm here to dance with you, my nigga. Let's have a good time. What you? What's your favorite song? Let's have a good. Let's have a good dance and battle. What's your favorite song, bitch? Fuck wrong with you, stupid. Yeah. Uh, let me know. Let me know. Shut up, stupid. We don't want to hear what the fuck you gotta say. You slow talking, dizzy dancing motherfucker. We don't give a fuck what the fuck you gotta say. The fuck wrong with you, stupid. You can't dance with me, nigga. And that, on that note, <laughs> she learned her lesson. Don't fucking dance with Lemon. Lemon's not trying to dance with you. That's the problem. She dropped. Princess Sheba dropped. Salute, salute. But I win. You lose. You can't dance with me. You sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. I told you that. Stop trying to dance with a young nigga. Because I'm going to drown you every time. You can't fuck with me. You can never fuck with me. This is my league. This is what I do. This is the beef sector. This is why you're not from our sector. This is why you came from the R. Kelly, Kanika Jenkins sector, nigga. Because you, you don't got the stamina. <laughs> yeah, fuck wrong with you. Dizzy motherfucker. Go sit the fuck down and drink some water. <laughs> you can't fuck with me. Stupid. Dummy, bring your whole ass back up here. The link is pinned. If you're not too dizzy to clink it, clink that link. Go ahead. It's right at the top. I'll bring you back up so I can dance in circles around you and nobody can hear what the fuck you're talking about because you're a joke. You're a clown. We laugh at you. You're always drunk. You're never sober. We don't know who the fuck you are. We don't know the real LG. We know the drunk LG that show her ass, titties, and pussy online because she gets so fucking drunk she don't go to sleep or eat food. That's the LG we know. Stop playing with me. Stop defending motherfuckers that won't defend you. Stupid. But bring your dizzy ass back up here if you're about that life. Don't keep typing in my chat. Don't keep typing paragraphs because I'll, I'll, I'll ban you from my shit, bro. If you're going to type paragraphs and not hit the link, bro, you can go. You can go. Because, see, dimples, dimples can stay, but you can go. I'll keep dimples over here because I know dimples, but you, I'll ban you. You don't do nothing for my platform, nigga. We don't need you in the beef sector. You're not beef sector. Dimples, she's beef sector. You, you're not beef sector. So get rid of this motherfucker. I'll take Brooke too. Because Brooke, at least she came from a different sector. But we like Brooke. We don't like you. We like your sister, your twin sister, TG. But we don't like you. Because you're a drunk idiot. You don't know when to shut the fuck up. That's your problem. You over talk everybody. You make no sense. You're always frantic. We don't know who we're getting. You're a clown. You're a joke. You need to drink some water. You need to go eat some bread. You need to go to sleep. Stop trying to prove a point. You're not gangster. Stupid. 
trying to come over here to defend Dimples as if I disrespected you. Dimples is not your cousin. Dimples is not your sister. You go harder for Dimples than you do your sister, who you have a twin sister that hits the beef sector panel, and you rather argue with your twin sister and not defend her, but you want to defend Dimples, who's not no kin to you? That's how I know you're a drunk bitty. So go to fuck the bed. Go lay up with your husband and figure out your fucking life. Stupid. You with your drunk ass. I drink, but I ain't as drunk as you. You're the drunk of the sector, the female. You're the drunkest person in our sector, and you're not even a part of our sector. Stupid. With your dizzy ass. Fuck wrong with you, stupid. Shut up, gay blade. Shut up, gay blade. But she, but if you type another thing in my chat, I will ban you from my whole platform. If you don't click this link, I'm gonna ban you, bro, right now. Type another motherfucking word in my chat. I will ban your drunk, dizzy, bad body built ass, you fucking raggedy punk pussy motherfucker. What's good, Dimples? Lemon, please don't do that to her. She was Fuck. trying to defend me. She, she was, and I and I appreciate that. that. I appreciate please that. Please I appreciate it. But, but your beef sector, your beef sector, Dimples, well, I get you. Well, your she, beef sector. Yeah, you, we know what she gives, Lemon, but if you... She give that, drunk bitch. She give drunk bitch on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, lost, and the holidays. Yeah. But yeah, she lost somebody yeah. close to you. She lost someone close to her. And what her sister did, did, did any of your family members ever put you in jail and weaponize your past discretions and force you to take a plea deal knowing the system's corrupt? Leave her alone, please, Lemon, and let her live. Get time out for 24 hours or whatever. But come on, Lemon, don't ban her because we all need this. I don't need her. You don't she, need her, but she she, she's she's not a... She was because listen, listen. Okay, she's not. Hold on, dimples. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you ready? You ready? You ready? Hold on. Let me show you. Look on the screen. Ready? That's one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's one. That's one. Just time her out for twenty four hours. She'll come back sober up. You know how we do, Lemon. Come on now. We are a dysfunctional family. Yeah, she might not have started out at B sector. Come on now. We already know what she gives. And you get me on the right day, you know what I'll give. I'm, I don't, drunk, I'm just not drunk enough. Dimples, I respect yeah. you. Our beef was between us. You came up here, you no, defended it yourself. Never been between us. It, you, it, you dimples, dimples. Somebody else, but we and we, we moved past, we moved past that. And I apologize to you already. I it can't keep doing it, it because it's it. like I will. Me, I don't internalize it. I right. move on. It is what it is. If I just felt some type of way, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't talk to you. It is what it is. I don't care. I'm just asking you for me not to do that to her because she was just trying to defend me. If you feel the time, just time out for the 24 hours, but don't ban her just for that. Mods, 24 hour time. This this drunk motherfucker. Um, I don't know why she's doing that or how it went left like that, but you know she's gonna pop off. She's from Baltimore, like she's gonna pop off. And that's why I like Brooke, and I don't like her. Well, that's why I like Brooke. For a minute, she came to my shit. I didn't go. I'm not. I'm not. But I'm not. I'm not at her shit talking to her. She's on my shit disrespecting me. And it's here. She is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here she is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. LG, please. LG, chill out. Let it go. You hold on. <laughs> Lord, you done turned her up. Lemon, put, Let it go. put your thing up. Why you do that to me? <laughs> Lord Jesus. Lord God. What you do to her, Lemon? Lemon, what is she back there doing? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. Is she stripping? What is she doing? She Elsie, thought. What you drink tonight? Brooke. Brooke. Yes, go. Can you hear me? Chris? I can hear you. I can hear you perfectly. LG to a bottle last right, well, night. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
She's from Ohio, down in Ohio, swag like 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 Ohio. What the fuck you gonna do? She is in Ohio, down in Ohio, swag like Ohio. She's in Ohio, her swag is in Ohio. No, you're not. 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 Put the show that bad cat. No, you're not, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. Fuck wrong with you. You thought you was finna do your big one? Down in Ohio, swag like Ohio. Down in Ohio, swag like Ohio. Fuck wrong with you. You thought you was finna do your big one? You thought you was finna show some pussy? You thought you was finna show some bad pussy? We don't want the bad pussy. Uh, uh no, that's bro. Uh, uh, then that's you. That's you. That's you. That's your stinking ass, ho. Look over there, show it like chitlins. Bro, we don't want to see that fucking chitlins, bro. We don't want to see that snaking ass pussy, bitch. You're weak, bitch. You're weak because you blocked. Let me use a weak bitch. Don't talk to me, bitch. You brought me to me that way. Don't talk to me, okay? Thank Brooke, you. Brooke, did you cuss me out you today? Exist, bitch. Did you cuss me out today, bro? You cuss me out all the time, man. No, I, I did not. Nigga over here. Oh, I, I, I know you went live today. I didn't know if you cussed me out. All the time. You, you hit me all the time. And you dragged me? And you dragged me, too? Okay. Mm -mm. Now, now, now you... Now you know how now you know how we can solve this. Want this nigga to talk to me, you secretly gay black bitch. Let me your ass eat you. What kind of panties you got on, LJ? I'm out the closet. Her stinking ass probably ain't got nothing on with her funky. Girl, I'd rather spank than that green pussy. With all that beer you drink, you smitty pussy bitch. I know you're not fucking freaking talking to me. I mean, you ain't even been asleep yet. That's ridiculous. You haven't And you ain't me. And you ain't me. You mad because you got drunk pussy? You got a drunk pussy on your hand? Go piss. Go sit down and pee. You got a drunk pussy on your hand. Fuck wrong with you. Fuck wrong with you. You got a drunk pussy. Go pee. Go pee. Go drain your cat. No. No. Go drain your cat. Fuck wrong with you. Because you can't even understand if you get a straight. You gay blade. Your pussy's drunk. It says, Jackie, Lemmy, you weak. You can't dance. She was drunk. I don't give a fuck what she was. She jumped in something that had nothing to do with her. Her beef was trying to defend Dimples. Dimples is on my platform saying, hold on, shut up, stupid. Shut up, stupid. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the comment. I'm talking to the comment. You are my shit. <laughs> <laughs> she mad at me. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of that bitch. I really am yeah. so sick and tired of her. Always wanting to say something to call people names. Like you bitches want to say somebody a crook, but I ain't never steal nothing a day in my life. Like y'all so fucking. Girl, you been a crook. You been a crook since 2000. A motherfucker seventeen. You, you have issues, been a crook since 2017. You have been a crook. You have been a crook since 2017. You have been a crook. Since 2017. Fuck uh, wrong with you. <laughs> Stupid. How many mug shots do you have, LG? And I gained some more. And I got one. Behind him. And I gained some more. What are you talking about, bitch? I'm not afraid no mug shots. You only I'm not hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Uh, Mr. 32 Flavors. Lemmy, you act like you're trying to prove something. Ego, I did not write that. I did not write that read down. You're, you've been practicing. 
first off, I wasn't even responding to Mr. 32 Flavors. I was actually responding to this person's comment that says, Lemon, you are weak sauce. You can't dance because she was drunk. Mr. 32 Flavors, where the fuck did you come from? We weren't talking about you. Let's count you, though. You want to be counted, so let's give you the spotlight. He want the spotlight. Let's give him the spotlight, y'all. Fuck is you talking about? Nigga, no one was talking to you. I was talking to that person that wrote that other comment. You want me to go back? Okay, let me let me rewind time. Boom. I was talking to this person. I was not talking to you, Mr. 32 Flavors. So get out of your motherfucking feelings, nigga. If it's 1.51 in the morning in California, my nigga, if you're not in California time, then it's probably like three hours ahead. So you're probably like almost five o'clock in the morning where you live or two hours, nigga. The fuck wrong with you, nigga? Ain't nobody talking to you, Mr. 32 Flavors, you punk pussy motherfucker. If you can't click my motherfucking link and you can type in a chat paragraph, bitch, shut the fuck up. We don't give a fuck what you can type in the chat, bitch. Hit the link. Let us hear your voice, pussy. You misread that. I did not misread that. Now y'all always say, it said lemon. You act like, hold on, they always do this dumb shit. Like, you misread what, Beasley just did the same shit. <laughs> okay, so let's reread this. It says, Lemon, you act like you're trying to prove something, ego. And I did not write that, I did not write that down. You've been practicing. No. What you said was, you pretty much acting like I'm trying to prove something. What am I trying to prove? I'm arguing with LG. She's a drunk. She's our neighborhood drunk. And you and you're a drunk too. Yeah, I am. I am, but I'm more I'm a classier drunk. I'm more of a sophisticated drunk. I got my shit together. I'm gonna go to work tomorrow. And I'm gonna guess what? Guess what? LG. 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 When I cock in tomorrow, I'm gonna say ah. Absolutely, you know. <laughs> you can't dance, y'all can't dance. You can't dance on bikini bottom. You can't dance on bikini bottom. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta guess, y'all. We gotta guess. We gotta guess. Oh wait, wait! I never mind, never mind. I know who it is. Fuck it, fuck it. I can't even put my banner down because I got this fucking idiot on my platform, uh -huh, uh -huh. and she. Business. I'm gonna get your business. You ain't gonna give me shit. I'm gonna boot you from my panel, bro. That motherfucker up ASAP. Yo, okay. man, this dude what? is coming at you the same way the dude. Hold on, 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 hold on. She said, you better keep your banner up because I'm going to come for you. LG, watch no, this. Bow, 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 bow. Hold on. <laughs> Boop. Uh, moved you. We done moved her from this. Let's do this. Let's do that. Bow. Fuck is you talking about, my nigga? All right. I'm going to bring my moderator up. What's good, moderator? What's good? What's good? Hey, I'm talking to you, unapologetic. Come on. Lemon, you might want to take that off your screen. Look at the comment. Look at the avatar. Nah, I don't give a fuck. Do you see it? You see that avatar? <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Hello? Hello? My, yeah. my, hello? Hold on. I got my mod up here, too. Hold on one second. Let me add her to this age. Uh, what's good? What's good? Everybody. What up? Let me take, let me take the banner down, because I don't got this, this idiot up here no more. Hold on one second. Please. All right. All right, there y'all go. What's good, good, everybody? Let's get into some good conversations. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? Hello. Finally. All right. So it looks like I got the, what's his name, Mr. Chance? 
Chase, what's your what's his name? Chase, Chase Holiday. Chase. How you doing, Chase? How you doing? Hey, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I wanted to um I did finally find you. Hold on, let me make sure I'm in the right lane. No, I I it took me a minute because I was literally just taking my um my oldest back to campus uh at the spring break or his Easter break. So he can go back. He's about to finish. So that's why I'm up. It's 4 50, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. But you had mentioned some stuff in what you said you wanted to talk about. I would love to be a part of that conversation as well. Um, about the kids and how we can, you know, be make our kids great things of that magnitude. I think that'll be an excellent conversation um, to have because there are people with a lot of opinions. And it's really weird how some of them just be saying some of the most craziest things like when their children turn 18, they're going to kick them out the house or, you know, they don't require their children to do anything once they graduate high school. Like, it's a bunch of stuff that I be looking at people sideways once I hear them make crazy statements. Like, you ain't have a hard life. <laughs> you should want your child's life to be as easy as possible. Right. Do you read to your kids? You know what I'm saying? One of, yeah, well, tell me what I you think it is. Well, my baby, yeah, when I, I, when I, well, I, can tell. I read to my children. My, actually, my my baby, my ba my daughter, she'll be one next month. But my son, my baby son, my last son, he knows how to speak three different languages. He speaks English as first language. He speaks Spanish as second language, and he knows how to That's sign. Good. My language is the third language. So tell us how um, you. Well, the of course the English one that came automatic, but as he goes to school, it comes, you know, with it. The Spanish, I actually started it when he was young. When he got to preschool, I paid for tutoring classes for Spanish. So he's literally fluent in Spanish. He can speak to you in Spanish. I have to slice that. He does it all the time. Like he'll come to the house and just You wanna know a cheaper way? To me. Something I keep um, something I was talking to Lemon about. Mm -hmm. Like when your kid is a baby, you can have a babysitter that just speaks naturally a different language. And you could do that with two different languages and they'll pick them both up. Did you know that? I did know that. The only thing was my husband wanted, he didn't want us to have a babysitter. So I, I, I he, he told me that he wanted me to be off of work to raise our son because our son was a crybaby. He was one of them kids that will frustrate you. Um, very smart, but he will frustrate you because he will cry for no reason. Like he didn't even hold his bottle. He wanted you to hold his bottle and he would cry if he didn't. So because he didn't want anybody to abuse him, he didn't know what would happen. He asked for me to stay home until he was old enough. I guess to that's different. Yeah. Happened. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff that I did, I did while we were home. So once I realized that he caught on to stuff so fast, I when I caught on to that, I started teaching him as much stuff as I could possibly teach him. To the point where he knows how to sign, he knows the alphabet, he knows how to, like, he can have a conversation with you in sign language as well. Wow. So, yeah, he, he's definitely, um, fluent, and he's you can fluent. like, he's, I can't even say this stuff. When he's, when he's talking to me, I be looking at him like, what are you saying? <laughs> he be having to break it down to me what he say, and that's crazy, but, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you get a, get him one of those, life. um. They have a lot of games out there, toy games, but they're mm -hmm. science games, and you have to do a little bit of math to uh, to play the game. There's a lot of them out there. I can't think of the ones at the top of my head. Definitely give those to him. Uh, yeah, but what I notice is, too, in the schools, because we do homework, me, me and my husband, we kind of, like, tag over each week. So, like, literally, before we went on, before he went on break, we were on the math part of homework, and there... The way that they teach math now is not the way that I was taught math. And it's weird because I was reading a question. I had to read like three times. I said, well, wait a minute. This is not how I was taught <laughs> how to yeah. do it. So I was teaching him how I was taught. And he actually liked the way I was taught better than the way they're teaching him now. But he gets it. He knows how to read. He's fluent. When I tell you that, like, he's probably the smartest one out of all the children. He's the youngest boy. My oldest is getting ready to graduate college. I have mandatory. When you graduate high school, you're going to go to college. You're going to go into the air, the armed forces, or you're going to go and get a um, trade. You're not just going to go get a regular job. You're going to be able to know how to defend for yourself. You're going to know how to um, take care of yourself financially, physically. You're going to know how to do all those things. 
And you could teach son, all that in grammar school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're learning it now. Yeah. My, my uh, baby son, he knows how to cook. <laughs> he knows how to hmm. cook. Okay. Oh, he knows how to oh, do a lot of things. Brooke, Brooke, do you know about Kumon? Say that again. Kumon. K U M O N. No, what is Look it, it up on your phone. It might be local I'm for you. Right now, so oh, my bad. Don't, ooh, 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 no, no, well, okay. I don't get, I've seen plenty of accidents. You you you, you be safe. We, we need yeah, you alive you and well. So. Yeah, I got you uh -huh. on my Bluetooth. So your Bluetooth? All right, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm on my Bluetooth. But, um, I put it in the chat. Oh, my God. A truck just went right through the damn red. Put, it in, put it in the private chat. Put it in the private chat. Private chat. Yeah, put it in the private chat. I literally just now dropped um drop my oldest oh he's graduating come may it's so many things that i have in store he's literally like on my side of my family he's the first one to graduate under my linger on his father's side he's not the first to graduate from college but on my side he is the first to graduate college in my family that's a big deal to me because i require that from all my children so you know i'm definitely proud of him yeah, and, and thank y'all, thank y'all for dropping Brooke's channel in, in the link, uh, so oh, people you, can subscribe yeah. to her channel. Right. And yeah. I want y'all to drop Chase Holiday because Chase Holiday do do good commentary. Chase, my bad, bro, you were blocked. So when I did share you out, bro, it didn't hit the same because you were blocked, so people couldn't see me sharing you out. They probably saw like uh nothing. <laughs> Once you unblocked him, I did see him and so You saw him, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna I gotta re I gotta re give him his introduction because he's a cool dude. I hate yeah. the only thing I hate limit, about limit block me because of my hairline. Nah, bro, bro, <laughs> I didn't even see your hairline. You did, man. I know you. Nah. My hair ain't but nothing to you, dog. You. My so look, it's some stuff, right? It's some stuff that you can use, right? You can do it yourself, but it takes time and skill. But literally, you can, they have like hair fibers, okay? And you would literally line line your hair up to where you want your hair to be. You would use Brooke, glue. Need to get it and it's not here, though. That's, that's what lie. I'm saying. You don't need to get it that far down, but it can be done. It's I'm telling cool. you, it can be done. It costs a couple of dollars, but it can be done. It can be done, my brother. It can. I ain't telling you no lies. It can be done. It and does it grow. I, it does grow. Thank you. Thank you. I, I always appreciate compliments about my look because I, I work hard on my skincare too. Okay. I can't okay, stand when dudes don't take care of their skin, man. The black you black skin is the most beautiful skin on the planet. That's why yeah. why you think the tanning business is a multi-billion dollar business. The tanning mm -hmm. business is a multi-billion dollar business. They trying to look like us. Yep. I don't look yep, like yep. us. Right now, my hair is low. Yep. I, I did a low. Um, now, I do have a question for you. He's, I, can you hear yeah. me? Yeah. Oh, is it like a delay? Okay. So when you and um when you and Seven were on the panel, y'all were talking about relationships. But what exactly was it? Because I came in towards the end part of the relationship. And I think Seven had got sidetracked. Seven started dragging in the chat. So I, I couldn't even understand where you and her were going at with the conversation um, in reference I to I could like, start you off right. What? I started off on Lemon Show while I'm not with this one. Lemon to tell you about it. It was crazy. Guess what she said? I told her about a 15 year relationship I was in. It was actually 10. I messed up my numbers. And she said, and I quote, Yeah, but she didn't get nothing out of it. I said, like what? She wouldn't answer. And eventually she said, she didn't get no house. She didn't get no car. And I'm like, Brooke, I'm going to let you take it from there. Right. Okay. So, yes, y'all were talking about that. And I think the question that I was wanting to ask, so let me have fell asleep by then. So <laughs> I, I did. I did. <laughs> um, it's crazy, it's crazy. Hey, but, hey, Brooke, Brooke, do. my energy is amazing. My energy tonight is, is. amazing. Like, I'm not I sleepy. See, I took I a nap. Me. I promise y'all. Uh, I'm, I'm up. I'm four hours <laughs> in. So my okay. lives are normally about seven hours or six, five to seven to hours. I promise y'all. So um, stamina is amazing. Got it. So now, Let me tell you something. The most attractive women in the world are black women who run track, man. 
Oh, yes. I think Ooh. so, too. God, man, they be always talking about the cheerleaders at college. I'm like, yo, the girls, black women who run track, them, 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 they look way better than the cheerleaders, man. I used to tell sisters, you want to keep looking good and getting the top dudes? Just keep running. Just run. You ain't got to do weights at gym, nothing. Just run. Go sprint two, three times a week. You're good. Sprint the 100 well, two, three times run. a week. That ain't fly. I said it's I can't run. But run is not it's I'm hard, running. it's not easy. But you gotta you can just jog, bro. Can't you jog no, it out? Until you run? <laughs> uh no. But I I'll can do cardio. Alone. I I'm gonna leave you alone. Go ahead. You want to respond to that? I, I ain't running now. Now I now I'll go to the gym now. But I ain't running no goddamn track. I'm on. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got I got I got jiggers. I got I'm I'm a thick, thick lady. I ain't no thick, thick, thick. I'm thick. I'm a uh, I'm Brooke is beautiful. Brooke is Brooke is very pretty. She, she's not a B to me. You're not a BBW. To me, you're like a. I'm right. You know, like you know, like you know, like there's like regular Snickers and uh Butterfingers and Reese Cups. The regular. She's like the fun size version of that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I'll say. I don't have no complaints. I promise you when I walk down the street, niggas heads be turning left and right. And I'm for the most part all natural. My hair is natural. Um, I do wear my nails and stuff, but all of that stuff is natural. I keep up with my hygiene. I do my I do my hair weekly, my nails weekly. Uh, you know, I make sure that my private areas are mm -hmm. she fun like, size, I really you know. Care of <laughs> Take, right, I, I so, really take care of myself because that's one thing that makes me just feel good as a as a woman, you know. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on one second, y'all. Hold on one second. Christopher W, you're good, bro. I almost blocked you, bro. I thought you were somebody else, but you you're good in my you're good in my <laughs> chat, bro. Christopher W, you're good in my chat, bro. You're good. I thought you were someone else. I just saw a picture. I'm black. I was like, oh, hit this nigga came back again. But uh, now, nah, Christopher W., you're good in my chat. Thank you for the support. I appreciate the support. Uh, make sure you hit the like button. But uh, you're good in my chat, bro. So let me ask you a question, um, Jay. So you, you said that you was in a 10-year relationship, and then Seven basically was saying, well, what did she get out of it? Did you guys have any Yeah, I want you to respond to that. I want you to tell me what you think of what Seven said to me. Okay, do you have any children? No, she couldn't have kids. Okay, so that's why I even brought her up in the first place. Mm -hmm. So then, okay, so it, it all, let me tell you this. So it all depends because I, I am definitely one that's been an independent, but I'm also male identified. I have always um, been vocal about being male identified, even though I am a alpha female. All right. Um, I well, feel like if a male, a man is doing his job, then I am going to be submissive. I'm going to obey. I'm going to do what it is that my man wants me to do because he is being a man. But if I have to at any time wear the pants and not necessarily be beside him but take control, then I'm getting ready to pull out my independent women type shit. So Ooh, man, I gotta respond in that to type that. of situation, I don't really think that you owe her anything if she carried your child and she took care of your child then that will be a different conversation because then she gave her body to you for your offspring. But if that never happened, then whatever you guys came in the relationship with, then y'all should leave with. I don't necessarily think that she should leave or you should give her X, Y, Z. I think maybe if y'all build things together, then y'all should separate equally. But um, for me, a child would change my idea of that only because once a man impregnates a woman, the ball game it changes. I now oh. carry your seed. I carry your lingo. I carry your 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 bloodline. I am the How one does it who is carrying. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Hold on. Okay. It, it changes it because now I am the one that's in control with carrying your bloodline. So if you are not picking the right woman to make sure that your child is going to be fed correctly, educated correctly, nurtured correctly, then your bloodline can be messed up damaged like you can really mess up your entire bloodline especially depending on how you look at you wanting to have your offsprings here you got some men who don't care they will go and impregnate anything and then when their children come out any kind of way then they looking at everybody else like they're crazy no i think a man should be able to pick his woman just like a woman should be able to pick a man 
Well, all right. That's so, <laughs> no, no, no. You, 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 um, you, you, you speaking, and uh, that's what we need. We need people to um, we need people to uh, just you know, tell how they feel. You know, um, yeah. I think that when men come home from work, especially when I came home from work. Well, my jobs that I had before this one, which is a, um, a, a cakewalk compared to what I used to have to do, especially when I was in the military, I worked very, very hard. I had, I got, no, I got two awards while I was in the service, and 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 it, it was scriptured, hardest working airman in the shop. I worked so hard that on my first uh, 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 mechanical assignment out of boot camp in my squadron. I did a job that I had zero training for, changing a few cells in the F-14. I did it so I did it faster than when it usually take two, three people to do it, and I embarrassed my supervisor without realizing it and caused a lot of um caused a lot of problems while I was in the squadron. Hardworking man. When I come home, I want to come home to something soft, sweet, and loving. I don't want to have to fight my girl. Okay. If I have to fight I you. I agree with you. You're not the one for me. Let me let me let me go on a little bit. Let me keep let me let me let me keep going. This is not cooking though. I was about to say I was about to say, let me cook. This is not cooking. Um my my woman should see the stress in my eyes because it's gonna be there. Black men, we have to work hard, twice as hard as everybody else, deal with the racism, deal with the vitriol, deal with the stress of knowing that we can, you know, there's all this we're sur constantly surrounded by people who want to take us out. Not just people who look like us, especially people who don't look like us. The world is hard on us. We carry so much on our backs. We are naturally, naturally born stressed. Me? I had so much come at me throughout my life on a regular basis. I promise you, I could back this up. Most men would have cracked and fold it into the fetal position and said, it's a wrap. Am I tooting my own horn right now? Yeah. Yeah. I dealt with a lot. And if I got to come home and a girl that I chose you to get close to me, you're going to stress me out with a little bit of BS. You're going to give me crap because you disagree or you had a problem with a little something in the house. Toilet seat, garbage ain't taken out. Go home. I'm a self-sufficient man. I keep my home very clean. I can cook. I'm solid. I read. I pay attention to the world. I don't need anybody. So if I let you get close to me, and this is a lot of black men, I, I'm speaking for a whole lot of brothers, especially those passport bros. We're the ones who think like this. Hold on one second. It says lemon. No one like you. You in the closet, gay blade. This is LG talk talking from another platform, but we'll read it. It says, "Live No one like you. You in the closet, gay blade, bitch." LG approved her comment. Now block this. I didn't block LG, so that's how I know this is LG because you're drunk. I didn't block you. Uh, I timed you out for 24 hours. So this confirms that this is you talking in second heard, person. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. Her. She's stupid. That's how I know she's a neighborhood drunk. But you can click my link. You just block from typing in my chat because you're stupid. And I can't deal with stupid right now. Come on, it's late. It's in California time. It's 2.15 in the morning. You're in fucking, what, what's the, down in Ohio. Swag like Ohio. Down in Ohio. Head ass. <laughs> Fuck wrong well with you. Just click the link. Stop typing. No, hold on, we will. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chase, Chase is cooling. Chase like this type. What y'all don't, what y'all fail to realize, he liked he likes the fuck shit, bro. <laughs> I mean, sorry, I don't mean to call you, bro, uh, bro. But uh, he like he liked the fucking like. <laughs> that's why he clicked my panel. That's how he found me. He liked the bullshit, the arguments. Like he ain't here to talk about fucking uh, finding love. He that's why he moved out of 
the United States, so he could do his passport, bro, type shit. Like he's good. Sorry, but, uh, listen, that, he don't want to move out of the United States. He has a type of woman that he needs. That he has a type, and until he finds his type, I think his type is. I think his type is somebody that fits his needs. I don't think it's a, a specific I person. I don't think it's like Spanish, black, whatever. I, I think you got to fit his needs. And then, mm -hmm. it, but he does have a preference. He does like black women. They were trying to make mm -hmm. it seem like because he is a passport bro, he doesn't like black women. He said he loved black women. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. I don't want to speak but, for but you, but go my ahead, bro. The only thing is, why right. does it matter know. the color of the woman? See, I think a lot of the time when people start to throw in the color of the woman, it kind of taints the conversation. Let's just keep it on a man and a woman and what a man like and what a woman's like. Like, instead of saying, okay, well, if this woman black or this woman white, because we don't know who's going to like who. If a person just happened to fall in love with a person who is from China, then that's what they fall in love with. That don't mean that they are colorist or that they don't like black people or they don't like black women. Clearly, he's a black man, so he came from a black woman. I mean, did you come from a black woman or no? <laughs> you did, right? So your mama black, so I'm not, so I, I don't He black. Feel like he hates the black. Chase Holiday is black. My family black is, my family is black. black. And so, it, so, you know, all of them. That's what I'm saying. So it, it, hold, on, it, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chat red, Cheffy, <laughs> you've been in my chat for the last two hours. I got you blocked. Okay, click my link. This is the this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going somewhere, y'all. Hold on, chat red. You've been in my chat for two hours. Click the link if you can. I think you can click my link. I don't think I got you hidden from my channel. Uh, no, no, I don't. Cause you, you, you came on my link with Baby Mama Brina, so I know you can click my link. The fact that you're still in my chat, click my link, or well, there's no or, but uh, click the link. I got something to tell you. That's all. Sweet tea, you can go on the internet for that to see what the space, living spaces in Thailand look like. They're very, very, they're vast. And let me, I'm gonna show Hello? you a photo. Hey. Of Hello? Hey. Sister. Perfect. Hold on, on y'all. Everybody pause. Everybody pause. Everybody pause. I need this moment real quick. Let me, let me, let me, preface, this, let me, let me preface this, please. I have no idea what you said. Um, Juicy said, hey, Lemon is addressing what I'm you gonna, said. I'm, I'm, can I finish, Lemon? Come on. I don't know. I'm not combative. I don't even know what you said. So, <laughs> or, hey, Brooke. Hey, honey. I didn't even say nothing. I didn't say nothing. Hey, I didn't say oh, nothing. I you, oh, my okay, love. my bad. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Brooke, what you say? I said, hey, my love. Hey, honey. Uh, I don't know what you said. Uh, I heard Juicy said, hey, Lemon is addressing what you said about Rico. And I and that was I, I don't even know how many hours ago that was. I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. So can we start from there? And the reason why I didn't even drop down is because I'm blocked. So just so you know, I cannot drop down. To You're down not to blocked, down. Sassy. So now Sassy is all of a sudden. So now Sassy is all of a sudden a liar. I keep telling you that, Lemon. I'm just no, 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 no. You're not a liar. Hold on, hold on. I finish. I finish. Hold on, hold on. Stay right here no, in American no, time. Stay right here. Right One now. second. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. You can't find me. Oh, y'all, my bad. Damn. Hey, Brooke, what do you think it is? I, Brooke, what do you think of this uh, hairline level that I'm showing you with, the, with my hat right here? You're saying that's too low. That's too low. Yeah, that's too low for your head. You have a wide okay. head, like in the middle. Your self confidence okay, on, like your head is big. I'm going to say, move it back some that's more. A little bit more. Hey, a little bit more. Hey Hazel. Just a little bit more. Hey Barn Dog. See, you, okay, you have rolls on the top of your head, right? Hey Jonah. So it has to be right on the top of the last roll. That's exactly what the doctor said. That I got to put it on top of the rolls. Right. Well, they so said right there. Trap in here, but I don't. A see little bit it. more. That's gonna look fake. You can tell that's gonna look fake. Oh shit! What happened? 
What about Tariq Nasheed, man? That's where his is. His is lower than that. But <laughs> I can see the link, sweet T. I'm not blocked by lemon. Yeah, you I know that, bro. You can go, go to Tariq Nasheed's photo and you see where his hairline is, and it looked dope. Well, oh, hey, everybody, is, is, where you everybody is different. Everybody is yeah. different. Hold on, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I owe Sassy apology. She was blocked from my channel. Oh I had to just God. unhide Damn, Sassy from my channel. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Sassy, Sassy. No, 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 Sassy. Hold on. Somebody is doing this. Because Chase Holiday, him right here at the bottom mm -hmm. next to you. Mm -hmm. Someone hit him from my channel. I didn't do it. And I was trying to support his channel, trying to like get new subscribers to his channel because people were like, yeah. "Hey, I want to, I want to support the Passport Brothers, uh, or the Passport Bro." Sorry. Oh, he's a that. Passport Bro. Interesting. Oh God. <laughs> But you know what? Let me, let me give you a quick. Let me give you a quick piece of advice because you know okay. you, have, you have one of those type of shows, and your mods, most of your mods are day ones. So mm -hmm. they might be feeling a certain way that you're not. So I would suggest like before the show or after the show, going through your block list and getting rid of those, you know, you know, unblocking people if you need to just like almost make it a habit about like of doing your show, uh, you know, before you go live or after, you know what I'm trying to say, Lord, I'll just yeah, yeah, yeah. check your shit, check your shit. Child. Yeah. I haven't Cause okay. I was trying to share them out, right? Huh? So everybody, everybody kept saying like, "Oh, he got the whole chat blocked." I was like, "He shouldn't, cause he didn't argue with nobody when he hit my panel." Mm. I was cussing out grown folks TV and Vic Damone, um, and that's where he hit my link, cause he saw me going off, and uh, he hit the link. Him and Seven Stars, they had a good conversation. You know, you know, mm -hmm. Seven Stars. She's very like. <laughs> She's like you, like y'all stand on business. No, 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 no. She's not like me. I don't dox people. I no, don't no, no, not like that. Like, oh, like okay. I'm talking about like conversation wise. Like, oh, okay. if mm -hmm. you're in a conversation, like you're very like uh, accurate on what you're talking about. I don't mean doxing because I know that's not sassy. I know you. Come on, sassy. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't want to be compared to seven at all. Under any oh. circumstances. Okay, no, my bad. She's mean. I'm not mean. Okay, I just, I'm, I'm a little. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. You want to talk to Sassy? Go ahead. She's right here. No, no. Please. Hold on. Excuse me, really quickly. I want to get this. I want to know what you, what I, you know, I want to know what you thought about what I said because I think it was. A oh, study. okay. And okay. I hold on. Let me sit up. Let me sit up. I'm sitting down. Let me sit up because I got to, I want to talk directly to you. Hold on one okay. second. Because the way if y'all saw. <laughs> I'm, I got my feet up in the air like niggas <laughs> you would feel like a woman is feeding me like uh grapes and shit but hold on let me sit up because I want to be that King, King Lemon you, <laughs> right, you, you kind of you rub me you rub me you rub me the wrong way yeah All right, oh, I'm, a, I'm a I'm a okay alright so I watched Brie live. First, first I went to Ness live because Ness shit happened and then uh, Brie, Brie shit popped off. Mm -hmm. That's irrelevant. But you was like, oh, Lemon better uh, mm -hmm. get rid of such and such or we're going to blackball him. You're right. And I felt like people like you in the sector, right? Yeah. Brianna hosts a, a platform of six to 700 people, maybe a thousand. At a time, right? And at that time, she probably had about like six to seven hundred people listening. And you're on a platform, a public platform that's live in American time. And you're giving your opinion about a situation that you're not even fully abreast on about what I mm -hmm. did or didn't do. Okay. Mind you, when I found out what this person did, I removed this person from my Discord. Mm -hmm. I even I even went a, a step further. I was on a smaller platform in a whole different sector, not even beef sector, and had a conversation with this nigga and told him what the fuck he did was wrong and how the fuck I don't stand for that and how the fuck that's a bad look for me, how the fuck that made Ness fail. And that's very disrespectful. And you owe these women an apology for what the fuck you did. And it was like you just took it upon yourself being very, to me, uh, the way you come off is like, 
like, a, like, I'm, like I'm running shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, okay, you've been gone for 40 days. I just launched my panel, like, I mean, I mean my platform, like, within that 40 day time frame, you've been gone, right? Then you come back like if Lemon doesn't does we're gonna blackball him and you know what that does to the masses because there's people listening and there's a lot of people that do like you and respect you and you know when you say certain things knowing our sector is predominantly women and they side with women I don't got the best fucking image in our sector and I feel like that was disrespect because I honestly I'm gonna be real with you I think you like me in a Ooh. sense, but you don't really, no, hold on, but you don't really like me. Does Ooh. that make sense? Like it's yeah. like I I know him because I fuck with him from where I come from, but I really don't like him. It's like a um, uh, middle of the mall kind of situation. Like he's cool, but if I could fuck him over in a sense, I will fuck him over. I don't think you ever fully recover from our follow. That I know that you will take any opportunity to. Do your big one. And that's how I felt listening to you because it's like you came back from a 40 day fucking cleanse and doing your big one. You come back not even knowing how the fuck I did with this person. And you're like, Lemon better do this or we're going to black him out. Like you didn't even hear from me. Normally you're doing these long ass posts on your community wall, tagging everybody and your cousin on your community wall about how the current state of the beef sector and, and what you saw. But it's like, you was quick to jump on something that was a live moment and try to capitalize on it, trying to spread like poison to the audience. Like, oh, we're going to black him out if he didn't get rid of Rico. Nigga, I did what the fuck I said I was going to do. Don't and I feel don't like, me hold on, hold on, hold on. Just hold on. Nigga a bro and all that. I don't, you know. No, I know that. I, okay. That's just how I talk. It's not I know, you. I know. It's I'm not, not mad. I'm just It's saying. not towards you. But I, I feel like you come off. Very entitled, very like upper echelon, like you deserve or you're entitled to certain things. And I don't appreciate that shit. Nigga, I put in just as much work as you put in, if not more. Nigga, I mean, ma'am, 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 you might be more supportive. (laughs) Ma'am, ma'am, you might be more supportive because our sector is predominantly women and they do like you. You're very attractive articulate and you know how to use words and you know how to do the word play like you're a binary y'all had a boring debate like you know but i feel like you kind of dumbed down our sector because you take the fun out of it in a sense because you're so politically correct let like, me you can't you attack kinda... me let's 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 say let, hold on can we take this in segments because i understand you have a lot to say and i want to hear it but you're now you're getting to the point of attacking me right so and that's your right but but let's address what what i did first if i can you don't got the privilege to tell people to black me out when I already did what I should have done towards this person. Well, and you did, if, 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 no, but you said if women don't do this, That's then we're I'm going saying. to so blackball black him. You, you can't black, but you, you and can't. You're doing you, I, I am, but you gotta I listen heard, to me because I'm passionate heard, about what, how you said know. it. I heard what you said. Don't say. tell. You can't tell people to black okay. ball. That's your now. You? That's your fourth time telling me that. I, what I'm saying. Who are you? Okay, thank you. I hear your opinion. I got it loud and clear. Now, my response to your opinion is that it was very assertive. And I meant every word I said. I don't, I've never clicked anybody's link and tell them to blackball anybody. I got the inside scoop from the horse's mouth on before anybody, not before anybody, because I don't know who else knew, but before the mass public knew. And I was disgusted. And because of your history with not only that person, but along with these new people and you kind of pushing things under the rug, Lemon, I didn't know what you were going to say. And I specifically said, if Lemon did not, that's what I said. I didn't go in and say, oh, black ball Lemon. I said, if Lemon does not, and that's what I meant. Somebody has to take a hard stance. I don't have to be okay with you, with you even a allowing him in your discord and let alone him allowing him to stay in your discord doing such disgusting thing against our black woman i don't have to be okay with that lemon and i and as far as if i like you or not lemon i don't listen it's not i don't I wouldn't click your link i wouldn't try to get an understanding i wouldn't tell you that i'm blocked in your chat 
you're right. I'm I'm an entitled bitch of sorts. Not really, but I get it the way I come across, right? I'm gonna give you that. I don't that doesn't those labels don't really bother me, right? I know I'm a sweet girl. I know I'm not vile. I know I'm not vulgar. I know I don't plot and plan. So all of that other shit don't really matter to me, right? The facts are the facts and my my reputation is the way that it is because I have not been in shit, right? So all that other shit don't really matter to me. That's just hearsay and fodder. But there are no there's no proof of that uh, at four years. So that doesn't hurt my feelings or bother me. I like you because I think you're a cool character. I don't have no problem with you. You misassessed me because your discernment is not that high. A lot of people misassess me. You seem like you okay with me now. So I'm okay with you. I just match energy. So it's not about I'm looking for a reason to fuck you over a fucking noose on a neck is enough reason to fuck you over. I don't have nothing to do with that. So uh, you can be upset with what I said all day and how I said it, but I meant what I said, Lemon. And but you did the right thing. So I'm not really sure what we're talking about. You're upset because I dared to say that you should do the right thing. That I don't, I don't understand. Are you good? I didn't want to cut you off. I wanted to be fair. I just want to make sure you heard me because I heard you. I 100% heard you. Yeah. And so Sassy, I've been, I've been knowing you for years. It's not like I just met you yesterday. I've been knowing you since I emerged in the beef sector, right? And you did branch off into your big one and became, you know, known in the beef sector for being you, right? Cool. I respect that. And I felt like just listen to you come back, right? Because you came back from you, you said lit. Um, so you were you were gone for like 40 days and 40 nights. You came back, you didn't like the Umar boys. Cool. I respect that. <laughs> like what you like. <laughs> then it was like, now I'm done with the Umar boys. Lemon better do XYZ or we're gonna blackball him. And I just feel like, damn, like you don't like the Umar boys. You don't, I understand the news thing. Trust me. I put this on my mother, my dead brother. When I found out that shit and I found out it had to do with this, that shit fucked me up. That's it all really I'm did. saying. We don't have and to I keep had, going around. And, and I was so That's glad. No, no, no. I was just said, so glad I had a conversation. No, but I was so glad I had a conversation with Ness today. And I was able to like speak from my heart to her. Outside of YouTube, if Ness, YouTube if, if is YouTube. Ness told you how I asked her to handle this, you wouldn't think anything that you're saying. So I don't want to keep going round and round. You can tell no, we're not going round and round. But sometimes you have to you're hear going the full round story. And round. You've always not, thought that I was this sneaky ass person that was out to get you. I don't you. think you're a sneaky that's, person. That's never been I don't true. think you're sneaky. I've I don't never think been that way. I click a I don't link. Think I come face sneaky. to face with a motherfucker. I don't care who it is, how big it is, how low their number is, how high their number is. I say what the fuck I. I want to say and that's what i meant limit it was fucking disgusting and if you had not have dropped him from your panel i would have gone from panel to panel asking people to blackball your black ass and that's what i meant but guess what lemon you didn't need sassy's advice because you did it your fucking self so that's it you can say you don't like what i said all day it's not going to change the way i feel limit uh, and i'm not it. trying to and i'm not trying to change the way you feel well, that's not what i said and, and we're not going around and around <laughs> The, the way I thought, the way I think I mean, of you going is, into talking about I'm boring. I'm the what are you? I never about? said you were boring. You what did you get? No, you I didn't. Didn't. You no, I said, I said, kind of I said, you're you making it. I said, fun. see, you okay, let her speak. Let her speak. She's 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 hot. She's hot. She's hot, y'all. She's not listening to what I'm saying. Me, don't attack me. She's hot, y'all. She's not listening to what I'm saying. I did not call. I did not call you boring. I didn't call you boring. You just I call you. I'm not Hold on. Anyway, gonna, what else? What else? Because we already. I said. I said. Because of my see, opinion. But, am no, I, am no. I, uh, let me not say my opinion because it was more than opinion. Are you upset ab about my ultimatum? Yes. I still stand by my ultimatum. It's, it's not about your ultimatum. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, let's get. I said you came back. And. I can From your thing, you. right? Cool. Amazing. Everybody missed you. They wanted to know where the fuck was Sassy. They like Sassy. I said, you're well-liked in our sector. I gave you those flowers, right? But it's like I said, you didn't like the Omar boys. Then this fucking like, Rico. Hold on. 
I don't. I'm not talking. I'm about trying him. to. I'm trying to get to somewhere, but you won't let allow me to get there. Okay, my bad. But you keep saying that and over and okay, over. You, you, okay, you. Okay, I won't even say you don't like them. You I just don't, don't like them, but it has nothing to do with my. Okay, well, about you and Rico. Those are two. Okay. Are you attached to them? Are you cold fam now? I like them. I like both of them. Oh, so I you're them cold fam now. That's why you keep. I'm not cold fam. I'm not you're cold fam. No, no, no. I even told. I even told Cole to take my moderator wrench. I didn't okay, want to be so a moderator. My, my thing is. My thing is. You came back from a forty day hiatus. You came back with your discrepancies about what you do and don't like. You don't like them. Cool. You didn't like the Rico situation. I handled it. But it's like you come back with so much authority as if you are a prominent like figure in our sector like you, you are like the head at, you can be the head honcho all day, about is. like what you do and don't like but you you bore our sector because it's like what i mean by that it's not you you're ahead. boring not that you're boring you killed the new people off where the fuck were you when I, tracy so hold on hold on i wasn't even now, done so I, I didn't even finish my, my statement I'm not see I'm not it's not fair because you're not allowing me you're not well, allowing me to finish to my, my whole so now this is about the uh, this is no about it's the not no it's, it's, it's not I killed off the new people oh my god I'm trying to get clarification. This was the, 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 the crazy part was, y'all, I knew Sassy before she was trying to be this sassy. What? And she was oh, the oh, different this sassy. Is this is no, me. no, 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 no. Hold on. You're not going to insult me and Stop. my I'm not, insult, I'm not insulting you. You didn't even let this me finish. Me. You didn't let, all, you did not let me finish. You, you're not allowing me to finish nothing. You interject You what interject you yourself. Be like, oh, and I give you the floor. You, you, you're you're not allowing people to hear what I have to say. From what I was doing. No. Hold on. Toby. I don't need to ask these people. I don't need to ask these people when I actually I actually knew you before these people was fucking with you. Let's be clear. Actually, that's what you assume, but you didn't actually. Okay, so we're not going to get nowhere here because she's always going to be right and I'm going to be wrong. I'm going to be looking at the, the big bad wolf, the black guy, you know. She does not give she does not get fair assessment. She gets to talk. I start to try to prove my point. She okay, Mr. YouTube Street. If I, if I did her the same way, let me really let Sassy speak. But the moment I try to clear my name, I mean, but she you keep about, me. But I don't want to you don't like what you're your hearing. Friends. And Mr. YouTube Street says, I'm not letting you talk. And I'm going to respect that because he, he likes me. So let me go on mute. But I'm not about to listen to a whole bunch of run-on sentences about your new friends, though. But you're long-winded. How do you get mad no, when somebody else uh -uh. is trying to prove their point? Uh -uh, child. Most people like to hear sassy when she get on the panel. No, no one it. said they didn't. No one said they didn't like okay. to hear what you say. Okay, no well, go one ahead. Said that. I'm a, I'm a let, okay, go ahead. When I knew sassy, before she tried to branch out to be who she is today, as a content creator or a public figure, she was not like this. She was very understanding. She was not trying to be politically correct about every fucking thing. She was very understanding. Now that she found her se herself in the sector, she's like, when Sassy says, Sassy goes, like, people listen to, like, nigga, you're cool, you're articulate, you're, you're a cool person. I'll give you that. But you come back and you bore our sector down because you come with all these fucking demands, uh, what you like, what you don't like, uh, what you want, what you don't want. And it's like, cool, we like that. But it's like, okay, we eliminate all that. What the fuck do you bring to the sector then besides always trying to be politically correct and trying to be the smartest motherfucker in the room? What can you bring to the sector? We eliminate coal fam. We eliminate the noose around nest neck. What the fuck do you bring is that a question that you want me to answer? It's a question. Yes, absolutely. Lemon. I'm what not do you bring as you, as you, just you? What do you bring? Lemon. Everybody knows what I bring to the sector. I'm. What do you bring? Don't keep interrupting me and don't keep being aggressive towards me. Every oh Lemon. Everybody God. knows. Everybody knows what I bring to the sector. If you all of a sudden don't know, what do you bring? See how you're being. If you won't let me finish. Everybody knows what I bring to the sector. Everybody understands my importance in the sector. I don't have to explain myself to anybody. Importance? 
we went 40 days and 40 nights without you, and the center was fine. We don't have to have you in the center, you know what I'm saying? Like, no one has to have you in the center. Like, you are trying. I'm not going to argue about you not liking me. I like you, Sassy. You know I like you. You're attacking me, and you want me to chill. That's what I'm saying. That's what you want to do. I apologize. Let me go on me. Let me go on me. Let me go on me. You wanted me. You wanted me to be quiet so that you could attack me and tell me that I don't have importance in the sector. I don't understand. I'm not up here to argue with you about the beef sector and what I bring to the beef sector. It's apparent what I bring. My blueprint precedes me. So what else are we talking about? We already Sassy, established Sassy, that. Tell us thing. about your importance. I don't tell have to. About- I don't have to. That's I'm how important. That's asking. how important. That's how important I am. I don't have to. I'm being respectful. I'm asking you for people who don't really know. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that that was Lemon. I'm sorry. What's your name again? It's just Chase. Chase. Chase, Chase. I'm sorry. I didn't. I thought that was Lemon. I'm sorry. I'm not interested in talking about that right now because to me, that's a deflection. I just want to talk about whatever Lemon. Like, I don't want us to attack each other. That is going nowhere, right? Because I'm trying to. I I know, but that's a side note right now. And I I, I can do that another day. Right. Right now. I'm trying to get to what Lemon's real issue is with me. And what he was about to tell me is that I got rid of or I guess I'm helping to uh, to get rid of the new boys. And my my this is the last thing I'll say, Lemon. I'm not doing anything to the new boys. The new boys are doing it to themselves. And I'll bid you a good morning. I'll let you continue with your show. OK, it's not about that. Sassy. Sassy. Are you still here? Yeah. OK, no. That's not what I'm saying to you. What I'm saying to you is, I understand. Listen, I'm not trying to make nobody like the Umar boys. That's a preference, right? If you watch Lady Nika, that's a preference. If you watch me, it's a preference. If you watch Brianna, that's X, Y, and Z. That's a preference, right? They came over here. If people like them, they like them. If they don't, they don't. That's a preference. I cannot make people subscribe or watch your channel, right? Cool. That's that's irrelevant. My thing was. When you came back, you're so hard on them, and that's not the point. The point is then, the point that pissed me off was it was like, oh, well, if Lemmy doesn't get rid of uh, Rico, we're going to black. That part, that's what pissed me off. And that, the you have, have, right. to you have a right, Lemmy. Because have, you get, but, but you have you a right do. to that Go ahead, my bad. You have a right to that opinion. I'm not arguing that. I t- I said I I hear you loud and clear. That's what I don't have to argue about you being upset about my harsh opinion to you. That's kind of that would be ignorant to me to for me to act like you don't have you don't have a right to be upset about my ultimatum. I get it. But I'm just letting you know that not only do I understand your position about what I said, I'm letting you know that I meant what the fuck I said. We already went over that. I'm not going to take correct. you back. And I don't but Sassy, you don't feel like you know me enough to know like who I am as a person? like Because I feel like I've known you for years, right? Despite how long you you, you kicked it in Sir King Cat, right? Just knowing me outside of that, right? You don't think like, okay, I, I at least, you could have said, I at least know Lemmy. He he better make the right decision because I, I, I do kind of know him. But if Lemmy doesn't make the right decision, we're going to black ball. And it's like, come on, Sassy, I like, I understand. A lot more, I think that it would have been a lot more palatable if I would have said, I, I hope Lemmy makes the right decision. But that wasn't the energy that I was in. I was okay. In- I okay. was in the energy like, look at this racist ass bitch ass nigga. I, if okay. Lemon don't do this, fuck Lemon. That's the energy I was in. But of course, I, I said it more palatable. Of course. Okay. Because I was all, I was all like, damn, like, come on, sassy. Like, I get it. Like, I, I really kicked him out of my. Platform. I'm sorry. A noose around a black woman's neck in it, your discord it, just really pissed it, me off. It, 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 it sassy. It went, it went further than. And that, like, I literally had a conversation with him on somebody else's platform, and he did something worse than that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, so you were yeah. right about the decision, yeah. and I did make the right decision. Yeah. But when he, when we were trying to, when I was trying to have a conversation with him about like how fucked up that was to Ness and black people in 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 general, right? He then mm-hmm. put a baby on the screen with a noose around it. Oh around my it. god! That see, I don't like these people. 
like that's what I'm saying. That's what, I'm, and I understood what you were, where you were coming from. But I was like, I kicked him out. So vile. It was crazy. It was crazy, and you don't you don't know that. I just told you right now. There's but. no neat limit. We need to another day. We need to talk about what you know the other things that you're upset with me about, or maybe just I'm not upset. upset. I really finish. like you. Said I do. Let me okay, finish. My bad. I apologize. I apologize. There, I bad. think because I feel like perhaps there are some things you might be a little perturbed with me about as it relates to your new friends, but and that but that's a lighter note because we're not gonna fall out about some old new niggas, okay? But I just wanted to get an understanding about this situation because this was about what Sassy said about Lemon. You know what I mean? And I understand that the message was harsh. I understand that it wasn't palatable. I get all of that. That I mean, when I said Aunt Donna and Sir King, go get this nigga, I really meant that. Like your day ones needed to shake the fuck out of you if you didn't see it yourself. That's, it was like, it, it was, it, I meant what I said, but I mean, we got to understand it. You have a right to be pissed. There's no need for us to go round and round about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Yeah, but I don't want you to think that, like, I dislike, I don't dislike you. What I'm saying I is, it was like, I, you took you know, a long break, and, and people was looking for sassy. I ain't going to hold you. They was like, where is Sassy? Like, we want the Sassy show. We want to we want a life from Sassy. Like, we want to hear her take on all this shit in the beef sector. So I'm not trying to downplay your importance in the beef sector. That's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to say is, it just hit me wrong because it was like, I I did already you did it. acquiesce well, you did to Ness. And, but yeah. then I think, I think when Brianna Live happened, I had already did what I was supposed to do and then watch you like, well, if Lemon doesn't do this, we're going to... I was like, damn, like, did you at least fact check and see that I did do what I was supposed to do, uh, you know, before? I, I, said, I said, if he doesn't. I literally said, my verbiage was, if he doesn't. I didn't say he didn't or... Anyway, Lemon, I get it. No, I get, I get, and I get what you're saying, and I understand. Like you, have you the said, right if he doesn't, I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with you, though. So no, I mean, I, I mean, don't. I didn't say you had a problem, Lemon. I said you have a right to be upset with what I said. That's all I said. I get. I'm not like that. Like I talk to. I'm not one of the people that talk a lot of shit and then don't want you to combat it or don't want you to be upset about it. I'm just not like that. I'm like, okay, I get it. I'm not denying that it was harsh. I get it, but that's how I meant it. I'm not gonna. And say I felt the. I felt you. You, you, you were passionate. Yeah. I mm -hmm. was like, what in the? This is disgusting. No, no, no. for real. Hey, sassy. And, and you're right. And you're right, sassy. Because when when that's hold on, hold on, LG. One second. One second, LG. One second, LG. One second. When Ness, when Ness did her live and she brought it up, I felt, one second, one second, OG, one second, OG, I got you, LG, LG, one second, one second, OG, one second, when Ness brought it up, I felt bad, I felt terrible, that's why today, like, on Easter, I was at my, my, my little, uh, family party, I, I had a little moment where I had a smoke break, and I called Ness, and I wanted to talk to Ness one-on-one, -on -one, like, outside of YouTube, just to, Tell her like how I felt, what I did, and how how I felt about the whole situation. And and Ness, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, LG. Ness to me was the only person that I owed an apology to, that I wanted to be sincere to. Like I I don't condone this. I don't appreciate this happening on my Discord. This is my discourse, so it does fall back on me, but I do apologize to her. And I wanted Ness to know, like, I was sincere about my apology yeah. and how I was going to move forward. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure, like, outside of YouTube, like, fuck being live. Like, I wanted to talk to Ness directly, and I did so. And when we talked, I felt great. I felt better because I had this on my heart. I was like, damn. I don't want this to look at really me. It was really heavy. It really was. Yeah. And I and I I can appreciate what you're saying. I'm glad that you had that outside conversation and that's all I'm saying is that I understand your feelings being hurt because of the way that I said it, because of my position in the sector, because how many people were in the chat. I understand all of those metrics. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is that to me it deserved that type of response. Nigga, you better do this shit and you better do it now. <laughs> Fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't say it enough. Like, no, 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 no. 
<laughs> so it was. I'm not. I understand. And let me. Let, can LG? I gotta. I gotta get this coffee going, y'all. Cause you know. Okay, I'll let LG speak. I'll let LG speak for you, just for you. Yeah, she's gonna drag me, but go ahead. No, she. I. We not doing. Me and Lemon just had what we gonna have. So what you got to say, LG? Hey, honey. I'm glad that's over with. Good Lord. This is a new gentleman, and he's, and baby, you know, Lemon new friends, baby. They, baby, baby, they a hot mess. I'm not a hot mess, but no, sassy. Yeah, huh? most. Can you remove this damn y'all yeah, y'all yeah, ass shit up here? Cause you acting like you fucking striving you to to highlight her shit, bitch. Thank uh, you. Oh my oh, god. <laughs> Just when I tried to get out, you pulled me right back in. Oh god. <laughs> LG, I thought you asked were gonna ask me a question, baby. Is that what you wanted? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. All right. I want him to know I ain't drunk all the time. No, I didn't. Oh, you're drunk right now, and you have been for the remainder of the weekend, from what I could see. But I didn't. I've never said anything about you know. I like the crazies. Everybody knows I like the crazies, baby. I'm very intelligent, you know. Oh well, I don't know about all that, but you are crazy as a motherfucker. I'm not about that. You're crazy as a motherfucker, and you're cute, and that's enough for me. Stop, sassy. You are. You crazy as a motherfucker. When you cute, that's enough for me, LG. I don't care. Oh, girl, that ass is fat, baby. I said, damn. 4.52 p.m. Time for me to hit the gym. I love women, so it is what I, Well, I, 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 no, 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 I don't I, love women, like, romantically, but I can recognize a fat ass when I see one, okay? So, I, anyway. All right, y'all. All right. I man, will. Uh, pissy drug. I like women. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Okay. I ain't in the closet. He in the closet. He's scared. Who in the closet? Who? She keep talking shit. Yeah, she talking shit about me. Oh she talking God, shit man. about passport. What? She just talking shit. Oh I allowed her up for your support. LG <laughs> is a drunk. She's what? mad because she show her ass and pussy on YouTube what? for the free ninety nine, and we LG, can see it without paying a dollar. LG, you that, can't that, on somebody's that's, the, that's why she's upset. And then she dropped down. She drops down after saying some bullshit. It's like LG, come on now. Like you're mad because TG, my sister, your identical twin, is more sober than you. You're mad because oh, God. I she she said on next panel, I show my pussy to Rita. Or uh, or her breathing's live and she didn't care. What? It's not about caring. It's like why would you show your pussy to Rita? Like uh, what? A mess. I have to listen. I did I went to sleep er, a little bit early, like maybe eleven. She I said it on this live, but I, I know I'm sorry, sorry, sorry uh, to cut you off, Sassy, but Oh no, it's yeah, okay. She, I was she, just saying that she told she told this that yesterday. She was like, Yeah, I showed my pussy to Rita. And Rita didn't care, and I'm like, just because Rita might not have cared, because Rita probably was trying to, you know, do her big one. And here you come, a drunk mess showing your pussy to her or her platform or her audience. Doesn't make it okay. You're a drunk. I bring you up because you're a joke. We laugh at you. Okay. I don't even want to bring you up because you're so you're 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 so fucked up. I don't get. Amusement out of bringing you to my platform. I'm scared. I want to put a banner up every time you come up. I don't want you on my platform without a banner. And that's scary to know that I can't trust you because you might show your ass, your titties, or your fucking booty hole like you did to Lovely Love. Wait, Lovely Love that. was. She did. Yeah, she showed her whole fucking booty on Lovey Love. She did not show her platform. booty on Lovey Love. You're being really She showed her ass, but like, I mean, come on. The, the, the fucking thong was eating up her fucking ass. Like, shit. I mean. Okay, listen. I gotta go. I'm gonna try to get like a... Well... Damn. Okay, yeah, I can get like another hour and a half worth of sleep before I actually, I was about to brew some coffee, but you, you have tired me out, baby. You wore me out. I had to fight for my life up here. Wait, you uh, got an hour and a half or you got to go to bed in an hour? Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I've already had about seven is, hours worth of sleep, you but this weekend, this weekend was so busy that I'm so I don't give a fuck about sleep, nigga. I know. I know. Turn up. Oh, you're, you're, oh, you're going to bed. Okay. You're, so you're Sassy's like, going to bed. So we got Sassy. 
<laughs> you're like if a vampire and a bat had a baby. You're like such. You're you're very nocturnal. But I've been three. I've been three for like six and a half. Years. Yeah, a vampire and a bat had a baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Chase? Yeah, what? You can't. What the fuck? Listen, listen, my name is, listen, my name is Sassy, okay? <laughs> I don't even know what to do with it, man. He knows I'm going to roast and gag his ass before I get off this bitch. <laughs> looking head ass. All right, bye, y'all. I got to go. Thank you, Sassy. Thank you, Sassy, for coming up. I appreciate you. Good night. Well, this <sighs> is a game, man. I don't agree with it, Lemon. I mean, hey, they called you Mr. Hairline. Yeah. Can you do me a big favor, though? I don't know if you can do this task. I'm going to switch phones. I got to go to my main phone. Can you talk to the audience for like 35 seconds to a minute? You got that ability? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah, talk yeah. about Thailand. You can talk about whatever. whatever. I'll tell you what. I'll talk about this dude right here. Oh, you know about this dude, right? This clown, what he did in Thailand is that Michael Jackson before the uh, who is that? Who's that? He's just a dude in Thailand that was like acting a fool, man. Watch this. He oh, I don't know that nigga, but I'll, 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 I'll take that. I don't know him. <laughs> watch, watch, keep watching. No, I got to switch phones. I got to switch phones. I, right. I got to switch phones. I got to go back to 100%. I'm on 15%. My phone will die. Um, so I got to switch phones. But just keep my audience entertained. That's all I ask. 15 I to 30 seconds. If you can't do that, <laughs> I don't know. Do what you got to do. I'll be right back. They don't want to watch no clips. Hold on, 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 hold on. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Just talk. Just talk. Talk to the public. Show so, them you got social skills to I'm a, I'm articulate yourself. I'm going to bro stuff because... There you go. There you go. Boom. We're going to go right there. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's been a lot of confusion. All right, so... A lot of people say, yo, 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 what's the passport, bro? What's the passport, bro? The passport bro's this, passport bro's that. Um, if you running out in a, if you running out in these streets in foreign countries and you acting like a kid, like a teenager, and you messing with this girl, that girl, that girl, you're just looking for something to something to, you know, something to bang. You don't dress right, you don't act right, you don't carry yourself right, you don't, you're not planning on building anything. You're not planning on building a life. Um, your reasons for leaving the United States is, is specifically for women. Um, you know, you, you don't know how to talk to people. You People can't learn nothing from you. That's not a passport, bro. Passport bros are people who have already established themselves. We already got careers. We already got, we already um, um, established ourselves as successful men, you know? And, uh, but we don't feel like um, the United States is rubbing us right. We feel like we don't feel respected in the way that we would like, in the way we would deserve. Um, you know, and we talk about that on all kinds of shows about, you know, we, we want the respect we deserve. And when we don't, we get heated. Um, and that's just the way it is. So a lot of these brothers, you know, and including myself, just like we tired of the racism, we tired of the, we tired of the ignorance, we tired of the politics, we tired of the bullshit, we tired of the disrespect. And we take our and we take we do like LeBron. We take our um on talents elsewhere, you know, don't even think about it. In a way where it's uh, we're tired of the black women here, which was I, I, I was approached with that the other night. That it's about um, you know we don't like black women. A lot of these brothers, including myself, are dating black women overseas, Brazil and Colombia. They have a plethora of black women over there, so it has nothing to do with that. It's just about brothers who are just tired of the West, tired of the United States, and want to bring our talents elsewhere. That's really all it is. It's really nothing else. It's it's not more. It's not. It's not more than that. <clears throat> I I myself uh, have been traveling since I was seventeen years old with the Navy. So I've been traveling and enjoying my life overseas for a very long time. 
That's, you know, I, I've always been doing it. Matter of fact, I met a brother the other day. He was pretty much doing the same thing. He was in the Navy. He joined the Navy on this, literally two days after I joined. And uh, we both hit the same, both hit the same countries. And we both learned the same lessons. You know, how, how much bigger the world is than um, our hometown. And I really didn't go anywhere from Bridgeport, Connecticut. I just stayed on my little block and didn't go too many places. My mom's wasn't bringing me nowhere. I went to the Navy and not long after boot camp, I'm literally in France, Italy, Spain, Rome, Egypt, uh, Portugal, uh, Sicily, Greece. I mean, you named it, all over the Red Sea. I went to, I, I sailed through the streets of Gibraltar and the Suez Canal, and I learned a lot. And if there's one lesson I learned um, traveling as a young age is uh, I am not what the United States made me feel like I was. I realized I was much more than that. I felt like I was just, you know, just a black kid from the hood. I'm not, you know, and that was that was a that was a, a, a an eye opener for me. It really made me feel good to be able to travel overseas like that. And I think it's healthy for any young man to do that. So any let me ask you a question. That. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. What's up? So you didn't move to the move out of the United States because you know, like certain places, like you know, what is legal for adult consent is not the same as United States. Like, nigga, it could be like fifteen, it could be like twelve, whatever it, it is in different countries and stuff like that outside of the United States. That's not why you move so you can like hump on like young ass women that's barely what and you know no because there's a comment here's a here's a go hold on i don't want you to think i'm tripping hold on i'll show you hold uh. on. all right hold on one second oh uh, damn yeah nah niggas, niggas be up on this shit like hold on hold on bro I'm just trying to make sure that's not the case because I don't want to put stigma and that's fucked up for me to even. It says you can talk to a child at 15 and something in different countries. I would would want to leave you somewhere. Go ahead. You see the comment on the screen? Yeah, I see it. I see it. Okay. Look, I don't want you to think I'm pulling this out of No, no, it's all good. I'm just going to respond to it. Let me tell you something. One, um, that photo was I ain't never seen. That's Whitney Houston. I ain't never. No, 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 no. That's photo, Bobby Brown. Photo. No, no, no. That's that. No, Bobby I'm just Green. I'm just seeing a photo. It just caught me off guard. But no, no, no that's my moderator. She, she, she just yeah. saying like you know different countries. You know, being knowledgeable about like different right. countries, age, consent of sex and yeah. stuff. It's different from you know being in the United States. It's different. So what she was saying was like you know out there, it's like. It can be fifteen. Like you can groom a fucking minor, a child, at in a sense. Well, I do know that you got the Philippines and Thailand, which are two big ones. Like because of where I'm at, you mess around with a fifteen year old, you're gonna be in prison for pretty much about fifteen to twenty years. You're not getting out, and you're probably gonna die in there because they're probably gonna kill you. So I don't know anything about that. And if you put in that label with passport bros, man, we got work to do. Because here's the problem, Lemon. Talked about this earlier. When people say passport bros, they're talking about black men traveling. Whatever the, whatever anyone thinks with the passport bros is, if it's different than you know, just a black man traveling on them for for for, for, for professional reasons, excuse me. That's what that's what the outside world is doing to us right now. They're trying to do it so that you keep saying passport bros are, are doing this and, and, and dirty it up enough so that anytime a black man travel, they go, there's one of those passport bros. and You know what he's doing. I'm trying to clean that up because that's what yeah. they're trying to do. And so a lot of dudes it. who got YouTube channels are letting them do it. I'm holding these so, dudes to task. So you are. OK, let me ask you a question. So. Your 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 sector, right? Because I feel like the sector is not always a representation of who the person is, right? You can be in a sector, but it might not speak fully to about who you are, right? So, in the passport bro brother sector, right? 
is that something that's common where they kind of seek younger people because they're in a different country type situation or I don't know anything you know. about that. I'm, okay. I've been on a whole and I don't want to put that on you because niggas, niggas no, it's all good. You, no, no, that's hold crazy. on. Niggas trying to say you were in jail, and I was like, oh, <laughs> he he did have a white tee. You had a white beater on, and your background was white, so they thought it's they right here. I was jail. against this wall. I since turned my. All I got to do is turn it. That's the wall. Remember the little thing right there? Remember this? Yeah, <laughs> I know, bro. I told you in you're not in jail. You did a whole live from your car, bro, and you were driving. So I know you're not joking. Yeah, I was. I'm well, saying, I, yeah, like, I was on. Um, yeah, and I, I don't like to put. I, I don't like to put labels on people because of what mm. we think about a person. So I do feel bad for trying to put. Nah, okay. Or you know, bro, that's you, not how you, I move, bro. Bro, no, no, no. I move off facts. I don't move off speculations because we can say anything about anybody, right? They always call me. Him is gay. He's in a closet. He needs to come out of the call, you know. So I don't want to put shit on people without proof. It's speculation, right? So I don't want to put that on you, Eva. Mm. Like you're trying to move out of the United States to date younger women that's not of age. Uh, that's just it came up, and I asked the question. That's all. I don't want to hunt you down with bullshit. Eighteen. She has to be eighteen for you to date her in Thailand, and I don't want nothing to do with an eighteen-year-old girl. Okay. Because you're in your 40s. That she would drive me crazy. I'm 48. I'm old, <laughs> oh, you're 48. I'm, limited, I'm old enough to be your dad. Literally. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm I 31. Know, I'll girl, be 32 in August. <laughs> Matter of fact, yo, right. you the, you the dude that tried to, out here tried to hook me up with a 19-year-old girl. And I knew that she was. She just started moving and she had a lollipop. I'm like, come here. Oh, is that girl? He said, I think she's like 18, 19, man. That's yeah, man. She, she so young, what's man. the purpose like, of he was a white dude though? White dude. No, no, no. My like, question nah, to you is girls. yeah. My question to you is you move out of state because you want to date women that's not from the United States or from you know where you're from. Then mm -hmm. not just that though. You, not just that. Because you no. want to travel, you want to sightsee, you want to experience different, you know, lifestyles, cultures, X, Y, and Z, right? But then they introduce you to a woman that's 19, licking a lollipop and shit like that, and you could be her. I met him. Care. I met him at a bar, and his girl said, you know what? I have a friend. So it was him and his girl. I have someone I, you, that would meet that she would love you. She would love you. She was very cute, but very young. And I told him, I said, guys, I told you how old I was. They said, no, no, it's not a big deal here. You know, I'm, you know, 19. You know, she said, I have a friend who's uh who's uh 20. As a matter of fact, she just turned 20 and her her or her boyfriend's 78. And I was like, Lord, oh shit. So you met the friend? Well, she came to the bar, but she was just sitting there. She was getting ignored. She got mad too. <laughs> She got mad that I was ignoring. I kept chatting it up with the bartender. So what's the purpose of you going universal or to these different countries and you're not fulfilling what you want? Because what you said what do to you mean? me was what you said to me was that you're never coming back to the United States and mm -hmm. passport bros are people who travel and y'all meet different women and and then you might find somebody that fits your lifestyle that you will then want to procreate with right but it's like where do you stop at you're in thailand how long have you been in thailand you said a couple of things i haven't responded to before i talked about that though go ahead answer every question i didn't you know go ahead yeah every as far time. as um you said that i said that i travel and meet women i don't i didn't say that i don't do that no, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't mean it that way. Like you said, right. like, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. Ahead, I don't date ahead. around. I've, I, 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 I. That was something that that was part of my lifestyle. Dating, I would just be with this girl, you know, for a little while. Be with that girl for a little while, and that was just the way it was doing because I just, you know, I was like, if if the right one comes along, then you know what? I guess I'll settle down. You know, that's for a little, for a good while I was doing, I was living my life. I was living in Vegas for five, five, six years. And all the dudes I hang with, we you know, we just like, it's like whatever out there. But I did not travel overseas in hopes to meet a girlfriend. 
All right. I left the United States for a whole host of reasons. United States was rubbing me wrong. Racism, violence, thuggery, ignorance, um, the workplace. I hated the workplace in the United States. And I've been overseas. I know what it's like. And the countries that I want to go to are unbelievable. And people are always saying like third world countries. I'm going to Germany. I'm in Thailand because I wanted to catch up with some dudes that I know that I used to serve with. They out here. I met up with them. We went to the islands. We was on a beach, um, seeing them, you know, the, 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 the statues and just you know relaxing. It's so it's so much cheaper out here, putting money away and everything. Just the whole experience of Thailand and the whole nine yards. Um, like I don't go to Walking Street. I don't go to the uh, the, the red light district or anything. I don't go over there. Um, and I know dude got, got mad as trying to convince me. He said, nah, man, that's what everybody do. I said, I'm not everybody. You know, I, I, it's, I, you don't have to do that when you come to Thailand. There's all kinds of dudes hugged up at that restaurant. It was like every dude there was hugged up with a, with a cute little Thai girl. Every single one of them. Everywhere. Also, all you see is, is dudes and, and Thai girls they have girlfriends. Their situation. To 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 consider adults, it's up to them, but that's not why I came to Thailand. Because if I came to Thailand like that, I'll be planning on staying here. I'm going to Germany first. I go to Turkey to see if I could do this, you know, get it to about right here. You know what I'm saying? I got to do that out there, and then boom, going to Germany. I'll be in Cologne, Germany. And last time I was out there, you know. It was beautiful. I loved it. I loved the way I was treated. I loved the people. I loved the country. I loved the scenery. And I just loved being out there. My blood pressure was um, went down. It was. It, I loved it. There's a couple other countries. I love uh, Barcelona, Spain. I loved Serbia. Um, I loved Italy. But I don't know, Italy fell off. It's different now. It's too, there's a lot of racism going on there. So I'm not messing with Italy. I even like Egypt. But Egypt is all um, messed up, too. You know, I've been out to Egypt. I've been to Saudi Arabia. You know, I've been to Israel. I've been all over, man. You know, and if there's one thing I recognize when I was younger and traveling is they treat me way better in these countries than they did in the United States. I didn't feel like I got to like watch people, you know, like something's going to come up on me and and, and, and yeah. take me out. Can I say something? One second, one second. QI says DVD. I don't want to be on a pa on a panel with a passport, bro. QI, I want to be real with you, right? Um, now, QI, I do like QI. I do think QI is very intelligent. I do think she is a person in the beef sector that we kind of sleep on because, uh, you know, she has certain kind of viewpoints that might not side with the audience but it, it it got some facts to it right but i watched when i mean watched i watched qi get disrespected okay so y'all can follow this story real quick by rob rex that nigga drugged the fuck out of qi he called her all kind of fucking disrespectful names and guess what qi did she took her happy-go-lucky hit ass on that platform and said, Rob, I've known you for so long. I will, you, you pretty much said you will tolerate what he was displaying towards you because of the fact you've known Rob Rack for a long time. And I feel like when there is important topics being discussed and you just say, I don't want to be on a platform with the passport bros who do. He's not even cursing. He's not saying nothing defamatory or talking about you know the lgbt community and you're like i won't be up there but you i saw you on a panel he called you everything but the child of god and you laughed it off like it was a joke but if that was me or anybody else you would like no longer support our platform so i think it's hypocritical for you to try i don't want to be up there with a passport bro that's just hypocritical because it's like why type that if you know you don't want to be a part of something, but I watch you be fake, and it's okay to be fake. You know, you are who you What's are. What's the reason why she don't want to be on a panel with me? No, 
QI do things for attention. Like she'll say, Oh, I I would never hit a pass. I would never hit a panel with a person from the passport, bro sector. But I watch niggas call her bitches, ugly ass studs, all kind of bullshit. I was there. This nigga named Rob Rax disrespected the fuck out of her. And guess what she did? She hit the platform and tried to defend herself. And I watched her. I was like, look at QI. I was right there in the bushes. I didn't type in the chat, but I was right there watching you. And you went right onto Rob Rex's platform, and he disrespected the fuck out of you. His people didn't, but he did. And you was like, "Well, Rob, I was just about to, I was just about to cuss you out, but I'm not gonna cuss you out." But you allow so much disrespect from him, and you still hit his platform. So I think it's hypocritical for you to type in the chat. I won't hit a, I won't hit a platform with a passport, bro, dude. But you will for Rob Rax because you've known him for a long time. But he called you all kind of bitches, ugly. He talked under your clothes, everything. I was right there in the bushes. Like, look at, look at, look at QI taking disrespect from Rob Rax. Rob Rax. As if you're talking to a multi millionaire, Rob Rax is sick. He wasn't sick enough that you didn't hit the link. He wasn't sick enough that you didn't jump on his platform. He wasn't sick enough that your presence wasn't noticed on his platform. Just because I didn't type in his chat don't mean I wasn't there. I was there. I watched you. I watched you click his link and try to defend yourself. Rob, you know I would normally, I would curse you the fuck out. But due to the fact I know you, I ain't going to say nothing about you, Rob. Right? We good in my book. But if that was me or anybody else, you would hold me to the fire. You want a sincere apology. You would want flowers, roses, chocolates, you know, candlelight visual for you. But I saw you get disrespected and you still click the link. They didn't ask you to click the link. You came up there on your own. So it's just hypocritical uh, to watch QI say she won't click a link because the passport bros is on a link. And Yo, he QI, said come nothing, on the channel. You won't be but, disrespected. But, 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 bro, you said nothing disrespectful this whole live. You didn't, you didn't say the B word. I don't do the that. The F word. You didn't disrespect do the community. Nothing. And she like, I would never be over there. It's like, cause it, she doesn't stand for nothing. She's just here, you know? And I, now I'm starting to understand when people say like QI is just here, but she doesn't really stand for anything. She's just trying to be noticed. I didn't know what they meant until today. <laughs> She's just here, you know, she's just a stud. I get it now. I get it now. Fit, supportive, I didn't get it at fit, first. Fit, supportive, and friendly. That's what we want for our women in the States. She's fake. She's fake, bro. I'm over here warming up pizza in my air fryer. You know, finna go ham and talk with you. You put? You did know. you put olive oil on it before you threw it in there? Nah, I didn't, bro. Do that. It's too late. I'm already. I'm past that point. I'm finna put some Parmesan cheese on this bitch. Trust me, next time ahead. you do it, put um put olive oil on it and then put it in the air fryer. I guarantee you'll be doing that from the rest of, for the rest of your life. I stand on more than most people. No, you don't, QI. QI, you don't. That's an illusion. You're like, you know how uppity tell us she has the smallest waist in the sector and people are following hey. her to different platforms. You're like uppity. Y'all are in the land of delusion. There's I tell you what, limit and reality. No, no, no. Hold on. There's delusion and reality. You're like uppity. Uppity says she has the smallest waist. I put you in the same category as uppity. Y'all are delusional. Okay. Yes, you are smart. Yes, you make sense. But no, your importance is not what you think it is. It's not. You don't you don't stand for much, you know, like you're here. I know you, but no, no. Mm -mm. Hell no. Hell no. You're like uppity. Y'all are women of a particular age. And I think at a particular age, you guys start to be more delusional than usual. And yeah, that's that's how I see you. But I do like you. But I just think you're delusional. Yeah. And that's OK. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, bro. 
No, I was saying if you want, if if if, if she feel that um uh, that she will be um you know treated some kind of way or be or made be or made to feel some kind of way, if she comes on a panel, I won't see a word until she asks me a question. How about that? She's delusional, bro. Like you don't get it. You can't get none out of people if they're not on a panel. Like this, is something too that uh, you know, that that was talked about, and I see Raymond said like dark skin. Yo, you remember that BS that was going through the going through the line saying like uh, dark skinned women are automatically um, less attractive than light skinned black women. That is the most hilarious thing I've ever heard of in my life. So that mean. <laughs> Raven Simone is automatically more attractive than Lupita. <laughs> See, she's right here, like typing a marathon. She's like, women love men a lot more than they love niggas. Hey, man. No. What? No. That has nothing to do with. Me. That's why I want to eat my pizza in peace. Like, I don't want to deal with what the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) Women love men, and a lot of you niggas hate that. First of all, we ain't niggas. (laughs) Let me, we need to zoom moment like the old days. Okay, spicy for sure. We'll definitely, we can do that. Uh, Any day between Tuesday through Friday, I'll come through Zoom on uh, Instagram and I will zoom with y'all for sure. Um, yeah, I stand on women empowerment. Of course you do. I don't know. I don't know the panelists. That is another conversation from what I can see. A view is a view, of course. But nonetheless, what I was trying to say is ultimately is I've watched QI, QI be talked to in a very disparaging way by black men on a regular platform no stipulations she still was in the chat typing then she didn't get her point across she clicked the link and she was on a panel with these same niggas that disrespected her so i don't want to hear about women empowerment or i've known this person for so many years i i don't judge what they're saying towards me personally that's bullshit. i was there i watched a person say Worse things to QI than I've ever said, right? A view is a view, right? I was there in the bushes or the clouds, and she still clicked the link trying to plead her case to niggas that already disrespected her, but she's about women empowerment. Stop, I don't give a fuck what y'all telling me. I was there. Can't nobody sway my mind? I was there in the bushes, shutting the fuck up, just look, looking at QI like... Look at QI. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I don't want to hear this bullshit about women empowerment, about self-respect, about not having an energy. That nigga said the most disparaging things about QI, and she still clicked the link. Rob, you know I would have fucked you up, Rob. I would have. I would have. But I've known you for a long time, so I'm going to let you slide. And then I watched that whole fucking interaction between you and Rob Rex when he talked disparagingly about you. So I don't want to hear about women empowerment, especially when it has to do with black people and Rob Rex. The fuck is you talking about, my nigga? Because I didn't drop down. You didn't think I was there? I was there. <laughs> I watched the whole interaction. And you jumped your happy-go-lucky head ass on his platform trying to plead your case to Rob Rex. Rob Rex? Out of all people? <laughs> I don't take you serious. You're a joke. <laughs> You're a joke. <laughs> now I see why they don't support you the way you should get the support because the people you do support and think you're doing your big one with, we laugh at that. I laughed at you. I'm like, look at QI. Look at QI. I've known Rob Rex for years now. So that takes away what the fuck he just said to you 30 seconds ago because he called you all type of bitches and ugly and drug you for your whole life. And you still click this link and try to 
uh, do your big one and, and make amends with him. I was there. I just didn't type in the chat. I was watching from the clouds. <laughs> Silly rabbit. <laughs> Limit, I saw the entire Mo3 sector tear your ass up. Okay. I'm still welcomed in the Mo3 sector. I can go there tomorrow. Uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, QI, I will do my I'll I'll show you my whole adventure. I'll go from that platform to this platform to another platform to another platform to another platform. And I guarantee you, I won't get the disrespect you got from one person. You got it from one person. His friends, they weren't disrespectful, but Rob Rex was. So you're saying that you saw me get my ass tore up in the multi sector from from your perspective. Watch this. Tomorrow I will go to five to six different platforms of the multi sector. And I will show y'all on my community wall. Every platform I go to, I will post it on my community wall. And y'all look at how they receive me. And what they say to me versus what I just told you, what they said to one person said to QI individually. And we can compare the two, right? Let's do this. Let's, let's do this. And let's put a hundred dollars. Matter of fact, let's put a two hundred dollar bet that I'm more well received in the multi sector than what the disrespect you got from one person from the black sector or the conscious sector. Where the fuck he's from? I don't know what sector he's from. Bet you. Niggas fuck with me. Hey, Lemon, could you help me understand about the sectors? Of course. Because I first heard about sectors on your show. I never heard it before. Rob got what? Rob got Rob got strunk and threw up. So you wanted to say that Rob got drunk, not strunk. You drunk motherfucker. Rob got drunk and he threw up twice. That has nothing to do with what I'm saying. I didn't tell you his 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 uh his ability to communicate. He was he was sober enough to cuss you out. He was sober enough to drag you. I'm talking about when he dragged you, and then you clicked his link after he dragged you. Okay, I don't give a fuck how much liquor he did. I don't care what Rob Rex threw up or didn't throw up. I was there before you clicked the link and when he disrespected you, you still went on his platform trying to save face and said, Rob Rex, I would drag you right now, but I've known you for so long. I ain't going to do you like that, but I would have. And he was still on the platform, still dragging you when you hit the link. But you want to say Rob Rex threw up twice. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Did he drag you when you clicked the link? Absolutely. So nonetheless, she said that they tore my ass apart in the Mo3 sector. So watch this. I will post every panel I hit tomorrow, starting tomorrow, from the big hitters to the smallest. I'm going to go with the biggest. Then we're going to go to the smallest. I bet you I'm well received. I bet you these niggas don't disrespect me the way you took disrespect. You want to put some money on the line, QI? Because I want to make some money. Let's do this for the sport. I bet you this nigga's going to be like, oh, okay, I heard about you, Lemon, but ain't nobody going to disrespect me the way they did you. Let's bet. <laughs> Let's do this. I got $300. You want to bet? Let me know. Nah, lemon. See, she don't want to do it because she know, nigga. You know I'm lit already. Fuck are you talking about, nigga? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So my bad, Chase, that I even uh, spent this much time with this this fucking nobody in our sector um, with bullshit. I'm eating pizza right now. I'm finna go to bed. Um... I'm going to share you out, but I'm going to be live tomorrow because I got to do another live tomorrow. Um, I don't know your time zone. You're in Thailand. What's your time zone? Oh, that nigga left. Okay. I'll meet that nigga tomorrow. Nonetheless, y'all, I'll be eating pizza. I don't give a fuck, bro. 
I'm going to go to bed. QI don't want to bet $300 because she know the disrespect she, she got from Rob Rex out trump anything that will happen to me tomorrow in the mall three sector. She don't want to put $300 on the line. That's between her and I'm good in life. Uh, QI, you're a joke. Um, I'm going to go to bed. I'll wake up tomorrow. Anybody feeling, you know, froggy, leap, and I'll catch you tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Nonetheless, make sure y'all hit the like button. I did not fall asleep on this live. I'm proud of myself. Salute, salute, salute. Um, and I'll see y'all on the next slide. Hopefully no fuck shit pop off today. Um, but if so, I'll be there to see what had happened. Thank y'all for being in support. Thank y'all for even subscribing to my channel, watching this fucking live. <laughs> Hopefully I kept y'all entertained. Or if I didn't, the people on the panel did. Make sure y'all hit the like on your way out. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Salute, salute, salute. Peace. Thank y'all.